What's going on, friends and family? Uh, Anton and Mika back again. <clears throat> this is like our third third official live stream together, I guess. Yeah, really. Yeah, something like that. One in Detroit Thursday, and then today. Yeah, yeah. I um I started to live stream last night, but I changed my mind. Um, you know what? I'm just kind of uh I got to figure out how to balance. In a general sense, because I'm starting to enjoy life offline a lot more than I am online. What do you mean? So, like, I'll give you an example. So, um, yesterday, like, I never get to watch movies. But I wound up watching some trash movies on Netflix. One of them was, like, a Mel Gibson movie where he was, like, on the phone or something. I cut that shit off in the middle. Um, I went and hung out in the city. Um, cause Tiger's opening day was yesterday. Um, and in the day, like, you know, I went to the dentist, I chilled out, I hung out with my daughter a little bit. I pulled out my old school 96 Impala. I went up to a car meet and I was just happy not vlogging. You know what I'm saying? And it's so rare for me not to vlog. It's so rare for me to, oh man, here we go with Q. It's so rare for me not to vlog <laughs> that... It That's felt why I'm weird. listening, Q, because I want to hear all of this. It felt weird. So what I decided that I'm going to do, though, what I decided that I'm going to do, and I've been kind of thinking about this for a while, uh, and I've been figuring out, trying to figure out how I'm going to play it. But what I decided that I'm going to do is that um, I'm removing, I'm not going to share most of my life online no more. Why? I've been doing it for so, I've been doing it for over 10 years. Okay. Like, like I'm just happy. Like when I get a car or when I can jump in my car or something, like I like being in a moment more than I like bringing people into the moment with me now. If that makes sense. It's almost like I'm happier. I'm just as happy, if not more happy when I give the, get, get the opportunity to not talk as I am when I do, like when I'm here and I'm talking, I'm excited, I love it, I love what, what you know what I'm saying, vlogging, I love talking about different subjects, interacting with the people, and then it's almost like I've been doing it for so long, like I feel like I missed out on something. I don't know, because it would be different to see you not blog at all. I mean, I like think I can, I, I, like I'm not gonna not be online, and I'm not gonna not get my thoughts off, but, um, at the same time, I'm just more like, I think I can balance it to where I can keep a lot of my life private, like what I do in my regular life, and then still be able to, because I think that people know enough about me to where they don't need me to vlog. Like, they don't need to see every car that I buy. They don't need to see every watch that I buy. They don't need to see me where I'm traveling to or nothing like that. Like, I feel like it's, you know enough about me and what my life is like. You're about to really get them talking now. Cause then they're gonna be like, "Why does the anti want?" To yeah, come on, Q. Q. Mm -hmm. um, certain people, I'm I'm keeping an eye out for uh, that can come up on the panel. Um, yeah. You come up, Q. But yeah, it's almost like I'm just. It was so fun, just living life, without, without people knowing what I'm doing. I almost felt like I I almost felt like I was being a bad kid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 starting to feel that, and it's only been three days. <laughs> what you you see what I'm saying? It's only been three days, and they're already Twitter fingering me, like looking me up, trying to figure out, okay, where is she at? What she do? Yeah, it's it's weird. It's a weird dynamic. Um, but I don't know. I'm just excited for it, and. I don't so know. You're going to do the morning show. You're going to do after. I'm going to do all my normal stuff. I'm going to still do my normal stuff. Uh -huh. I'm just not going to be as visible anymore. Why? I'm not going to be as, like, I'm not going to share a lot of my life like I was okay. anymore. Okay. If that make any sense. Like, I just don't it feel makes like. Sense, I'm but gonna... I want to I see it. I want to see it because. What you mean? Ooh, I want to see it because, I mean, even when we were at the game, right? Yeah. Like every second, it was like you was yeah, here, cool. you were over there. You were, yeah. Yeah. So I want to see this. I don't know. I it's. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a better experience. 
I think it's going to give me balance. But I don't know. Let me see what Q talk. Let me see what Q think. Because I know Q. Q been talking know. about this for a long time. And so I want to see what Q got to say and what her and thoughts. And you always say, no balance. I, you can do it. You can do it. No balance. I'm going to work, 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 work. What up, Q? Okay. Anton, Thank you been drinking tonight? I have. <laughs> oh, so that's what it is, Q. <laughs> You know what's so funny, though? You know what else is so funny about that, Q? Is that I popped up at a spot, so I ran into one of my homies, or I ran into a guy that um, um, that I used to be cool with. He's like, yo, Anti, because I, I ran, I was at a car meet earlier. And um, he was like, yo, come up here. And then they was like, hey, you want to take some shots? I was like, you know, I don't really drink. He was like, yeah, man. I said, I, you know, I don't really drink in town. He's like, come on, man, let's, let's just... Take a load off, just chill. So we started drinking. I felt good. I felt incredible. Mm -hmm. It was nice. That's it was what it is. Mika, do you believe what he's saying? No, I don't believe it. That's why I'm saying that's why I said I want to see it. I don't believe it at all. I don't, I don't believe, believe it, it at all. all. Uh, I'm I'm off. Anton um, works, 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 works. He'd be like, we're gonna go have fun. I'll be like, okay. I'm offline. Yeah. Like this. Wait, wait, or y'all don't know Anton, but you meet up with him, you go out with him. Any times I met up with him and Rita, right? Let's go out to eat. He was like, man, y'all go out to eat. We convince him this man go bring his green backpack with his laptop. Oh, whip, whip out his laptop. Q. I'm table. glad you said I'm that. Like, he says, yeah, we're going to go out to eat. I said, okay, because it's my last day in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Q. Mm -hmm. We get to the table. Exactly. <laughs> me, me and Rita are talking. Anton. Yeah, I just finished this. I said, okay. He, he says like two words, right? Mm -hmm. Then he gets up and he vlogs and he walks off for like 30 minutes. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that, that's Anton, y'all. That, that's Anton. That's how I said. I know more. I'm done. With a blog. Anton, oh I God. swore you said this before. Why they ask? Look, how, look, listen to this. How is Anton after he smoke a blunt? He don't smoke. Oh, wow. Thank you. Smoke. Yeah, he don't smoke. I don't smoke. I don't smoke at all. I'm a hundred percent off. He barely, he barely drink. I he drink when drink. I'm, I'm drink when I'm clear. Like I, I drink casually. Like I'm not a drinker, drinker. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not just about to be drinking, but I drink when like, when I feel like I'm safe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can just chill more and relax. So, all this that you're talking about right now, when does it start? It started today. Okay. I give oh, him a week, you guys. I give him a week. Q. I, oh, yeah. I, might, I might believe him, Q, because he, he did something today I've never heard him do. What did he, he do? A nap. Yeah, I did. I no, took a nap. Took that. No, he be taking oh. naps. His nap be quick though. My nap. No, no, no. I took hours. a nap. I took a nap with no alarm, like nothing. His naps be thirty minutes. My naps be four hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. Like I was chilling with my daughter, and she was like, "Yo, Dad, I'm about to go get it. Um, get another phone because she cracked the back of her phone. So she went to the Apple Store and got another phone. And um, I I just fell asleep and I didn't set no alarm." And I was just like, whatever happened, happened. Like, it shit felt so good. Yeah. I take one, like, every day. But I feel, I believe that I've gotten to the point to where I can, I could balance the two. Like, I could still, I'm going to still get my stuff done. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take care of business. But when I'm done, I'm living offline. Like, like if you look, like, I, I cleaned up my Instagram, right? And I only follow four people now. Oh, hell no. Nah. Let me... I'm a it, wait. If I'm not one of the four, I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> hold, hold on, on one second, because I follow a little bit of people. Don't be copying what I be doing now. <laughs> Don't and it better. I only follow like like three hundred people total. Oh, I why are y'all picking four. up your phone? Because we're we're about to see. We want okay, to that's what I was about to say. Okay, that's oh what I thought. God. Thought. Thought. Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah, but, the, but, but see, my thing is, is that because I had only followed like 50 people total originally and then um, it started expanding and it got to like 
300 or something. And it ain't that I don't rock with people. It's more like I don't want to know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. I only I only follow the only people that I don't even follow my daughter. I don't follow I don't follow nobody. The only people I follow is the people that I do content with. That's it. Yeah. If I, no, if, I get that. Some- if you don't do content, like if we don't work on some content type shit together, then I don't I don't follow that. Anything else, I'm completely offline. Yeah, no, I get that. Like half those people, I think I follow like 160. A hundred of those are like financial workouts. Yeah. Like I follow. I don't follow like nothing. 80. I got rid of all yeah. of like the accounts, the watch accounts, the cars. I ain't following nothing. The only time I try to clean mine up, and Instagram was like, "Oh, so yeah, we might kick you out the algorithm because." You want to delete people and block people. They can kick me out. Because I was just, I was just taking people off. But I guess because it was lowering my my subscriber count or my follower count, they were like, "Oh, okay." No. Oh, you can just unfollow them. Just unfollow them. They can still follow you though. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Like I'm disconnected. Well, it's not that I'm disconnected. I'm connected, but I don't want to be so connected to where I live, like the fucking Truman Show anymore. I did that for ten years. And um, and I kept it moving. I just don't. I don't. I don't. I don't get caught up in none of that stuff no more. Yeah. Like I'm. 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 I'm cool with just people not knowing shit about me anymore. If it ain't about content, if it ain't on some, you know, stuff that we talking about that's relevant to whatever content that we doing, I'm not posting it. I mean, and I, I don't post like picture or whatever, so on and so forth. But I'm just not. I don't feel like I need to show people the next property I bought or no. I'm not showing business anyway. Yeah, that's true. I post on my private story, but I'll no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, so I'm sure I'm offline. Let's go back to what Anton was talking about because I don't see this last in a week. Why wouldn't so you? I love Anton, this. If Anton yeah. posts anything out of him being on panels. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm still going to, I'm still going to vlog, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to overshare on my life is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Okay. But you know what? I think that some of your viewers like that about you because you show proof. Yeah. But how much proof do I got to show? No, no, no. You're right. You're right. And I think that in the past, what you've shown your wife, your success, how to get business, you've shown actual proof. Mm. Whereas people, they just talk about it. And you don't, we, we don't know if it's true. We just follow them. People follow them blindly. And you're actually showing us. You're showing us the yeah. cars. You're showing us your life. You're showing us going to get property. You're showing us traveling. A lot of people say they travel, but a lot of times we see them in the same square bubble that always <laughs> be in Monday through Friday. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Quentin. I feel so, like this is unbalanced. Why are y'all at the top? Cause it's ladies. We it's oh ladies. Night. But yeah, I'm chilling. They said that in the chat. They've been saying that in the chat. It's ladies night. I'm just gonna um, like, and when I go to the games, if I'm gonna go to the, I'm just gonna go to the game. I'm not blogging there. Like, mm-hmm. if it ain't on no, you know, me just doing what, getting my thoughts off, then I'm just not. I don't. I don't feel like I got to be connected. I don't feel like I need to show anybody anything else. No. I get that. I mean, if they rock with you, they rock with you. If they if they been here, they already know. Just like if they've been here, they've seen Reed on the platform. They've seen cars on the platform. They know. Yeah. So I'm chilling. And I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't care anymore. It, it was just so fun just living offline. I think that that was the biggest thing for me. I love it. So what up, Quinn? You'll be back. Oh, you Hello, know. Quentin. Hanging out. <laughs> Y'all want to uh, get into this fresh situation? Yes. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Cause y'all was getting that Mika. Y'all was getting that Mika. I saw a little video. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so let me pull it up first. Let me. Pull Y'all was first. giving me the smoke for real. Cause he ugly for me too. <laughs> wait, Sorry. wait a minute. Hold on. Let me pull it up. So, Ooh. all right. So I gotta get. It. Uh, actual video. I was trying to figure out what video I wanted to share, right? But instead, I thought, talking. huh? <laughs> Get her talking. She's like, I can't kill. I can't kill. Well, yeah, so I showed the original. We Last time when we was on here, we was talking about the original video where 
um, you know, I guess what she would like was recording him on the phone or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And then I seen how, you know, they basically did a live stream where they brought, I guess, Fresh's lawyer up and all of that stuff. And he was talking about, you know, the different types of women at Finesse and everything. And then I also seen she had jumped on, like, Destiny's thing. And that was, like, an hour long. And I'm like, man, I don't want to go through all of that. So instead, uh, what I found was, I guess she did a live where she was talking about it to the camera or whatever. Right? Um, let me see if I can get that up. Hold on. And just letting y'all know, this is a Chinese. She Asian. She Asian. It's not even a black. Chinese. She she fresh Chinese. off the boat, nigga. Like she okay. just got here yesterday. Yeah, yeah she don't. Um, bless you. She don't Here's have the you. thing though. She just. I'm gonna get her. I'm, I'm gonna let you play that first, and then. Well, no, go ahead. Y'all can say what y'all want to say now. Let me get Q up here. No, I was just gonna say, I found it weird that. They were just caping for this lady, and then had the nerve to turn around and call her a three hundred four. Why so y'all? Like, wait, wait. Who is who? Are you, who are you talking about? You talking about the chat, or are you talking about? No, I'm talking about of- like the comments. Like they were like caping for her. Like, oh, she's she doesn't know. Uh, English is not her first language, and things like that. Well, I'm Caping for the girl. They, know, they normally don't care about us not knowing. English as the first language. So now all of a sudden it, it matters because she's Fresh's girl. Like I think y'all y'all are think y'all are being did. facetious. Sorry. Go ahead. Y'all can get it. Say whatever y'all I, I think it's disheartening. Like all these people in the in the red pill space, and we talk so much, women do this, women do that, all like how horrible women is. And the first time a woman says something, you just believe her. And I think I, I don't believe her. I don't. I don't either. There's not too many people like you, though. Like everybody's making a v- video talking about how dumb this dude is, and I'm like, we don't even know if it's true. Okay, so I, let well, let's say it is true. Let, let's say it is true. Okay, mm-hmm. because okay. we we always like speculate that it. Let's say it is true, right? Is she dumb or is he dumb? Um, it's both. <laughs> um, Anton. Anton. it's both. I think. Both. Okay, it's him. Both it's him, Anton, no, because no, how, how do you have a whole platform? How do you have a whole platform based off of not, you know, how to not get involved with these chicks? And then you get involved with these chicks. Well, I don't know. Um, Because, listen, I don't watch Fresh and Fit extensively like that. I'm just familiar with their platform. And, I've you know, I've spot checked or did spot reactions here and there based off a of little certain things that went on or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um. I think that he, and this is the thing I think that we talk about a lot of times, men are always held accountable, right? In a general mm-hmm. sense, because the whole idea of him getting finessed was the fact that society is going to hold him accountable for the fact that he was busting down a chick that he shouldn't have been busting down or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Then at the same time, nobody is holding her accountable at all. Nobody is really holding no, her accountable. We, well, and we I, don't know. I think, we, I think we're... I think we already know what type of woman she is. And it's and it's like the type of man he said he was or that he is and what he teaches his audience. I didn't I wouldn't have expected him to be in that situation. So I expect her to be a 304. I don't expect him to be getting a 304 pregnant or to be going raw to where he can say she's pregnant. Okay, so we don't know Anton, but guess what? If he didn't have sex with her, he would have came out and said he didn't have sex with her. Wrong. If he, but yeah, it's nothing wrong. wrong with him having sex with her because he's not married. But wrong. Right, but the fact that you on your on their platform, they talk about three or fours, they're horrible. So why aren't you following the actions of what you're preaching to these young men? Why are no, you I, that, but that's why I say it's both. I said it's both. No, it is both, but for him, it's a bigger hit because yeah, one, you have more to lose. Thing. He has more to lose. Money he gonna wise. be fine. He gonna be fine. I think he'll be fine. Be fine. He's not gonna lose in one of her videos, though. but it's just go ahead. In one of her videos, she called him broke. So I was, I was, I was kind of confused about that. Well, that's what he said in the text message. Well, let me play. Let me right. play some of this. Yeah, let me play some of this, and then we're gonna revisit it. Oh shit! All right, hold on. Let me see if I can find another one. Go ahead, y'all can keep going. But um. Uh, all I'm saying is, is that 
when you when you make a living or you make a stance or a standard for something, uh -huh. then you don't do it. I'm I'm surprised. I mean, and then you're teaching both, other people. You take it. they don't they do coaching calls and all that other stuff. We're, we're, I, I've heard Myron say plenty of times, we're we're going to teach you guys not to get finessed. Um, you know how not to do this, how not to do that. You know, don't go up in these three hundred fours. Well, I've literally heard Fresh say that. Right. And he's doing it. I think I think the video on Facebook got taken down. You probably have to look it up on Rumble. No, I'm a, I, I want I want to get the one with her where she talked. Uh, she did a live. No, no, no. The, you talking about the one with Fresh and Fit where they was reacting to it? Yeah, because I was watching it and then like just cut off. <laughs> it's available. Okay. I'm, get her up. Okay. I'm having a hold on. I'm a, I'm gonna get hers up in a minute. Do you know her name? I could probably find it on TikTok. Her name is... CJ Daisy or something? Yeah, CJ Daisy. Hold on, let me find this chick. Give me a second. I'm going to download it, and then I'm going to get it up in a minute. But, um, again, I, I think that people are... are. I think that they're overreacting, honestly. I think no, I, I, think, I think he just made himself, you know... Uh, open to the internet and anybody to have an opinion if whether they like I think it benefits them. Well no, all I mean all you know, I, I love press. All press is good press, but at the end of the day, for his personal life, if you're portraying yourself as that, it will be the same if you were portraying yourself as a millionaire and then somebody shows your bank statements and all of the accounts that you have, it's like damn near zero. Yeah. That's Anton did show a bank account with like five dollars in it. Yeah, I show him. I show him all the time. <laughs> but he also, you know, is on paper. Way At more least Fresh have a, a good friend. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can find something. Now protecting him. I'm going to see if I can get it up here. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, she fresh off the boat for real, for real. Somebody yeah, in the chat did. said Destiny held her accountable. And, and, and again, she should be accountable. But I didn't expect, yeah, I mean, you know, expect Fresh to be dealing with somebody like that. Well, you know, yeah. besides like, a pump know, and dump. Yeah, you're right. We don't know this chick. Like, she could be, we don't know her. But for Fresh to have that platform preach X, Y, and Z, and here you go, that's karma, I think. <laughs> like, you bring well, let me on, Let me play on. some of it. Let me play some okay. of it. Okay. Hey, I brought it. I'm so depressed. <laughs> like seriously, I've been depressing. Like, I know this is not healthy, but it just gave me mad. Um, if he would apologize to me and solve the issue, everything would be fine. Everything would be fine. I didn't have to go all of this. I didn't have to go so far. I never thought about exposing him. Uh, I just wanted to keep the evidence and everything that to prove that it's actually happened and it's true. I'm not saying I'm naive or innocent. It's just sometimes when things happen, you are in a foreign country, you have to protect yourself. She pretty though. Cause on the 25th, 26th, um, that's the day I left Miami. I came to New York. I didn't talk to him at all. The breakup, I, I deal, I deal, deal it. I deal with it perfectly. I did not like continue bothering him or anything. Like I can deal with that. It's just a breakup, which is fine. But he got me pregnant until the 30th of April. I contact him, but he was ignoring me. He was saying. I don't want the baby. I don't want a baby. Oh, wow, this is actually happening. Wow, this is true. I can't believe this is happening. What the fuck? You can't believe this is happening. By having sex, by having unprotected, unprotected sex with your girlfriend. I'm sorry. I can't deal with a chick that can't. I know Passport Bros is a movement. It's ours. Don't do that. I I know well, Pat. They, they said it's uh, Pat Rose you can't talk about her because she she doesn't have English as a first language. I know Passport Bros is a movement. 
And listen, I think that people should date whoever they want, which we're going to get into that today because we're going to get into the Umar Johnson, Nick Cannon conversation and all of that, right? But my point is that I can't deal with a woman that can't speak English. I don't even like women that have English as a first language that talk too ghetto. <laughs> don't do that. She foreign. Foreign chicks matter. If a but chick is 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 speak too ghetto, I'd be like the ghetto part. <laughs> the ghetto part, yes, but not because she's foreign. We got a lot of people that's foreign that's learning English that are hard workers out there. I don't care about that. I think that people what? should talk to whoever they want to talk to. I can't deal with a chick that like I can't call you my girlfriend and I don't even know. Like I'm not I'm not about to keep correcting you all. Like I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to talk to a chick like talk like see yeah, I, I don't want to do that, bro. One so thing she did talk say, to somebody like wanna... Cardi B. No, oh, Cardi B ratchet. Uh, what's that? Oh, but she knows what she's talking about. But she she knows what she's like. Ah, look, this for me, all this proves is that it doesn't matter where you're from or what part of the content that the continent that you are. That all women kind of think the same. It's not only yeah, black women. Okay. No, yeah, all, all of these women think the same. You could be Chinese. I, I, I said that all the time. You could be I, black. I all the time. It's all, all women. And that's how I know. It's almost like, okay, so y'all think that these women that's overseas don't even understand American laws when it comes to trying to get a green card and child support? No, she's trying to finesse you the same way. Yeah. She's not even did you, did you Did you listen to the, the conversation that they had on the phone? Yeah. You talking about the one? Yeah, well, I, I played it the other day. Okay. Before you had came up, I had played it. But yeah. what thing? the funny thing she just said that she was trying to expose him. So if that was the case, why did you leak your phone conversation? That's one. She, she was, literally went from getting broke up with to straight to the internet. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, you did expose him. Like, don't say you weren't trying to expose him. So I think both of them are in the wrong. I think he's more, it's funny. To me, it's funny for him. I never really liked their shows anyway, so it's karma. I, I just don't I think it's getting no pressure because everybody knows what she is. Like, I, mm. you know what she is. No, nah, I think that it's worse. I think that she should be held accountable more. because, she, And the reason that I say that is, is because it don't matter if he was goofy or not. Her intentions were bad from the beginning. And that's the part that I don't like. I don't like what people... I don't like when people... So look, if I if I get taken advantage of as Anton Daniels, let's say mm -hmm. let's say I fall victim to some pussy and my vasectomy mm -hmm. so happened to reconnect itself. And <laughs> like let's just say everything that can go wrong goes wrong, right? Mm -hmm. And some chick finesse me. Cool. All right, cool. I'm gonna be held accountable. Whatever. She's gonna get some money out of me. However it play out, it play out. Cool. The other side of it though is are we victim shaming here? Because Fresh is the victim. Her whole... <laughs> her, no, let's just be honest. It's hard. Her, no. Her, no, think about it. Think about it. Her whole intention from the beginning was to finesse him. And so, yes, guys get finessed all the time. Yes, we have mm -hmm. to be responsible. But then at the same time, if you come in here premeditated to do something negative to me in order to finesse me, you should be held more accountable than I am. But the finesse is you, the victim, you, you not the know, finesse girl. You know this, though. You know that the, this is what these girls do. The, like, they teach it. They teach it. They it's teach it what to look out for, what to not date. So he could have seen this girl from a mile away. He That girl shouldn't even be in his space. Wait, did she you know that? Why not? Like, you know, she's a bust listen, down. Listen, of course she should be in his murder. space. There's murder. Right, but he's not just busting her down. She lived with him and all types of other stuff. There's murder, what? there's murder, and then there's premeditated murder. Okay? It's two different <laughs> things. It's two different things. And I no, think that, this was think that people that come like, in. He didn't bust her down and keep it moving. He he was literally like having Yeah, because he thought she loved him. He, she's from out of the country. She was giving him the Asian experience. That nigga got finessed. <laughs> but doesn't she do OnlyFans? I don't know. Right? About, I don't know nothing. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. She got a her her Instagram is pretty popping. I think is what they said, but that's about she, it. She no, she's one of those um those fitness like bodybuilder chicks. Oh, mm. okay. I listen. I, I think that I think that she should be held accountable 
All right, let me play a little bit more of this. Hold on. It's hard he to knows to. what's going to happen, right? Or he's he's just dumb. He's not oh. educated. See what I'm saying? Now you want to throw shots? She said he's dumb. I mean, he is dumb, but. And these guys are still getting support, and I bet they hired people for that. They hired oh, no, people I think to they pay support. for that fucking chat money, a hundred dollars. <laughs> it's um oh, seriously this is what it's going they it, are it's hard to decipher because i listened to her to this, and then she's been on a couple of platforms and then i listened to their little thing with their lawyer and it's like i don't know what the fuck to believe <laughs> i don't believe her but the lawyer did you did you hear what the lawyer was saying when he was just like well you know we can we can you know keep certain things from happening and i'm like i get all of that right he may can have money to finesse all that but why is he in that situation i'm just i'm just like the situation shouldn't even happen that's my problem because she and he said it was for other women she set him up anton anton how did he get set up if this man talks about these types of women that? every single on a little platform right how did she possibly set him up? Because just by having sex with him. Like, even if she's not pregnant, just by having sex with him, she set him up. Like, I bust her down like she now she's lying about pregnancy. But if, like, so that's not Because a you, okay, this is the thing about women. They catch you at your, they catch you at your weakest point. Let me tell you something. Let me, so. <laughs> so the other four too. I just don't believe he, I don't believe he nutted in her. I don't believe that. No, he said he did. He said, just take the pill. He he okay, so on that same episode that you're talking he about, say with take the lawyer, he didn't say take the pill. Oh, okay, so the, the episode with the lawyer, he said, he said, he did. Now I'll give him this. He took accountability. He said, I should have not busted in that 304. See that? We always got to take accountability. Wait, no, he and, called and her 304? As, he called her 304. Yeah, the lawyer he, called he, her 304. He, he learning who she is as she operates right? no so, or so, he knew so he if you knew she's a three no and uh he got four he said he he said he got four other ones so he's doing the same thing he's gonna be we don't back know. here we don't know that i'm gonna say this anton you know he said four other girls about, might be pregnant i'm gonna say this i'm fresh is not cute before this no. platform he probably never even got chicks let's just be honest Come on, Q. You don't have to be cute to get chicks. That's not. You don't. You don't have to be cute. Okay, but his person, true, but his personality is dry. The clips that I've seen, his personality is dry. So let's just be Okay, honest. I'll give you the dry. Let's go dry. Okay, if you, ain't got, if you ugly ain't getting no personality and you wasn't really dressed like you from the island. I, I don't know. <laughs> first of all, he, he knows. Well, listen, first of all, we can't use that as an excuse, Q. All right, because no, no, no. I'm saying that he probably never used to got chicks. So now that he has these all these women throwing themselves at him, three o fours, he's not used to it. So he's okay smashing three o fours. But I mean, that still doesn't. That's like a chick that was a late bloomer, right? I mean, a chick may have been a late bloomer. You're right, and she gets slutted out in and college. She's not used to attention. She's not used to it. And but she's not the same. There. It's not the same for guys because guys can. God, look, 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 you you can't even use it. Okay, so here's the thing. You can't use the narrative against guys. I think that that's a bad narrative to use against guys to say, well, nope. they, they never, we've talked about this before. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To say that they never got chicks, right? Because if you a young guy, right, let's say mm -hmm. under 22, you don't know yourself and you still trying to figure out, like, from from the time that you probably turn 25 and you start to start get a level of success to the time mm -hmm. you get 70 you win mm -hmm. the game you win the game mm -hmm. and so i don't think it even matters what happened before 21 22 23 years old if you never but got not, as a young guy but he's that like 35 I mean, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Anton, when you Anton, Anton, you you've noticed. We've talked about this before. When someone never got chicks, and then they come on YouTube, they come on social media, uh -huh. they start getting attention uh -huh. from women that they probably never would talk to. They might. But who? Like who? You got to give and an Q, example. He was married. Okay, too. I'll give you an example. Jr. You said give an example. <laughs> 
That's the last person I expected for you to say. Well, <laughs> well we we don't we don't know we don't know Messy anything. About, we don't. <laughs> let's not use let's not use Jr. <laughs> what you told, that was a, a no. Give me give me somebody else. Give me somebody else. Give me. Somebody I don't else. I don't know nobody else well enough on YouTube to say that. But can it happen with guys? Yes, because they get another type of attention when they become famous, when they get money, when they get on platforms, because women <laughs> seek after them to get them caught up. You know it's true. You know I'm right. Am I wrong? But that, but no. you, but still, that you two Am things. I wrong? No, you're not wrong. But two things can be true at the same time. Two things can be true at the same time. Here's the other part of that equation, though. But you getting chicks now. However, however mm -hmm. you getting them, you getting them. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the only thing that matters, right? I, I get that he's getting them, but he he's not following his own advice. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. His own That's, advice okay, is well, to stay clear of these 304s and don't let them in your space and, and don't let these chicks try to finesse you. So even if she's not pregnant, Right? Y'all need to have a and drink. She's trying to finesse him. She he, he she shouldn't be in his space other than being a uh, um pump and dump, right? Y'all need to have a drink. Y'all too wound up. I just right. think men like social media, like you, whoever, <laughs> you guys should not um be around certain people. That's not right? true. When you reach when you reach a certain well, no no, I'm talking about women, I'm talking about men. I'm talking to you, men. Men, if you were at a certain caliber, if you're going chasing your purpose, you shouldn't be entertaining all types of women. Let's just be honest. Come on. What happened to Dick Discipline? He's not married. Uh -huh. He's not even. He's not even. He married. used to. No, he was married. He he was married. But he's not married now, though. But Anton, right, you so, spoke so, about Dick Discipline people for that. That's not married. So what are you talking about? What does that have to he do? He has a fail. But, he has no, a fail. No, no, no. I agree with this okay. Dick Discipline. Right. That's my standard. I think that most men should be able to exercise it in order to make sure that they don't get caught up. And I and like I said, two things can be true at the same time. He can be um, in the wrong for skeeting off in a chick with no rubber on. Okay, I give him that. But then at the same time, y'all still not holding her accountable for pre no she for premeditating. No, we've been spending the whole time talking about him, but we not we not holding her accountable for the premeditated nonsense that she's doing. To try to get him caught up, she tried. We, we held her accountable. I, we, oh, y'all did not. Y'all did not. Anton, I'm already okay. holding her accountable because she's a 304. I'm literally calling her a 304 because I know what she yeah. is. Like I can see those girls from a mile away, right? So what makes her a like, 304. She because because she said she said I don't even like you. So y'all, so, 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 so she shouldn't get nothing. No, she we didn't say no, that. No, she shouldn't, but look, no, she shouldn't get anything. But the problem is, Anton, mm -hmm. he allowed her in his space to be able to try to get something. That's what I'm saying. That's all. True. He, he got to do that because that's what he, the, the, he, this is a part of his recruitment, okay? He Wait, can what? bust her down and let her go. Let's, no, because her, right? you got, look, the, the, being in Miami, the type of shows they put on, you got to be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? If you're not in the streets, then you're not really participating. You know what I'm saying? So you, can't you in the streets effing women raw? No. To network? I that, hope not in Miami. I don't, I, don't, I don't run a platform like them. No, I'm saying that. that is that the new networking for these new podcasters? They got to network by having sex with women raw? No, I think that people should... Um. Okay, I I always and and this don't have even have nothing to do with them in particular, but I believe that the best way for you to really be able to speak to certain things is that you got to live it to an extent. Mm -hmm. I I believe that the best music come from people that's really out here living it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard. It's like you could tell the artists that get comfortable or they start being in the crib and stuff because they their products suffer. Whereas, like, I kind of relate it to, like, 70s and 80s rock bands where they want the rock stars had to be tearing up the hotels and fucking the chicks and on drugs and stuff. And that gave them the best product. Right. And so I think that mm -hmm. if if they putting on that type of show, not saying that they have to, but I think that the fact that that he's in it and he's living it probably allows for them to put on a better product. That's all I'm saying. As a creator. But he's also saying that you can't, that you, okay, so I get what you're saying, right? But 
he's also saying that you can't allow yourself to get caught up and he did this i agree he missed saying. it's, Mr. it's I, like I Derek, said that. i said that it's he like missed. Derek jackson right he was talking all that nonsense <laughs> and he was busting him down like, <laughs> <That's a fact. laughs> it, it's just it doesn't it, and it hurt his brand and so what i'm saying is it, it's stupid to get no he didn't have like to hurt his own brand the only thing i heard Derek jackson is the fact that he didn't keep going he slowed down he stopped he started trying to mitigate shit he didn't have to say the nothing. Helmet of salvation. He doing exactly what he was doing. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Nobody cares. So, Nobody cares. And, and so I have a question. If this chick was black, I know you wouldn't be saying what you be saying right now. Yes, I would. Oh, it's the same thing. Listen, no. people, people think We're I care about, about Dre them. and Michelle. Dre and Michelle. Travis people think Jay that I care. About you. People think that I care about Fresh and Fit. I would never go on Fresh and Fit. Like that's not no. a thing. Mine. I don't watch their show. This don't have nothing to do with fresh and fit. It's the same thing with Diddy, right? It's a completely separate separate situation. But I I think that too much of the blame goes on men. We've been we we've, we've been through this a thousand times, and the men are always held accountable. We know that they fucked up. They know that they fucked up. They never said that they didn't fuck up. But I think that the problem with these conversations is that people want fresh and fit to lose so bad, or people want Diddy to lose so bad that they lose sight of what's really happening and. and What's happening is that women are, are feeling emboldened to do this stuff and they're doing it with no shame because they're not held accountable to the same standards that the people that they do it against um, are. So it's hard for me to sit here and say, well, listen, kick, 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 fresh and fit. When first, we don't have no proof that this hoe is even pregnant. Secondly, we don't even know if it's he is, if, it, if she is pregnant. Third, mm -hmm. we don't even know what the like we not holding her accountable for trying to get, get over here and have a green card. And then fourth, if she's sitting there talking about that I didn't fuck with him anywhere or I hate him or he's stupid, then that means that she was already premeditating trying to get caught up because she's seen him as a mark. Now, again, it is our responsibility to try to gird ourselves up and prevent ourselves from being in this situation and being situationally aware so that you're not a mark, but y'all not holding the same standards across but the world. I thought, women. Anton, I thought women, women, hold, women hold access to sex and then men hold access to relationships correct so they were in some type of little relationship whether it's super serious it's, or not whatever but she was in his house and everything like regular hoes don't get to be just all in your house all in your space all in everything like she had like full access so i agree he so he I'm saying like he it's probably, so, so probably, that's why I hold, him, probably be caring that's why I hold shit. him more accountable. Now the baby thing, that's on her if she lets some man that she doesn't even like, you know, make her as she said, make her pregnant. So that's on her. And that's why I don't have any sympathy for it because I know what she is. I don't have exactly. any sympathy for Fresh because he also knows what she is. Exactly. No, I, just, no. I just don't get why you want us to hold these hoes accountable. We knew she was a hoe. <laughs> the Drea, same reason, we knew she's a hoe. The same reason why we hold men accountable. We don't give them But it's no like, in time, we can't change these hoes. Why am I holding hoes that why don't want to change? We? Why can't they look, Wait, wait, wait. On the Monday platform, you said that hoes and side chicks are needed. <laughs> you said agreed, that. Agreed. So you uh, agree not, not, not ones that's pregnant, though. What? Make that make sense. We don't, need, so you amp up we don't want them to have children out of wedlock. You amp up. You No, that means no. <laughs> if you really believe in the Bible, they shouldn't be having sex, period. If you want I to agree. Them, I agree. And she okay. brought up her religion, too. Yeah, but it's it's a balance. I say that. I say that they need it because it's a balance. It's always going to be good and bad. It's always going to be, you know, saints and sinners. It's always going to be all of that, right? So, you know, for us to even have this conversation... Listen, if it wasn't no holes for me to hold accountable, then the conversations that I would be having, it would be complete. If everything was right in the world, I wouldn't be able to hold Joe Biden accountable, right? So I need them in order for me to be able to create the content <laughs> that I create that he holds does. people accountable. But my point, just... is, my point is, it's still the same. Like, oh. okay, Fresh is an idiot. We should, we, we, <laughs> listen, there's nobody on the internet that has done a live stream that is not holding Fresh accountable. I'm I'm pretty sure that he knows this. So goes without saying, how come nobody's having a conversation on the other side though and saying, why are y'all letting these chicks come over here and do what they want to do and leverage the system 
that needs to be changed. These same women that saying that, oh man, let's hold Fresh accountable, is advocating against updating family court laws, which incentivize these women to go and get pregnant by these guys. Because in the these are the women that Fresh and Fit advocated for. Exactly. They're going said, after these types of women. He, he said. He said that those type of women, not from you know the Western society, were better, right? So she's not from here. Like, I know what if better. He, like, what if he I know genuinely... better, but this is what they're teaching. So she should be better, right? Women are women across the board. But, you know, they're teaching that women somewhere else, you know, are better. Okay. Well, she's showing and proving. I, no, I, think I don't think that generally, He generally loved this, like, like, he can't tell us on the internet, but I, he probably has something in his heart. Like I know my best friend, he'd be he busting probably, down. He, he said, "I be," he said, "I be falling in love with these hoes I cheat with." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. He probably did. Right. He more, didn't have this access to women. He, you're probably right, Quinn. He probably is mm -hmm. because he didn't have this access to women. Prior to him being on the <laughs> no, that's not true, Q. You don't have he, to he, he can't he say it to like us because it'll like kill fun. everything that they are if he tells us about it. But that nigga love turning. <laughs> exactly. But Anton, the thing is, is like I think that I'm I'm like surprised at the men nowadays. We know these are hoes, but it's like how many of you men gotta get trapped by hoes? Like all you athletes, all you famous. What do you mean? The only thing we got, listen. Our weakest you know link is old. you. Yeah, but it don't matter because the weakest link. Listen, we only as good as the last woman that we fuck. All right? What? We're it's only not. as good. Listen, listen, listen to what I'm telling you. We're only as good as the last woman that we fuck, and I'm I'm not saying it in society. I'm saying that we're held accountable by the look. I could be great to every woman that that I ever talked to in life, right? And society will judge me based off of how it is that I dealt with the last woman that I dealt with. You're only as good as the last woman that you fucked. Because if this woman finessed me, but I got a 20-year track record of greatness before that, they don't give a fuck about the greatness before that. And that's what I'm saying, that men are always held to a different standard because they only pay attention to your situation that you're in now. They don't care about what your history is. You could be perfect right. all the way up to that point. But if the last person that you fucked go in and say, well, this nigga did that or this dude is trash mm -hmm. or he a deadbeat dad or whatever, then that's how you judge as a man. Women right. get grace mercifully. Right. They get, yeah. so we, we only got to fuck up one time. You could shoot your shot and premeditate to get, you can go and talk to 20 NFL players and nobody knows mm -hmm. the fact that you tried to talk to 20 NFL players. If you get, if the 21st NFL player is the one that gets you pregnant, then that motherfucker just done. They never they don't know. Hold women to the, Anton, they know. They never they, they, hurt old women to the same standards. But that, that's but that's that, men's that, fault. Y'all don't hold these women accountable. Like these in the women entertainment world. In the entertainment world, I see the I see the same like I will be in the studio with an artist and it'll be a you know, some chick. Okay. She's just sitting there. And then I'll go to another studio or another writing session. And it's the same chick. They all know her. They all know what she's about, and they still do it. Yeah. <laughs> they, they still I'm, about to stop. They, I'm they not drinking no more tonight. Here. This is going to go left. I'm just. I have, I have I a, just what, what, <laughs> last I time just, that I drunk on the stream, I think I was on there with fucking Q, and that shit went left. That's a fact. And <laughs> yep. But I just have, when y'all say hold women accountable, women don't listen to What does that look women. like? Let me, let me just tell you something. Like? Women don't listen to women unless they are agreeing with the woman. Yeah. Anytime a woman disagrees, you're a picky. Pick me. They, they attack pick you physically, me. how you look. They you attack me all day long. They attack me every day and nobody cares. But, but yeah. Anton, Q is right, though. I, to, I told you that. I told you. Anytime I tell women that I'm a pick me, um, I'm male identify because what? I tell women the truth. You identify yeah, I male, as a male. Identify. Yeah, I identify mm. as a male. <laughs> what, 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 what does it look like to hold someone accountable? Like somebody, like how, how do we hold a person like Fresh accountable? What does that look like for us? Well, we don't because society already Fresh is being I mean, held accountable right now. He already getting his ass kicked. Like he already yeah, he's got an egregious amount of money on the lawyer just to even see what the possibilities are. 
But whose fault is that, though? Everybody on the internet is kicking his ass and all of that, which is cool. You know, whatever. You got a platform. This is what you asked for. Cool. We gonna hold you accountable for that. Mm -hmm. Listen. But she's I mean, a nobody. Fresh give. Fresh is giving her the platform. Right. I'm not saying she's a, like nobody as a human being. I'm saying in the space of celebrity. Right. She wouldn't be somebody like Fresh. Right. So Fresh has to give her that platform. That's why I'm saying it, it's, it's, it's so sad that he, he he did it. I don't I don't think he did anything. I don't I don't think this woman's pregnant. I think we're going to come out in about 30 days. <laughs> And that's cool. If that's the case, that's cool. We'll do another live stream. But let's say it is. Let's say he, he clearly been screwing her raw. He admitted to it. But let, let's just stand on the standpoints he's admitted. He's screwing a 304 raw. Why do men keep screwing 304s raw? What, what, what is okay, 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 okay. Because this word 304, there's you levels said, okay, to 304. Like so have you there, there's that? 304s that are 304s by like physical 304s and then like mental. Like she's like... Like what if what if this is the first dude she's ever fucked? Then you're still gonna call her a hoe. Fucking her raw would be okay. What? No. If if, if I took this girl's virginity, it's okay to fuck her raw. Raw not. <laughs> but she's not. We we know. Okay, so she. How do we know that? How do we know that? <laughs> she's a three or four because she set him up. She just said she didn't like him. So well, that's why I said me, there's a difference between the three or four. Because like you're screwing this man. Having sex with him, you're letting him nut in you raw, and you don't even like him. You Do know you know him? how hard it is? From hold on, let me let me. Yeah, I don't think y'all really giving men enough, uh, honestly, enough sympathy here. Like we really, really deserve some grace here. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, all jokes aside, grace. Hey, yeah, oh, absolutely. We go out here, we kill ourselves every single day. Look, look, True. <sighs> look at the women on this fucking panel. You guys are gorgeous. Like most guys would not be able to resist y'all. And then this is, this is why we, this is why, no, no, no. But think about it. This is why we preach so hard. You don't have to preach on something that's already understood. Right? So if I say, Hey guys, y'all got to have dick discipline, have dick discipline, have dick discipline. Don't fucking crash out for Q and Mika. I wouldn't have to say that if dudes wouldn't, I don't have to do that for trigger, for example. Right? I, I mean, let's just be real. I don't know. I'm just being real. We got a little drink going. We good. I don't have to say, hey, family, don't crash out for them. I don't but, know, Trigger. She might be able to. But on the flip side, <laughs> it, and, and, but see, in the reverse, think about it. In the reverse, the reason why they preach so hard to say believe all women is because a lot of women be lying. They do. And, and so if you they wouldn't do. have to preach it if it wasn't true. So guys, in a sense, kind of deserve some grace. Because it's a very difficult situation for most men to not see it through. I um I ran into this situation my tenth grade year of high school. Six dudes ran a train on this girl. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> and and when she Six and they guys? dropped her off at home, and when they dropped her off at home, her sister saw her. So her sister um, told her dad, and her dad said, six guys raped me. See what I'm saying? And they, the next day at school, they just start snatching people out of class. <laughs> <laughs> and then my dad's the cop, so I get, I get home, and my dad was like, what the fuck do you know? <laughs> I mean, so listen to what y'all just said. We know women lie. We know women deceive. We mm -hmm. know that. Right. We know that even though if that's the case, we know all this about women. Why do you guys men fall for these type of women? Why do you guys go back to the Dre and Michelle? What do you mean? We can't. Why can't why, why sometimes we're, we're weak sometimes. Like we have moment of vulnerability. Like okay, granted. So if you're weak, then take accountability. You guys, I think that men, you men have way more to lose nowadays compared to women. And men just don't uh, care. They're thinking with their dicks instead of their head. No, we it's care. Like, what makes you think that we don't care? We worked our whole lives to get here. Fact. No, we, we worked care. our whole care. lives to get here. Of course we care. Of course we no, care. No, no, no. You, you didn't care when you was raw dogging hoes. He didn't care when he was raw dogging hoes. We care. 
We care. Okay. We care I a mean, lot. Unless you, unless you, uh, to me, unless you're like, you're going to do it like 50 Cent and say, I write the check before the baby come, who the hell cares? Then I don't Even think. he broken. Know. He was, he going at Puffy because Puffy, Puffy is, was <laughs> fucking her. He, he going after Puffy because Puffy is fucking his baby mama. That's just a fact. I mean, well, he has a son that has to see that his mama is a sex woman. But you see what I'm saying, though? Like, yeah. they're the same. Niggas crash out over women all the time. <clears throat> but she wasn't okay, a sex so worker what? when he started dating her. She was so frustrated. Well, he, don't, he called her a sex worker. <laughs> I just, she called, like, my little sex worker. That shit was so women. What's, what's the advice for men? Because the more I go on social media, the more I see these, like, High, high, top-notch men falling for hoes. Because we, they to pray. They to pray. And then y'all are like, oh my God, I got set up. Bro, she's a hoe. What do you expect? We're, because we are the, honestly, well, I'm not going to say me because I ain't in this shit. And we don't think hoes are smarter than us. So it's probably our, um, men. Our still that, women. And, and let me they're tell still you. still women. They still, they're still calculated. We not, think about how hard they going at fresh, right? Think about how hard they going at fresh. Myron is a good friend though. That nigga Myron is fucking a one ten toes down for that nigga. Myron, yeah, because uh, he was he was he was talking more. That nigga special. lost his shit. He lost his shit That's about his type friend. Of friend you need, bro. But think about that. Like we get no grace, zero. A what woman can make a mistake. A woman can make a mistake and get more fans. All the grace. Tia Mori is he out got here. You pregnant? Oh my god. Tia Mori is out here running either. up. But she don't matter. She running up a bag, and the women love her and support her. We True. get no, no. whatsoever. I have been squeaky clean. I mean, squeaky clean. Have no smut on my name. Never went to jail. Not got no illegitimate kids. Ain't nobody mm -hmm. from the past ever said nothing about me. Ain't nobody. Can't nobody say I did bad. Like nothing. And I am practically public name to me number one, just because. They want to put me as a part of a sphere or some shit, right? Like, we get zero grace. None. <laughs> if a chick go out here and she out, she out here and she get a nigga pregnant, it's going to be good for you, sis. Congratulations. Like, you get you. Y'all got it. Y'all are blessed by God to even just be a woman. Y'all get all the grace whatsoever in life. And yeah, I, don't I don't understand why we only talk about the guys, but we don't hold the women accountable but they continue to be successful as a result of it. But Anton, wow. even you said it's always the, the loudest ones that you're listening to. There are women like me who don't agree with none of these women. And again, we're silenced because we don't agree with them. We can be in the chats and everything and they'll <laughs> either block us, take our comments off. Or all the women will come and attack us and say we're pygmies, male identified, like I just said before. So there are women that don't agree with any of this nonsense and we'll call it out. But we're not we're not the majority. So because I don't agree with baby mama culture at all. I don't think it's good for anybody. I don't even agree with I don't even uh, agree with the promiscuous culture because I think it just sets women up at the end of the day because if men can do, you know, get everything for free, why would they marry you? Why would they, why do they need to do that? If you're just this, this is wild. This is wild for me. I'm just, I mean, and to, I don't know how you want us to hold like more accountable because they don't listen. Nothing changes. When women hold women accountable, nothing changes. I go in on chicks in the shade room all the time and I, you know, I got a, whole, a thousand comments. Nothing is going to change for us the holding only these people that can hold. The only people that can hold women accountable is society, just as it is for men. Like, no specific gender. Like, stuff has to start happening to them publicly yeah. in their lives for something to change. Shame. I think shame. Like, big shame. Like, if we didn't embrace the sexy reds, like, like for instance, for example, um, I think I saw something sexy red was banned from school, from coming to a school because she smelled like weed. What yeah. school mm -hmm. in their right mind decided to invite her to be a spokesperson. Like, I, how dumb are you guys? Like, I'm just not going um, I'm just not going to throw fresh under the bus for a little quick mistake. I can't do it. A little, not a quick mistake. He has mistake. four others, Anton. <laughs> he has four kids or? No, no he, has, he, he said he has four other women that he has to find out if they're pregnant too. 
I don't. Wait, I mean, that might be a play. Where do you say that at? I don't. I, I think I just can't, I'm not. I'm not I, going by default. Listen, listen to this chick here. I'm about to play some more of her. Listen to her. Everything like <laughs> every like they don't feel ashamed about it. They're still making money from it. Like, <laughs> look at her. Well, that's Why did he not use the condom? Because we are boyfriend and girlfriend. We are in a relationship. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but. That nigga was in love. If I'm in a relationship. So why he can't be in, that's what I'm saying. Why he can't be in he love? He was in love. He nigga, can be. I'm not he holding him accountable. I'm not calling, like holding him wasn't. accountable. Honestly, he, I think he, that he shouldn't even have said nothing to the internet regarding this situation. Oh, no, this benefits him. He wins. Oh, okay, well, I think then, his, go ahead. His, his lawyer would agree as well. Because his lawyer was like, why the fuck are we on this platform right as now? A, as a content creator. <laughs> really? As a content creator, this keeps their name in an algorithm. I think that he wins uh, as far as the visibility. I think he wins. If he, if he know how to play it right, which it seemed like they playing it perfectly, I think he wins from this. Oh, from it, a business it can all just, it can all just go away. This is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Shoot, this can be a whole skit right now. We wouldn't even know. Yeah, this is and, phenomenal as a business standpoint. Yeah. And, again... Y'all not giving him great. He might have thought that they was really boyfriend and girlfriend. But he said he called her. He said she he called her a three or four. When when she this, tried this, to this, say it. that your actions, she said your actions. He said, well, I said this. She said no, but your actions said something else. And we were and we were in love. And then he was like, no, no, it's, no. It's, so it's, it's, it's like, called was cognitive. it or not? It's called cognitive dissonance, is what it's called, and and he and he can't show what he truly feels on the internet. It can't happen. Like this nigga, that but, was his girlfriend. Like I, she said, I, that nigga loved her, and he thought it was gonna. We be don't know kid. that. We don't know that. How many men? How many? Let's just be honest. Let me just say this: How many women think Actions. they're in a relationship, but they're really not in a relationship? It happens. Nigga, he was. Okay? She was spending the night, nigga. That doesn't no. mean nothing, Quinn. You spend a night with chicks you wasn't even screwing. What are you talking about? I, I, I don't. About? I don't spend a night at girls' houses. I don't do that. That's weird. you. You have, but let's just <laughs> no, be honest. A that. lot of women can they be delusional, thinking they're in a relationship and they're not. Okay, he might have gave her the fairy tale, told her what she wanted to hear. That could have been a whole situation too. It's multiple avenues of this. It doesn't matter. It's the fact that she could be pregnant. He was raw dog in a three hundred four because he's calling her a three hundred four. If she's a well, he's talking to three hundred four now because of what's going on. He's he's hurt. He was in love and he's hurt, and that is hurt. Oh my that gosh, is what <laughs> so you, if you're hurt like this, you call women three hundred fours. Yes, hurt people hurt women? hurt people hurt people. Yes, I say the most horrible oh, thing about someone probably. who hurt me. I don't know, okay. men. I, I've always noticed that men. Um, I tend to watch what men do instead of what men say. Mm hmm. And if he was acting like, you know, doing the things of boyfriend, husband, whatever she calls him, then that's probably what she was paying attention to. Yeah. Versus what he was saying. But he could have been doing that with other chicks too. Like we can't, just because oh, a he, man's he probably actions, was. Yeah, just because a man's actions are showing boyfriend actions don't mean that y'all boyfriend and girlfriend. She might, that mean, that might be the first black guy she was ever with and he love bombed her. And they, she thought they were together. And Come on, you know together. it was a premeditated setup, y'all. Come on, no, y'all got at least better. Y'all got to give me that. I agree. Yeah, that we it's agree. premeditated. I just don't think that. I, I just don't. I'm not giving him. I'm not cutting him slack because he proclaims to be the guru of this. Like I don't know if he knows it. Guru though, <laughs> he doesn't play to be. He like sits on the sideline. He gets his little. Little little spigots why Myron's doing all the other stuff. Oh you know, no, really his don't. his following came yesterday and told me then told me that he is very smart. This is what they told me. He's very smart and he knows what he's doing and yada yada yada. So I'm gonna assume that he knows what he's doing. Okay, okay, just like in real life, who gets pregnant? Like this is like the most emotional state in a woman's life. And you go to the and you run straight to the internet. Like I've never seen oh, this no, woman before. Like freaking Lucky had her on her show. I'm like, how you find Lucky? <laughs> lucky you. Lucky, lucky you. Lucky. Lucky. I am Lucky. Had this girl on her show, like talking to her. When? <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs>
<laughs> so how the yeah, fuck lucky get this I out? I get on your side. If, she, if she's willing to go on that little platform, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want this hole on my platform. I'm gonna be honest. With you. <laughs> Like, I'm not I don't I, going on I don't those give her, No, I don't want to give her no <laughs> visibility because it's all clout chasing. Like, if you got a real story and you got something else about you, if the only thing that we know about you is you, a chick that's here because Fresh got you pregnant, I'm not I'm not about to support these hoes, man. Like, it's gotta be more to the story than that. I'm not about to get this whole a platform. That's crazy, man. But you said Anton, hoes I told are you needed Thursday in that she was on a hobo tour. Yeah, I, I mean hoes are needed, tour. but at still no. at the same time, I'm not giving her no nah. It's certain ones that just don't deserve no play, bro. Fuck that bitch. The hoes are not needed. Sorry. She's really pretty though. She is pretty. I said that. She is pretty. Man, ain't no chick that pretty, bro. Is she not dumb? Pretty. She's definitely ain't, dumb. Ain't no chick in the world that pretty, bro. Yeah, we're saying we're not saying it's okay what she did because she's pretty. No, she's pretty, but she dumb. Yeah, but I don't like people. Did y'all hear what Alba and Preach said? No, what they, what, they what they say don't matter. They hate fresh and fit. It don't matter. No, I think they talked her though. She I, her I don't. Like, I don't like her. I don't like her, bro. Fuck that the, bitch. The pure fact that she was like bringing up all the religion stuff, and clearly you're you're not into any religion, man. I mean, she correct, correct. But that's what I'm saying. She she's a three oh four. We already know this. That's why I don't understand why she's here. I don't like that hoe. <laughs> this is my like when people do these pod these podcasts. I'm like, I don't people that call themselves coaches. Like we don't even know what they're preaching is what their real life is. Like you can That's knock three or fours all you want, and here you go getting a three or four pregnant. Like this is why, like I can't just like what's the other guy's name? The one that was cheating on his wife, but simping to women. Oh, Jackson. Derek Jackson. Jackson. He's mm -hmm. another one. Yeah. A Jer Derek Jackson is the king. He, the king what? sent my baby mama tried to no, bring no, him. No, no, no. He's just the king in general. <laughs> I don't know how women even took him seriously though. Like Derek he, Jackson. He, he, he That's was, it was caping for no. him. No. Oh, I, listen, okay, Derek I Jackson so finesse mohos. I used to get bread. so much flack for saying he... I don't understand how they get finessed by him. Well, like, because... If they ask him a first, question... Go ahead. His first viral video, it was talking. It was about child support. And he would, that's the one when he went big and all the baby mamas like hopped on board. And he. I think he was telling about... Why it is what it is, and the baby mama can spend child support on what she want to spend child support on, and it don't matter, and this and that, and all, all the baby mamas. That that that's what made them famous. That's Wait, well, I don't know why y'all surprised. Women like hearing when women agree with them or people yeah. agree with them. They go against the grain when someone's disagreeing. So I'm not surprised they fell for Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson is the king. But he sound like <laughs> a liar. He he be like. If you ask a question, you know it's supposed to be no. He'll be like, yes, absolutely. She's right. And I'll be like, really? These women really are falling for this? You know, I used, don't even bad behavior. I used to dislike him, but then I learned to appreciate him because he's doing the Lord's work. <laughs> because he, he out here is showing them. He's showing them themselves in the mirror by fucking on them. Jesus. Real talk. Like, Derek Jackson is... is <laughs> Derek Jackson kind of reminds me of when we say stuff like, you know, um, a certain percentage of the men is busting down all of the women. And that women then, you know, never pay attention to what, what the truth is. They only care about what you make them feel. And so if you lie to them enough, instead of telling them the truth, they still going to embrace you. And Derek Jackson, he can go on a tour today and he will still be... He would do just fine. He would do well. I I, I agree with you, but then yeah. there are a lot of women that think that think if you're bad enough, you can finesse men like Fresh, and she's proven it. Yeah, there are men gullible like Fresh to be finessed because we need to give Fresh be. Fresh some sympathy. Fit <laughs> Fit looked like he got chicks before he got this platform. Fresh probably never got chicks before he got this platform. That's not. Let's fair. just be honest. That's not fair. N it is, so it is what, fair. What, what Q just said is fit is her type and fresh is. That's what you just said. No, I'm saying fit <laughs> is attractive. Fresh is not. 
Spit has personality. Fresh doesn't. <laughs> so he's your Spit is more manly. Point. Fresh is not. Like, I bet you if you ask people in the chat, in the chat they probably go for fit. Huh? I said, how you question this nigga's masculinity now? <laughs> you no, said I'm talking about the certain, certain topics he's he's talked about. I've only saw certain things. And I'm saying they're probably going to they're going to probably choose fit. Let me you read some tell at times, women can tell at times if men have gotten chicks. Men, you guys can tell too if a man has gotten chicks. I don't know before. nothing. I'm so green. You, Anton, stop. Uh, Anton, stop. No, I really don't. I'm so out of Anton, the you have said Anton, it. You can you tell drinking? if a man has gotten chicks or not. Like, you can you tell by the meetups if a man has gotten chicks. You can tell the ones that don't get chicks. You can tell the ones that lack confidence. We can all tell that. People, people can tell that. Like, Q is ruthless. <laughs> Am I wrong? It's you know what Cuban, Cuban, it's you know what Cuban doing me for the last four days. Tell a woman has confidence. We can tell. Q has been a terrorist to me the last since this last damn after hour. She's been a terrorist. <laughs> you're not sensitive, so I know you can take it. See, I know. What, why is she? Wait, wait, wait. Why is she being being a terrorist? How is she, she being? She makes sure once a day she sends me a picture of people crying. <laughs> <laughs> women cry. <laughs> She's like, you about so to see this the shit, panel nigga. about Angel Reese, and he said nobody has ever cried. Um, Caitlyn never cried. Jojo, whatever her, Juju never cried. I was like, okay, I'm sending you crying videos of men and women athletes. <laughs> I proved you wrong. I proved you that Caitlyn was crying in the last when she lost the championship. There you go. I'm giving you receipts. Let me, read, say wait, let me read some of these super chats. I'm a bust hey, can you answer my question, Anton? Am no, I no. wrong where you can't tell if a man has gotten chicks? You asking That's me or you asking Quentin? I'm asking you, Anton, making sure you're saying the same thing you said on, on, on the panels. Um, I think in most situations you can tell. Okay. Certain people can tell. Um, mm -hmm. I think that sometimes, you? sometimes people can fool you. Okay, but can you? I'm asking can you? I think I got a good sense of, um, you know, if I meet somebody in person that I could tell whether or not they was getting. Okay. So whatever. last question. But at, the same, but at the same time, I'm not, yeah. I don't think it's bad for a dude to not spend his life trying to get chicks or, you know, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I'm, agree. I'm okay with a guy that say, you know what? I ain't really on that. I'm on some other shit or I'm on whatever. or I'm trying to chase the bag or I'm trying to be successful or I'm focused on. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, I wouldn't shame a guy because he not focused on women at that particular time. No, I, I definitely agree. I think that men shouldn't even chase women, honestly. But out of fresh and fit, who do you think got more women before this podcast, before they became known? Neither. Who? No, who out of both of them? Neither. Who got, who got more women? It can't be equal. I mean, Myron is a nerd too. No, no, no. Yeah, but nerds nerds be still get love. Uh, nerds get love. But I'm telling, I'm telling you, personality, looks wise, who do you think got more women? Uh, well, let me tell you why it's hard for me to answer that question for them. So she's asking you which one is cuter. That's why. That's why it's hard. No, <laughs> let me tell you why. <laughs> she said looks. She and, said looks. Wise. Let me let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. <laughs> because, and I don't know how true this is, so I can't speak to it. Um. <laughs> But the fit dude, they say that he was on the like the sugar daddy sites or some shit like that. So before. So it's like I can't put it past him. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I can't just automatically say that he was the one. I mean, it's easy from an optic perspective now to say, oh no, nah, he the one that's carrying him. I don't know if that's true. I listen, I know a lot of guys that was just regular fucking dudes and it was knocking them down. And I mean, knocking them down wasn't nothing unique. They didn't have a car, wasn't none of that shit. Didn't even have a fucking lineup, but they was knocking them down. Most men are average though. So I'm not saying that. I'm saying based on what I've seen the clips, I just don't think like the fresh guy had like the personality to actually talk to women or go after women or women go after him compared to the fit guy. I would see him, I think I would see him more approaching women and women approaching him. You would you let me just say this. You just don't know. 
You just never. Yeah, you don't know. Maybe like, you, you, you can assume it, one. but you you do not know. I will tell you that I know that the guys that the guys I know that mm-hmm. knock down the most, um, they will never admit it to you. Like they just they keep it cool, they chill. As a matter of mm-hmm. fact, they're trying to erase that part of their past. They don't even want you to know the type of you know any woman that they didn't ever knock down. So they move in silence. Yeah, hundred mm-hmm. percent. And they we cool. We talked about that before, Anton. With uh, when they were, there was somebody who was telling that they were sleeping with some some woman. Yeah, and, like uh, I don't, I don't. Live live. talking like I. If a, if a dude say, yeah, this is what used to happen in a general sense where he say, yo, you know, whatever, you know, he kind of talk about his experiences. I don't, I don't mind that. I don't like guys that name names. Yeah, that's weird. I don't like that. Well, I don't like, people, do I don't like women. That name, I don't like women that names names, but women going to do what women do. Um, I don't like guys that say, yes, I slept with her specifically or this chick. I don't I don't fuck with that shit. Like, you got to leave that. Yeah, women shouldn't be doing it, too. Women do it for, like, clout, too. I don't think women should be doing it. It sounds worse from when, when women yeah, do it. Yeah, but women do it for women do it for clout, right? But yeah. why do men, why would men do it? I don't Go. understand that. I'm not a fan of it. Like, I'm, I'm not a, I don't like, think you should do you ever. you want to get clout off a woman? Or, I, I don't understand mm. that. Validation is the, probably a better word. Yeah. Fuck that. Like, Validation of what? Into. That you that you fucked the bad bitch. That don't yeah, mean, it's like, you know, don't you know, mean but what does that mean though? Everybody fucked her. What difference will it make? I'm like seriously. Saying, I don't I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I'm weird. I fuck I fuck the people that grow the other people don't fuck, so So you know. yeah, I just, I just believe um, in this. I think that I think that that's messy. Because <laughs> you don't know what these people got going on. These people might have families now. They may have a certain career, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be fucking their life up and messing up their money or whatever because they decided to give you some pussy back in the day, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Like, I don't Mm. like that. I don't like that at all. So. Hmm. Mm. But let me me spin over. Let me knock out some of these super chats. Uh, Rush Enterprises Stark says, salute, keep shining, King. I appreciate you, big dog. Uh, The Tick says, fresh... (laughs) Are eating popcorn with all of the free promo. I agree with that. Striking Rich says, Striking the Rich says, I got a fleet of holes. Shout out to AD. He ain't lie. Captain Brown says, Shout out to the panel. But did y'all see Abba and Preach interview video with the girl? Because sheesh. Nope, I did not see it. I was out here driving, having a good time. I've been preaching video interviewing her. Might give y'all some answers. Papa Big Flame says, Pull up Fresh and Fits Live. We've seen her side already. Um, Captain Brown is in the building, says, not going to lie, the broken English kills me. Xavier Slim says, Molestiny is the new Barbara Walters. How did Destiny get so involved in everything that was happening within the culture? I'm so confused. Um, Xavier Foster says, fresh and fit will F them, but not marry. Some context. Uh, Full We Todd says she sought legal counsel. Then the next day recorded a conversation and released it minutes later. And now she's asking for an apology. Is she crazy? You can't talk about fresh because you can't believe a word she's saying. Yarly Mo- Moisey says the baby might be mine. So I tapped it a month ago. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> CEO Jacob says fresh is stuck with $5 sucky sucky love. You long, long time ling ling. Uh, All time network coming soon says... Uh, it's not that she's out your league, is that she's out your price range. Time Out says Fresh was married to a single mother. Jesus Christ, y'all be knowing all about these people. Charles Freeman says, what's up, guys? The streets are wild. Um, Bar- Brian Barnes says, Mika, you conflate and he chose an overseas escort. Victor God, Williams God. says, that man was in love, introduced her to his mom. I'm not <laughs> introducing no hold of my mother. That's nasty work. Uh, D Rock Den says we love Easy Box or Easy Holes. All right, I got it. I got it. Victor Williams says he was falling asleep in it. <laughs> Chris J says don't go raw, don't go go at it at all. Sorry, Jesus, <laughs> oh mess out here. All right, let's continue. Striking it, Rich says. Uh, women love dick discipline, hate wallet discipline. Time out says someone in the chat. Um, someone said it in the chat. She will hit fresh with abuse or essay next. 
so he doesn't so she doesn't have to leave America or get money. Um, Victor Williams says, "Nah, the diddler is diddly, diddling them rappers." <laughs> <laughs> and the first of all says, "Evening, hell had no fury like a like a Crucian woman, a Christian woman." Crucian, 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 that's me, Crucian woman. Oh, okay. Lyric the gamer says, "Women can be chameleons. The best way to test a woman's loyalty is start from nothing." Yeah, but when you get it, you can't turn back the, the, the hands of time. Says the only people that can hold women accountable is the government because they're the simps that started this shit with, with these laws. D Rock Den says, uh, both of these gorgeous young women have someone that they want, can't have, and multitude of dudes that they don't want. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, LA Miles says, just like these pookies and Ray Rays don't listen to us, them hoes won't listen to them sometimes. You just gotta. Be like, Thank fuck you. it. Just separate yourself from this trash culture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you're ready to risk it all. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, come on, Anton. We know Boyce is the king of simps, a.k.a. the simp, simp hard lord, simp lord, the ultimate simp lord. Uh, I like Boyce Watkins now. L.A. Miles says, hoes are needed, but not pregnant hoes. I don't want my tax dollars going in irresponsible three or four poor decisions. Nope. <laughs> Let me take a call and see what see what uh somebody is saying. Um, I just took it on the chin when you when when y'all had that conversation. I, I I got respect for him after that too. Sir Ism, what's happening, bro? What's your thoughts? What's Sir, up with it? What's happening, bro? I'm what's up here, bro? Yeah, you up here? What's oh, happening? Okay. Oh man, what's my thoughts? I appreciate you letting me pull up in here, Mr. Anton, and a salute to your panel. Absolutely. My thoughts is, my thoughts is, all that red pill rhetoric, all this alpha male, I'm rough and tough bad boy. Mm-hmm. Hey, you got that little chop chop guap guap don't stop, <laughs> and uh. <laughs> Yo, big head be talking all that red pill, all that ideology with that uh, what, what, what's that one white boy? You know that y'all godfather of the, of the red pill and please knock it off. Your little head was like, we got Miss. Are you Asian. talking about uh, what's his name, Rolo Tomasi? Rolo to no getting no women Tomasi. How you gonna listen to his game? <laughs> Nobody stop acting. Y'all know these dudes are some cornballs. Only reason why y'all be cool with them because they gonna put you on their show and give you a lot of views. Now let's knock it off, family. Come on. Who? Come on. Only, way, only reason who cool with them. The, the other people that want to go on their show. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. We don't love these hoes, bro. We know these are some cornball niggas that never got no brawls in high school. They made a little show. Good true. idea. Good idea. That's not true. Good idea. That's not true. Right. Some women. I, I thought he said sirism right now, brother. Okay, let me sir, finish. That, that, that's not true. I thought he said sirism right now. Let me finish. And not true. That's your opinion. Now he gave me the floor. Thank you. So he got the little bird right, pregnant. Sir would, you, sir, would you like to be on camera? No problem. All right, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna put you up here. I'm gonna put you in the middle. Go ahead, keep cooking. Like I'm saying, he got that little thing, and you brothers on this red pill. I'm gonna be a millionaire. I'm gonna never get a divorce. I'm gonna never get with a woman. I'm gonna never get a woman pregnant. I'm gonna never do this. I'm gonna never have a Louis Vuitton background, background, don't he? <laughs> See. You sound like the, a brawl. I know who the, I know who the fuck you are, you, nigga. Why is it? Why that you Louis Vuitton like curtains? Yeah, they got hey, Louis Vuitton like curtains, that. nigga. Do I got Louis Vuitton curtains right now, nigga? Why I ain't on the screen? Let this whole and ass got, nigga see me on the screen. Yep, that's him. That's Do I got that Louis nigga. Vuitton curtains? That's nigga, that old I'm in my raggedy ass. Right now, nigga. No good for nothing. Running his mouth. 55 year old nigga. And I'm not about to let you choose. So talk to a bro, nigga. Stop talking to a man. So don't worry about my curtains and my Louis Vuitton because I'm in my other joint right now, nigga, without the Louis Vuitton. And it was Gucci, whole ass nigga. Now you spend a night at women's house and don't Gucci have curtains. sex. Not you. Okay, now shut your ass up. Want to interject. You got Louis Vuitton curtains. Then Gucci I ain't got curtains, no Louis Vuitton bad. curtains. You sound like a hoe. So the dude got the bra pregnant, okay? A lot of people be lying. These women, oh, I don't need a man. But they little woman down there, she be like, you lying, bitch. So his big red red pill alpha male head said one thing on the show. And you roast women. But he seen that bad Miss Asian looking like a living beauty doll. And he had to go raw. So now 
all that red pill stuff, you was tricking, you was spending money on the brawl, <laughs> knock it off. Only reason y'all cool with Fresh and Fit is because they're gonna let you on the show and you're gonna get some new subscribers. Y'all know these niggas are some cornballs. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I bag dimes. They're only with you because you drive a Lambo. Now, what you need to do is be like Ice T and refine your career. Have Miss Asia with the sash, CEO on her sash, have her at the Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fight, and you getting more popular. Instead of trying to act like you didn't get up pregnant, be like, nigga, I got Miss Asia. That's a bad brawl. That's the baddest brawl you ever gonna get. Three years ago, you was in Africa eating mud pies. You know you's a crash face nigga fresh. Fresh, stop it. You ain't getting no batches. That's Miss Asia. Why don't you go on and campaign and have little son, little baby boy CEO with the Asian broad and pr- do your persona. I'm showing you how to bag dimes, bro. Bro. <laughs> Instead of trying to deny it. That's why Quentin, you need to come to Uncle Wiz and get some real game, you cornball. Quentin, what do you think about that? <laughs> they need to take his ass to sleep, nigga. If I go take some mirror laps or some shit. Who gives a fuck what you think, nigga? <laughs> Tell me, I ain't trying to knock your stanking ass. I don't fuck with men. Boy, you gay. Nigga, I'm in Lake Tahoe in my vacation house. Nigga, stop talking to me. It ain't but a studio, but it's mine. Uh, I'm in now, Switzerland on a mountain in my I vacation home, up. too. I invite you up here, nigga. You just got something negative to say, nigga. I had to take a gondola to get to my room. Is ungrata, nigga. And your persona is a cornball that stay at women's house and don't get no sex. That's what the woman just said. I didn't say it, nigga. Soft ass I, nigga. I just got out of the friend zone and she's in my bed right now. Look, actually, look how you talking the friend zone. <laughs> you ever been in a you ever been in a bar fight, nigga? You look like you ain't never actually, been in a bar fight. Actually, I have. I have. I've, I've been. Yes, Good. I have. I'm glad of that, nigga. Instead of trying to tell I'm, me about I'm, my, I'm one and I want to know what bar fights. What is you some kind of interior decorator ass nigga? You know, interior oh, so, decorator. So, so, so you like sweet. my stuff? Is that what you're saying? Tell it, it looks no, good? you telling me about my Gucci on the background and my Louis Vuitton curtains, and I ain't even at that spot. That that's lets that's you know you remember nigga. you and your bullshit no, on Fight Club no, and your Anton Gucci and Louis Vuitton you nonsense. You don't do nothing without Anton, so stop talking, boy. I'm the same person you before are, Anton you as a man's after. Just, what you talking you about? Just, you just here to back up your man right now, nigga. You ain't the man. You the man next to the man. So hush. You have no Rolexes. I run you have Oklahoma no City. So hush. I run okay? Oklahoma. Anton he runs Detroit. You out. So please don't come at me, little boy. I, I was doing I'm this regional. when you were swimming in your daddy nuts. Pause, son. When you was young buck, small squirt in the dirt, I was doing this. Okay? So don't tell me about that. You better try to make oh, it to my level, young fuck. Talking well, like hey, this. hey, check this out, you young dumb nigga. You're gonna be old longer than you young. Once you hit 35, you OG, nigga. You pulling up on old right now. Black people don't only want to do that dumb shit. Oh, you don't want to be old. Like, What's wrong with being old? You, nigga, you I look old, good. Oh, nigga. nigga what's wrong with you? Yeah, why well, you trying shit, to nigga, knock you? Like 50, you, you like 55, nigga? Exactly. You ain't gonna make it to 50, you, you dumb old, fuck. You old as shit, nigga. You don't wanna make it to 50? Yeah, you the women don't fat nigga. Yeah, nigga, you 50, yeah, you nigga I look good for 50, nigga. Dreads to the flow, nigga. Hair, oh, hair they, go to, they go to bed, nigga. Like, they go to bed at like nigga. 9 o'clock, 9.30, nigga. I ain't nigga. trying to knock your stinking ass, nigga. The you women think I look your good. ass, nigga. Yeah, well, 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 stop coming with nigga, the cuts, I date a 54 year old woman. She goes eat. to bed at nine o'clock, nigga. Why are you still Don't awake? Tell me about what my woman do, nigga. Please. <laughs> you ain't never you ain't never had a woman in the streets for the dirty meat, nigga. You barely You're can right. get a girlfriend. I don't, I don't, I don't have women in the streets. Left, I date, I date, no, I don't. You're correct. You're I'm a thousand percent correct. Game, I don't date nigga. bitches in the streets. Hush your mouth. You barely can get a girlfriend, let alone have three or four, nigga. I keep a motherfucking rotation, nigga. You green, goofy, guacamole ass nigga. <laughs> 807. <laughs> nigga, I just made the show. You young, small squirt in the dirt. You pip squeak. Who you talking to, nigga? If, if you know me, and most people do, I don't fight back with niggas. I don't do that, nigga. I know <laughs> let's, you be, let's be oh, clear, you nigga. You I don't fight women? back with you niggas. Well, don't fight back, leave. nigga, because I'm slapping you all the side of the head with this verbal crucifixion right now, nigga. Whacking and tapping on your young head like your father should have did, nigga. I'm probably your father. What's your mama name, nigga? <laughs> Who you talking to, bitch boy? Nigga, I'm from the Bay, nigga. We don't play that shit. What's wrong with you, nigga? Respect your Oklahoma, elders. Oklahoma, born and raised. You're older than you young, nigga. Let me fix my motherfucking brim, nigga. Let me fix my brim, nigga. 
<laughs> beautiful nigga, nigga. I'm beautiful nigga. Know what you talking about? <laughs> talking about my motherfucking interior, nigga. You ain't seen my house, nigga. You gay or something, nigga? Interior decorator ass nigga. Do you do hair or something, nigga? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Press a curl ass nigga. <laughs> talking about my interior, nigga. What's wrong with you? You probably got a bunch of girlfriends. I don't have one girlfriend whatsoever. Only girlfriend is my girlfriends, nigga. I don't have female friends. What's wrong with you, nigga? You sound like one of the niggas that they tell their problems to. Soft ass, cuddle butt ass nigga. You know what you is? You a pooter bear. You a pooter bear. You a you a koala bear that poop. A pooter bear. <laughs> I just make new names for you, nigga. <laughs> I'm your uncle, nigga. Don't you ever talk crazy oh to me, nigga. Oh, man. This nigga said I'm a koala bear that poops, nigga. Who's Nah, a co- that's you, nigga. That's you. A koala bear that poop, nigga. You a pooter bear. Oh, so <laughs> All right, sir. I appreciate so, you, bro. So, 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 what did you think about my analysis, man? Did you think he should just <laughs> go on and accept it and move forward? I should he keep saying that he didn't have a baby and it's not his? I wouldn't say nothing. If it was me, okay. I wouldn't say one word. I would just let that whole thing <laughs> to oblivion. I wouldn't give her no clout. Well, there it is, man. I appreciate you letting me up on the show, man. I'll pull up on you again, man. Salute to you. Thank you, my friend. Bye. Change your curtains. Change your curtains. Bye, ladies. Y'all have a good night. See you, Bye, you too. Bye. The funny thing about that is some of the stuff he was saying was actually right about you. So it was like, how did he hear that? He heard this, everything he said came from you. Everything he said came from you. Literally, nigga. He said some of these like nigga they came from you. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's like a so he took me out. How oh. does he know that Quinn is Because they came from you. He yeah. literally said the woman on the panel said this. It came from you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Quentin, the part where he said you seem like you the nigga where women come and vent to you. I'm like, how did he know that about Quinn? <laughs> I, I told him I just got out the friend zone. What you Quinn. Mean? <laughs> He said, he said, these not Louis Vuitton, nigga, this Gucci. Gucci, get it right. Gucci. Nigga, he, come, he, he came on he Fight said, Club, he said, and every time he, he comes on Fight Eagle Club, this is, what it looks, this is what it looks like. This nigga goes off on these soliloquies. He said, let he me tip my daddy. brim. As soon as I talked about that nigga's curtains, I knew it was a fucking rap, nigga. He hated when people oh talk about his curtains. <laughs> oh, dude. I guess he don't know your age. Uh, Quinn almost 40. So he said, Well, you might get when you get 35. That? Why do you keep saying that, Q? How old are you? <laughs> I, I was born in 1988. You do the math. Hey, why Quentin okay. be so frustrated with Q? <sighs> so what you th- you 35, 36? You do the math, Q. Okay. You're the smart one. You're I the round, accountant. I rounded up. I rounded up 40. So <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me get somebody else up here before we switch the subject. I agree with all of those. Uh, is it H H M? Y'all take it H- out. H H-H-M. What up, big dog? Yo, what's going on? Chilling, chilling, big dog. What's your thoughts? Um, you know, first off, I'd like to say this is the first time I'm catching you this late at night. Normally, I'm knocked out by now, but um, I don't know. I think uh, I think we're being too hard on my man, Fresh, man. Why you say I that? Because it's, I think ultimately it's just inevitable. You know, you're having unprotected sex and it seems like it's more than just one woman. I mean, bound to get a pregnancy scare. And I think even, even if you have like, uh, what do they call it? Like uh, protections, right? Like condoms or anything like that. Those still have failure rates. So, I mean, I, th- I just think that really the only way to avoid a situation like this, especially if you're in the spotlight, is just straight up abstinence. Mm. And I'm, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep it real. I mean, I looked at the girl. She she's not ugly. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's a fair assessment. I'm just being honest, right? So, like, if you're not going to be abstinent, and, I, and I've even heard of, like, even if you got a vasectomy, even that's even 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 there's a high pregnant there there's a chance of pregnancy with that as well. So it really just seems like it's inevitable. Like there's a chance you can get pregnant even if you were to get a vasectomy. So I just think yeah, I've heard of I've heard. I don't think I don't know how true it is, but I've heard that at some point it could reconnect or something like that. 
Um, yeah, I've heard that. Actually, 2K talked about that the last time, the last show that we did. They, um, you have to like go back like a couple of times and make sure it works. Like people don't be going back. I didn't go back. Uh-uh. <laughs> that's that. That's some niggas that be getting people pregnant on accident. No, I go back. Me. <laughs> Trust me, I've tested it. it. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that it's not reconnected. Um. But I, I saw it on I saw it on YouTube and it was like I was like God dog they just had little balls and it was snipping some shit and I was like fuck that no nah, it's, it's it's pretty dope it's pretty dope. and I even have like this my own suspicions that he might have he might have had a vasectomy because the way he was talking to text messages where he said well I might have to go test these these three four other girls as well it seems like he wasn't really worried about the chance I don't that think I that he was saying I don't think that he was like literally saying that I got three or four other girls pregnant I think that he was being sarcastic <clears throat> I think and I think fresh said that this happened to him before too or the uh, Myron said it happened to him before too yeah I appreciate you thank you uh HM but yep. their their lawyer brought up a good thing he said this is um this this proves when you're when you when you're a successful person. And this is like the, the barometer when somebody put a baby on you that ain't really yours. Yeah, you, you become a, become a target. What up, post? Yo, what's up, man? Chilling, chilling, big dog. What's the word? Listen, man. This this is from a Philly perspective, right? I watch I watch I watch Fresh and Fit. You want to uh, be on camera? You want to be on camera? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, it's cool. Go ahead, go ahead. I I got you. Now, like I said, I'm this I'm fresh out of Philly. I watch Fresh and Fit, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I watch I watch your show too. I subscribe to your show. Watch, you know, watch watch everything you do. Appreciate what you do. Thank you, bro. But listen, on the Fresh and Fit aspect, if you if you go back to the earlier Fresh and Fits, academics and Myron already clowned Fresh and Fit for falling in love with the white girl, right? <laughs> If you all you got to do is just go back a little bit, rewind. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, that that was a chick that had slept with a bunch of dudes, but then they would see he was saying that there was. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So he he already. So a lot of a lot of the stuff they are preaching. I heard somebody earlier say these are the dudes in high school that couldn't pull one chick in high school. So later they make a come up and they want to take it out on the rest of the world. Well, listen, dog, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't your fault. I mean, it ain't everybody else's fault. You couldn't get one chick in high school. All you had to do is, you know what I'm saying? You ever watch Martin when, when he get turned down, spin off, and then go talk to another chick? Well, that's all you had to do in high school, dog. You know what I mean? You going to get turned down, shot down. But um, I do think, I do think that the chick is absolutely wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like I do, she trying to get a bag out of my man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to get, she, she try to get a little bag out of him. Try to get a couple dollars. And I, I mean, it's obvious that that's going on. But <clears throat> this, this is the spinoff. L- listen to the spinoff. Now, remember, these are the dudes that say they don't date black women at all, right? Now uh-huh. you look like now you look like a total fool for saying you don't date black women at all, and and you know what I'm saying. And you think so? Out. Why you think that? Why you think that? Huh? Why you think that? Be, I mean, because they if you watch if you watch the show, and I think Mika says she watched the show a little bit or whatever. But if you watch the show, they ask they absolutely advocate and let it be known that they that they don't date no black women at all right like it's mm-hmm. like they, they go out of their way to say it you know what i'm saying yeah i got like, you i mean i don't i don't know that i mean you know i'm not yeah. as familiar with, your, with him as you See, I watch, I watch, but I, I watch i'm trying to figure out like i don't know why them having preferences of not wanting to date black women is it a reason why they say that they don't yeah or yeah, is it they, just they, that they, they just not attract they, they always say like when when the uh they, they say black women are too ratchet gold diggers they always give like a reason why okay. they don't why now they don't date be. black women so oh now, i see why you so say now, so now if you spin if you spin it around chung lee just did exactly <laughs> what they hate black women for. That's you see what I'm 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think I don't I don't think that um I mean I, like I said, I've seen it happen from all women. So I don't know why that would be a black woman thing. Um, but 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 this is what I'm saying, this is the spinoff. Now you might as well pick the most ghetto, the most the every everything that you hated, you might as well had went for that now. You know what I'm saying? That I mean that's my perspective. Like mm. What's the what's the point of what's the point of going overseas and all of that when I mean you Q you just said it earlier. You going mm-hmm. overseas and you going to find these other women. It's gold diggers in every country. Yep. Every everything that's here is over there, right? Now mm-hmm. I do agree that you should expand out. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna knock that. I'm not gonna knock the, the passport bros one hundred percent. But I mean, cause like you know what I mean. Just you know, you make yourself now. They are absolutely the leaders out here, you know, or or quote unquote leaders in us supposed to follow what they do to get chicks. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you look—they look like you look foolish. I ain't following you, cause. Hmm. You know? I got you. Thank you, big you know, dog. Thank you, man. I appreciate the perspective. Got Anton Daniels for you know what I'm saying. I appreciate that, yeah. bro. Thank you, Post. All right, man. All right, big dog. Um, let me get my dog Slimmy and <laughs> over to the next subject. Got to get my dog Slimmy up in here. What up, Slimmy? What up? What up, <clears throat> man? Slimmy, you want to be on camera? Yeah, you can put me on camera. I got a haircut today. <laughs> okay. He said he outside with a haircut. <laughs> what up, Slimmy? I got a haircut. What's up, there? That nigga said I got a haircut, my nigga. Anton, is this the 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 guy you were saying that uh likes rap music? Yeah, Slimmy is like Slimmy. Oh, is that a rapper? Slimmy, oh. Slimmy is a cultural icon and understanding the hip hop culture, and he like fucking seven oh, yeah. feet tall too. So throw that in there. I love hip hop. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. But man, we talk about man. Slim used to be uh oh, man. on on some hip hop shit Woo. all long. All we used to talk about is hip hop. So hell yeah, that nigga makes a legend. Makes a legend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts, Slim? <laughs> yeah, you gotta hold that nigga accountable, man. That nigga a clown. That's it. Boop. That nigga Boop. stupid, man. Like Boop fresh. You wanna hold him? Oh, I don't care. I don't care what that woman doing now. Like, I'm, I mean, like, cause, cause, really, think about it. I, that nigga got way more than me. He got way more than me. I ain't, I, I ain't shoot the club up though. Mm. Like, shoot that shit in their mouth. Like, real talk. That's they fact. Can that's a fact. No, no, no. That's a fact though. That's a no, fact. No, no, I'm, I'm not, y'all think it's a joke. I'm dead uh, ass serious. Yeah, that's that's, that's real. Club. You got that. Like, you don't gotta shoot that club up, man. If if you don't shoot the club up, she can't finesse you. She cannot finesse you. It she's doing what's in the best interest of you allowing allowing yourself to be in a compromised position. Yeah. That's you. You failed you failed yourself. You cannot yep. blame this woman for for taking advantage of this shit. I'm I'm sorry, everybody is not gonna be morally correct once you get them pregnant. Mm. They're not gonna give a fuck about your your situation, they're not gonna give a fuck about you. What they gonna do is finesse. That's anybody. You allow them to get in a position of power, they gonna fuck you over. Shoot the fucking mouth. Shoot mm-hmm. the fucking mouth. Stay out the club, man. Like I'm dead ass serious, man. Like I ain't, I man, I ain't got, I ain't got shit like that, nigga. And I'm damn sure ain't about to get nobody pregnant. This shit yeah, dead. yeah, that shit is dead. No. Get no. And no. you agree with him? What's well, funny? Yeah, because that's what I said. But you were going against the grain, so you agree with him? I agree. No, I agree with the. I agree with the not getting a chick pregnant. But he yeah, said he gets gave it. him full accountability. Yeah, I, but I said that. I said both. I said two things can be true at the same time. I said that the whole time. But you said that she should. Be did I not? More hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I not say that, Quinn? You did, but then you also said she should be held more accountable. Yeah, because she's not being held accountable at all. At all. Nobody gonna hold her accountable. They exactly. Not. Two, two things can be true at the same time. I think that I think that accountability needs to be held across the board. 
hundred percent. True, true, true. But I think that with his, where he's at position wise, and we know how women are, and we know that if you get a woman pregnant, she has the power to do whatever she wants with the baby. Men need to make a better choice on who they messing with, if they raw and if they raw dogging her or if they nut in her. Like Facts. I think that men. Need to, but we, yeah. but we, but that goes without saying though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't disagree with that. I just think that there's more than one person that needs to be held accountable in addition to you as a man. Yeah, true. Yeah. Both of them, but for sure him completely. She, she's, a, she's, a, she's a three. Him completely. Her partly him be. completely. No, but she's a 304. Like She's a 304. She's already who she's going to be. Y'all think, okay. she, y'all, think she, she, y'all think she a slut out here? <laughs> I don't think I don't I don't think he's a slut. I don't think that she no. didn't like him. So basically, if you don't like him and you let this man screw you raw, so you're basically she's hurt. To get she's a- hurt. He's hurt not hurt. Say- she's not Quentin. I told you this on Thursday. Women lie. Yeah, she's Quentin, you hurt. definitely got finesse before. No, <laughs> Yo. I think Quentin. I think you're like you. <laughs> probably get from this easy because you're such a nice guy and at times you don't think women can be evil like, so and that's not, why i think you not. only really mess with white and mexicans because if you really mess with these <laughs> finesse black girls they would get you for money and all that like hey, no, no, no no come, no, come to houston no, go out and well you've been when be getting <laughs> catching all <laughs> kind of strays but i'm not i'm not wrong though like you I, 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 just, just put it this way angels. if you got any amount of women and you talk to them they like quentin is a fucking asshole that's what they say and assholes don't get finesse all yeah, of you them might be an asshole, asshole to like on the panel but i think you'd be no, something i'm like, a fucking behind. asshole to these women i, I don't okay. fuck, i don't do shit for them. the most the most these bitches can get out of me is a as a hot meal that's it <laughs> <laughs> Quinn, no, well, Quinn, why they be why they be getting at you, Quinn, man? I, I don't Quinn. fucking know. They hear they, I sound like a fucking nice guy. <laughs> you said all they, they get they, out they, of you is a hot I, I finesse them with this nice guy shit, nigga. And I clap cheeks. And Hold on, Mika, Mika. Do you think that Quentin is a uh, is a nice guy? Do you think he come off as the nice? I, guy? I do. I do think Quentin is a nice guy. <laughs> See. I you literally the, 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 women the fifty four year old women take advantage of nice guys. I told her then, when I first okay. started talking to fifty four, I told her I was a fucking monster, and she could not believe it because how I come off. Five years later, she'd be because like, "Yeah, you, you told me that." She's like, "Yeah." <laughs> we had this conversation Mika, today. She's Mika, like, "You told me you're a you monster." Both saying that they think that you easily. He easily. is a nice guy. The, the stories Quinn has told me about these chicks, he's a nice guy. It's nothing wrong with nice guys. I, 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 no I, I, I understand, I understand women. women, but no, I don't. I don't let anyone do that to me. I don't. I don't I'm not saying you get it done. Is that some of these women now, nowadays are ruthless? They're users. They're liars. And as soon they're as you're nice, and I think they're going to go in and possibly, attack. Yeah, they go, they would definitely attack you. Quentin, the women in the chat is saying stuff like Quentin gives homeless women hot meals. Let <laughs> <laughs> them say that about you, bro. Okay. Can we get? Let, let, do you want me to call Kim? Let's get Kim up here tonight. No. <laughs> the fact that you're cool, all your exes is weird to me. Like, no. That's not my ex. I never went out with Kim. Quinn, don't worry about it. I got your back, big dog. I don't give a damn. I got all that. This I is the finesse. Back, I come across as a nice guy, and I do what I'm supposed to, and I'm out. No, nice guys are good for nice women, but not these hoes nowadays. These hoes are crazy. Quinn, I got your back, big But dog. apparently, they can't tell good. the difference. What you yeah. mean? I think okay. I think most people. You you guys are right. Most people see me. They say I come across as a nice guy, mm-hmm. and then at some point in time, when I'm in a relationship with a woman, I have to tell her stuff that I've done in my previous. Because if you Carrie believes in you, Quentin. If, if you check my background, some shit gonna come up, and you be like, I can't believe you, you believe did that. And I'm like, it is. What Carrie it is. believes in you, Quentin. See, we believe in you. It's I Sunday. It's the Lord's Day, so I'm gonna believe in you because it's the Lord's Day. Uh. <laughs> Shout out to Slimmy. I appreciate you, big dog. All right, y'all. Be easy. Wrap it up. I mean, she was a fucking terrorist. <laughs> 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 Nigga, I'll be over here chilling, watching TV, and she ding and some nonsense. <laughs>
<laughs> I had to show him receipts of the stuff he was lying about. Oh, here's another woman. Here's here's Thank LeBron you. crying after a basketball game. Mika, why do you think that Quentin is a nice guy? <clears throat> Quentin is a nice guy. Quentin Quentin was gonna put me on a private jet and fly me all the way out to Oklahoma. That's different. I, I was gonna use <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna use you for some cloud. I'm just glad. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Shout out to Quentin with the oh, private man. PJ in the building. Quentin, it's not mine, bro. <laughs> it don't matter, bro. It is yours. You're not supposed to say that it's not yours, bro. Man, I'm I'm transparent in this bitch. <laughs> don't, oh, no. Don't ever tell my, my 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 network is is mm-hmm. it's not it's not less than. Ciao. Mika, you don't you don't want those type of you know, want to put you in a jet. You know, that's that's being nice. That's going all over. It's very nice. Mm-hmm. That's why Quentin is a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy. Nigga, I'm a spirit nigga in the back, nigga. I like spirit. I got no problem with spirit. Spirit had never done me wrong. Shout out to Quentin. <sighs> all right, so let's spin it. Spin the block for a minute. Do y'all know who Aoki Lee Simmons is? Yeah. Never heard of her. Okay. For those that may not be familiar, Quentin Chet, Aoki Lee Simmons is Russell Simmons, the music executive's daughter. 21 years old. All right. 21 years old here in the United States of America, blah, 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 blah. Um, and it's funny because the first time that I ever heard about her was um, she was criticizing. The baby, baby daddy of what's the chick's name? God, Akila and the B. What was her name? What's the Akila and the B chick? Oh, um, gosh. remember when she was going through all of that and she was dancing with Usher? Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer. Yeah, she was going in on Kiki Palmer's baby daddy. That's <laughs> how. I her. And then I started seeing more of her when Kimorley Simmons was kind of talking about how, talking about Russell Simmons. And whether or not he was a good father and all of this other type of stuff, right? And so apparently she's a 21-year-old chick that's in college, but she's like this super, super skinny model. And now she's going viral because she got a 65-year-old man. So that's her right here. This is her man. They kissing right here. So I guess, I don't know if this video is going to play. I'm going to try it. There you go. Guys, so in this video, I wanted to take a deep dive into the life of Miss Aoki Lee Simmons and what's really been going on with her since she graduated from Harvard, called her father out for verbally attacking her, her mom and her sister, and then suddenly became a stick thin model. It seems like Aoki has taken a turn from the academic and professional path that she appeared to be on and has turned to a life of possible extreme dieting and dating a man old enough to be her father. So we're gonna get into what's going on with Ioki Lee Simmons in this video with the utmost respect and consideration for her situation. But first, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Ioki Lee Simmons has recently been the subject of media attention due to her significant weight loss. Report suggests that she. I don't care about the way I'm getting in trouble. Thank you. Cool. Please be kind. Hip hop reports. Much like every other celebrity who's been on the internet long enough, Ioki Simmons is tired of reading other people's opinions about her. I don't care about the weight loss part. I just want to get over to the 65 year old sugar daddy part. So is she Russell? Exactly daughter? what? Yes, she is yeah. Russell's okay. daughter. Okay. With Kamora Lee Simmons. Comment acting like people that are and the same goes for comments about her allegedly dating a 65 year old man. That's gonna be it. And that's if how you you're gonna raise, take your budget. If you don't raise my budget, I'm gonna your sugar daddy. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. You don't, even, you don't even have sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? <laughs> of course I'm you are, that. right? I'm just saying, if you don't give me money, I'm gonna go. I don't know. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell arms. I'm gonna sell. Bu- that's gonna be it. And that's you how you're gonna raise, make your fortune. If you don't raise my budget, I'm gonna be your sugar daddy. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. 
Secrets, Ioki Lee Simmons, 21, kisses Serafina co-founder Vittorio Asef, 65, on romantic trip to St. Bart's. A 43-year age difference didn't stop these two from having some fun in the sun. All right, so let's just stop there for a second. So, or we could just stop there in general. What do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about um, 21-year-old chick, famous father, famous mother, um, dating a 65-year-old white man? I think we we kind of talked about this like low-key the other night. Russell met his Russell met her mama when she was seventeen, and Russell was thirty five. Mm. She was fifteen. <clears throat> mm. and Russell was thirty five. So the parents should have no damn say so, because they was doing the little the young older thing too. Yeah, I, I feel you on that, but at the same time, it's just not. It kind of proves what kind of like y'all know. were talking about the other day. Because what y'all say? They were like, if your dad treats you a certain kind of way, you won't go find it in another man or some crap. Yep. Like as opposed to like, hey, if I if, a, if your dad's taking you on trips, giving you money, then when another nigga try to do it, you won't do it. But this proves different. Mm. No, we. I never said that. I said that sometimes when you have like a good father figure, you are look for a man. Well, I think you're talking about different panel. Sometimes you'll look for a man with those same qualities. You're definitely going to look for that type of man. If you grow up that way, like you're going to want the same thing. And she's not really going to find it in a guy her age. I don't care what he's doing. I don't care if he's at Harvard or whatever. Y'all think that women by default look for the sim- a similar ki- similar thing that they look for in a father or, you know, that they father represented in their life by default? Well, a lot of these chicks ain't got no daddies, so... <laughs> I'm going to speak on, no, it's true, but I'm going to speak on me. I look for a lot of qualities of my dad because of the type of father and a husband he is, but it's very rare. Yeah, I would, I would agree. My dad and my granddad are both the type of men that, the only type of men that I would even consider. So, Mm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, one, I like, I like the, the whole traditional thing Mm -hmm. and it's not, there's no, there's no, um, well, no, 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 let me, let me, let me rephrase, let me reset, let me rephrase the question. Why do y'all think that, um, women (laughs) look for the exact same type of guy as their father? Because it's women women sometimes. Yeah, it seems like a lot of times young younger girls, especially like when you're talking about 20, 21, 22 year old chicks, seem like a lot of times that they operate out of rebelliousness also. You know what I'm saying? So But I don't think this is rebellious. Like, I mean, he's really old, I get it, but I don't think it's rebelliousness. Like she she grew up in that lifestyle of a man being able to take care of a woman and it's very traditional. So this guy probably has it. It just happens to be that he's extremely older, but she's definitely looking for a guy, a boss, probably exactly like her dad. Mm. Cause I think he's like some rich tycoon or whatever. And her dad is the same thing. Do y'all think women uh, value in general money over anything else when it comes to relationships? which is one of the th- incentives that I guess comes along with dating a guy at this, this age. I don't think it's money. I think it's resources, right? Resources. Yeah. What's like what can you say what Anton? What's the difference? Like, meaning what can you, what can you provide and how, how can you, what, what do you bring to the table that she will feel safe and secure like she did when she was know. with her father? I think a, a better word would probably be just stability, just like dealing with a woman. You know what I mean? No matter if you're stable, they don't really, they can rock with you no matter how much money you have. That's what, what I experience. I think nowadays women do prioritize money. A lot of women prioritize money over mm. everything else. A man could be ugly. A man could be having a lot of time other women. As long as he pay that money and pay bills, they'll, they'll accept it. Why? Why do you think that is? Because I mean, that's, I don't know. that because you know, 
I don't know, man. And it's funny that some of these women didn't even come for money or even have a dad that provided like that. So I don't know if it's because this culture is just pushing this narrative, like all women can get these ballers and millionaires and, and women think, oh, I need to get a man that makes a lot of money. I don't, I don't know the delusion. But is it appealing that. though? Is it appealing to be taken care of, to not have to worry about anything? Like, is that the thing? Is that one of the biggest reasons I'm assuming? Of, of course, of course you, you want to be taken care of. Of course. Hmm. I mean, but, but some women. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Kim. I think that, of course, it is because you want to be taken care of, but dang, what else you're going to give up? Like, are you okay um, doing XYZ for that lifestyle? Are you okay him That's having a small multiple price to pay, Q. Huh? But see, now you, got, now you got survival, trying to survive versus thriving, right? There's a difference. Yeah, and so I think the women without dads will probably just be trying to survive, right? So they're going to go for the man they can catch that has the most money, versus a woman that you know knows how to thrive because she grew up in that type of environment are going to go for a man, yes, that has money, but what is what is he doing with that money? What what type of stock his family comes from? Generational wealth, things like that. There's a difference. To <clears throat> Mm. Quinn, what do you think about this? I don't, I don't, I don't have any thoughts about women and and how they how they act. No, no, and no. And no. what do you think about the twenty one year old chick talking to a sixty five year old guy? I don't have any issues with it. You don't? I don't, I don't no, I do. It's, I think age gap dating for women is is just the thing, and whatever. If well, it'll, it'll fail, it, it'll fail eventually because the closer he gets to. 90 she's still young as fuck that's not true anna nicole smith dated that billionaire when she was like 21 22 till he died and he was like 95 when he died i'm i'm, I'm, I'm just saying like the farther the, the older the old person gets the farther away the younger person gets like i even feel that way about the lady i'm talking to i'm like you're getting real close to 60 and i'm still not that old <laughs> i'm saying but that don't concern that wouldn't concern you though like damn like you getting 60. Like I think, dude. Like I, I'd be with her if she wasn't that fucking old. She's awesome. So, but she's just old, man. But you are I with her, right? It. Like yeah, I, I think for her. you say what you are with her. You just I went on vacation with her, right? With her, and plus she's not black, like so with she her. With her, a little like. different than black people. So you say what? And she's white, so she ages a little different than black people. So you yeah, we don't match. Yeah, people, but so. we don't match when we're out. Yeah, we don't match. I agree. But why like, do it I, though? You say what? Why do it? Why do what? Like we spend time together, we have fun together. Like it, there's no, there's no nothing. But why waste your time on something that you don't see? You, really if you don't just waste way. your. What the fuck else am I gonna be doing? <laughs> I'm not wasting my time. Enjoying life. So do you, I'm, do you like, see I'm having fun with a with a human. Life is about experiences, and I'm enjoying life with. And I'm having exp nigga. You know how it feel to be sitting in your bed laughing by yourself, nigga. Like what the fuck? It feels awesome. I ain't even gonna no, it it, like, bro. When I'm sitting by myself, look, I love companionship and women, but I love being by myself also. And so, but the notion that Q says that I'm wasting my time, I'm spending my time with a beautiful woman, and we have we have good experiences together. I don't. What's the problem? Okay, so do you see older, yourself being so in her care. life for the long run? Like, do you see yourself marrying her? Do you see yourself taking it? Like, that's what I mean. If you don't, I don't. I, I don't, I don't see myself getting. I don't see myself getting married at all. Oh, okay. Then go ahead. Then. Well, she. Yeah, she, but she, I mean, he's still good, practically she's married. Not, she's not going to care. She's not gonna care. She's just looking for a companion. She, does, she doesn't right. care. Like if, if she don't hear from me for a couple of days, she don't say nothing. She don't say nothing. Whether he so has no questions. Well, that's that's a good woman in general, right? Like she don't like, say nothing. Women who aren't on it like that don't care about not. Whether Quinn is actually days. married on paper or not, he married. He kind of married to her. He tied to her because he's not gonna just walk away from her. You know what I'm saying? It's never. Mm -hmm. It's never gonna be a situation where he walks away from. You know what I'm saying? Her. In general, so in a in a way, he tied to her. So you could say, okay, he's not necessarily married to her. Oh, that's cute. No, when I when I when when someone comes along that's younger and prettier and that looks like her, then <laughs> takes my attention elsewhere. Then <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. You are gonna have both of them. Oh Jesus! I would I wouldn't do that. No. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> like when I started talking to Brandy from uh, from Chicago, the meetup chick, I stopped talking to her. You got right back but, with her, bro. What you talking about? I don't, I don't, I don't double dip. You got right back with her. I didn't get right back with her. We started hanging out again. So you got back with her. I'm kidding. There's no 54 year old. I made her up. I mean, and the re only reason I'm saying this is because, well, as as far as this Aoki Lee Simmons chick, I do disagree with it. I know people in the chat is saying stuff like, well, she 21 and the eyes of the law. That's cute. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. But my daughter is, I always look at it from, from the perspective of what would I do, right? And my daughter, in my opinion, is never going to be grown um, until she is with her husband. You know what I'm saying? And so she always going to be my baby. I don't give a fuck about what the eyes of the law is. Um, I'm just not going to let her. I can't allow for that to happen. I would never want. I would never want. I hate even mentioning my daughter. I would never want a, a, a young girl that I mentor as young. Like, I just couldn't imagine them being with an older guy like that. I just can't you imagine. Know, and Tom, to that honestly, I, I can't remember a time where there were more guys my age trying to talk to me than mm -hmm. older guys. I can't say remember it, a time. Say that again, Mika. I can't remember a time that there were more guys my age trying to talk to me than older guys. It's always mm -hmm. been older guys, at least five to ten years. Mm. I've never been interested in a younger chick ever. I've never been interested in a younger chick. And they could be around a lot of times. A lot of times they come to the studio and stuff. I just can't. I can't. Like, it ain't nothing in them that I'll be like, damn, shoot. Like, it don't matter how fine they are. It don't matter. None of that shit. It's just it's like, to me, they just like little kids. But if but, older chicks are little you're, kids, you're 41, no younger right? chicks, younger chicks. Oh, okay, that makes, that makes sense. You're 41, so if somebody's 31, 32, 33, that's no, nah, the 30s is cool. But like when I see young chicks and they be like 20, 21, 22, 23, you know, I get to even tell by the type of drinks that they want, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just not, it's, it's they like, I'd be like, ah. You know, like, they cute, they eye candy and shit, you know, it's cool. But, like, I could just tell, like, the mentality is just so vastly different. And even if we start, like, you know, because I have all kind of people in the studio at the same time or whatever. And let's say we all start joking and, and, and a joke go, you know, based off of some shit that we just know, like, the culture of how it used to be in a particular <clears throat> era. And they just can't fucking relate. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm just like, eh, yeah, it's showing. Hey, you could just tell the difference. It just shows. Yeah. You know, I think, it's, I think we, it's this generation. If right? I because... can, for example, let's say we like, okay. they were like, I seen my homeboy the other day and um, it was some people around and he said, yeah, man. And oh, dog, that chick was a bust though. And now, and like, I understand if you're from out of town, but everybody from the city know what a bust though is. And a bust though is basically a chick that, you know, everybody hit, you know, sometimes niggas hit at the same time or whatever, right? Yeah. And they like, what is that? You know, and then they'll say some shit about some riz or something. And I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck about what the What fuck? is that? I haven't, I've been hearing that lately. And I that's haven't, what I said, that's that why mean? I said it's a generational thing because. Does it mean charisma, I mean, even, like a short for charisma? Yeah. It's like, it's like trying to game up a chick. Okay. Yeah, it's charisma. But it's like they're on a little twang to it. But that's why I said it's generational. But even if you're dating somebody or talking to somebody 10 years younger than you, like they're not going to know certain things. So I guess that would be the issue there. I've I've heard men say different things. I've heard men say they prefer younger women because there's less baggage. Um, they less they have less trauma. They sometimes deal with less men. Most chances they, they don't have kids. And then I've heard men say they like to deal with older women because older women are more established. They have their stuff going on. They have a job. They're not more looking for a man with resources. 
So I've heard men from both sides. So I'm like, hmm. it ain't even about resources and then like that. Cause it's not like, it's, it's not like resources is a, is a thing, I guess around mm -hmm. us. Cause everybody just kind of having fun in, in a way, but it's more like, like, it's just like mindset. Like I just, you can't relate. Yeah. What's a good age I income? just can't relate. Huh? What's a good age difference? Five up, five if, down. For who? For people or for like? For it, yeah, for like men, like like dating. Because you're saying like, you know how like, okay, so fresh and fit like to talk about dating. Nobody over 24. So 21. I don't know how old, like how old are they? Myron is like 35. Okay. And how old will, be, will fresh be? So I'm assuming fresh is around the same age because they, they were talking about like they went to school the same time frame or something. So I'm assuming they were. And they the say, age. um... They say that they don't want to date nobody over 24. I mean, yeah. listen, I think that preference they don't want is to date fine. No one over 24? Yeah, they're preference like after 20, they're like after 24 is just like you're you're starting to hit the But wall. you got to remember that like fresh um, I don't know about Myron, but fresh lives a certain lifestyle, right? Fresh, fresh. And it's that it's that you know, that fast lifestyle or whatever. Um me personally, I wouldn't be into that. Now, like, you know, I live a pretty <laughs> a pretty awesome lifestyle. I'm not gonna cap, but I'm not into the type of things that they're into. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to go in the same places that you would meet those type of girls. So I like chicks that, you know what I'm saying? Like I like being around a certain type of women or a certain type of crowd that's just different. You know, um, that that knows the type of steak that she want. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, that know how to carry yourself. Like, like I'll give you another example. One of the reasons why we don't keep younger chicks around in the studio and stuff when we create or when anything like that is because they talk too fucking much. <laughs> they talk too fucking much. And it's like, you know, it's, everything is fucking clout. Everything is a fucking, like, you can't even trust these hoes to be taking secret pictures and shit when, you know what I'm saying, when stuff is happening. No, we know like you don't, I, and it's not that older chicks can't do it too, but like I think that after a certain age, you just get it. You just get it. You just know. Like it's some stuff that you don't have to explain. You ain't got to do all of that shit. And so, yeah, I could see the appeal for for a lot of these guys that's looking for a certain thing, but I'm not looking for that. I'm only looking for vibes that's around me, and I need people to be able to move a certain way, and understand it, and know how to keep their mouth shut, and know how to move. You know, in a well, certain that's point. etiquette, Anton. Like well, I think a lot of like, I think a lot of like, what's missing is etiquette. Up, like everything ain't gotta be on no visibility type shit. Sometimes we, mm -hmm. we wanna go through the Low back key. entrance. Yeah, you might we wanna go through the back entrance, but she wanna be in the center and shit. And it's like no, nah, we I, looking for that type of I mean and sometimes that's cool, but we may not be looking for that type of visibility. We just wanna go in and have a good time and be be in a cut and tucked in and chilling. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just do you a think that's more so age or do you think it's more so um instead of age do you think it's more so not being around those type of people right you so you don't know how to move that's true I don't, think that, I don't think that young women are are have seen certain environments to be able to get it mm. like okay. they used to I, cheat. Don't, I don't know you know what I'm saying like they don't know nothing about because like my upbringing right? I was able to go to debutante balls. Um, my, I was in um, charm school down here in Maryland. You know, like we went to those type of things. Mm -hmm. You know, beauty pageants, things like that. So you learn all that type of stuff. And so when you were, you know, 18, 19, 20, you knew how to move with certain type of politicians and things like that. Yeah. You know, my family, my family are Masons, so. You know, you learn all this type of stuff. Yeah, I think that people really don't get it. Like, I see a lot of these little kids inside of the chat. I don't know who gave them the link to this live stream. Um, <laughs> I do I see children in the chat, and they don't get it. They genuinely don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything ain't a turn up. Sometimes it's time for the photo op, and we do it for the camera. And then sometimes it's, it's time just for a vibe. You know, we just want to have... Yeah a kickback and we want to just hit the playlist on and, and everything ain't a fucking rave. You know what I'm saying? Like 
we like women that smell good, women that that, that ain't musty and shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm women saying? Like, you gotta just like chill, relax. Yeah, relax. yeah, and and they look good, and they got like a sweet spirit, and so yeah. you know they know how to adjust, and 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 you know we like to have women around us that not only maybe a vibe inside of the you know the event that we got going on, but damn, we might want to take them out. And we might want to hit something that's going to be a little bit more sophisticated and we want them around us. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always nice to have women around you or whatever. And they don't know how to act. They can't hold a certain type of conversation. And so I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just, I look at it differently. I don't, I think it's cool to have them around, but I would just, I'm just not interested in talking to a chick. I would never be interested in having a chick around me that young. One extended yeah, that's I would think that's weird. Like if my son or daughter popped up with somebody twice that like twice the age, I'm gonna look at them like, why? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Yeah. He's daughter, son. Age. Yeah, it's a little weird. So I mean, I don't know. I'm, I, I, but I mean, you know, I think that everybody got preferences as long as it's legal. I guess it's okay. But I don't know. This is weird to me. Like in this situation, like what's his goal and what's her goal? Like, uh, are you just trying to get some box? Are you trying to get some money? Is that young chick? I guess that what it is. It's transactional. That's it. Mm-hmm. I don't trust young chicks, bro. I mean, I don't trust many people any. at all. But I really don't trust a young chick. Fuck. Yeah, my um. Why do you think so? I would. I would think that. Stuff. Older chicks know the game better, mm-hmm. learn the game, and would know how to finesse better. I think that that's one of the reasons why a lot of these uh, younger basketball players is kind of talking to these older women. Because the older women know how to shut the fuck up and they know how to move a little bit differently. That's they know how to play the game and play their role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, I, and yeah. Then, I mean, the young guys wind up getting caught up, and that's, that's yeah. the dumb part. But I think that it's a lot of older women like the Bernice Burgos that people really fuck with because she just not messy. Mm-hmm. She not messy. Yeah, you, don't really, you don't really hear about her doing nothing. Yeah, you, you don't know. hear nothing. But eventually, you know, some occasionally some paparazzi will pop out around the corner and catch her walking out. I with mean, a you see her. Of- you <laughs> see her da- like dating multiple, multiple people, so you know what she's doing. Yeah. But she's not messy. Yep. She don't, you don't hear her mouth about saying nothing. You don't hear none of that. Man, that's the key. Like Ling Ling over here recording and then blasting her. (laughs) Yep. You don't hear nothing about no Bernie's Burgos. They shut the fuck up. They keep it moving. It's not a thing. They're not talking. They just be quiet. You know what I'm saying? And so I think that that's one of the appealing things for a certain demographic of guys that they just don't have to deal with that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Another example is Drea. Because she don't talk. She don't talk, and her baby daddy, um, there's other girls in Houston saying that he got her pregnant, and she hasn't even spoken about that at all. So, Drea don't yeah. talk now. She used back, to run her mouth like crazy. Back in the day, Drea was talking. So when she, when was, she was younger, younger she, yeah, she was, was younger, you're right. But yeah. now she knows the game. She knows how to play her role. And I this think that that's one of the appealing things of, of, of women – I'm not even going to say older because I don't even consider them older. I think that's one of the appealing things of women that are of a certain age, that pass a certain age range. Now, that doesn't exclude them because it's still some messy older women. And I, you know what I'm saying? But you got a little bit more you got a little bit more um, history to evaluate whether she's messy or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I mean, but again, 21, 22, 23. Uh, I, if I was single, nah, I'm good. Like to date, take serious, or and all that shit, I'm good. I'm straight. Yeah. I don't even think that you know what you want at that point. You're still young. And Not shit. even that. Like, I, like I'm like real high on really? intelligence. Like, I like I like really smart women, and 23 year olds ain't it. Oh, that's nice. Wait, Anton, you don't think you don't think a, a young woman <laughs> know what she wants? She don't even know herself. So you don't think, do you think, so the whole concept about like young women getting married, like cashing their chips early, 
How is that supposed to happen then? Well, no, no, they no. Those just an equal as uh, equal person their age. Well, those type, yeah, usually they're the same age. But those type of women, um, they usually grow with their person. With their yep. You know what I'm saying? So they don't know what they want either. But that's one of the reasons why you're shooting in the gym with them because we both got equity in this thing, and you know that's how you wind up growing with the person, and then you evolve and you just continue to only know that person. See, I, I think that a lot of times, a lot of women have been, they spent too much time with too many people, whereas a woman that only knows uh, one guy or this guy, she's not exposed to all of this shit that's out here. You know what I'm saying? She ain't never been destroyed and ruined and all of this shit, and she ain't got all of this mental trauma and everything like that. And I think that that's the way it's supposed to be. They're not supposed to be exposed to every fucking thing that's happening out here that then shape their narrative, whereas a lot of women that get caught up in the lifestyle, that shit is over. Like, you cannot see that. You really cannot see that. And so, you know, if all she know is this guy that was, you know, nice with her and they went through these growing pains and stuff like that, and then that's one thing. She not she not ruined. But if she get exposed to the streets, Man. But what if she don't get okay? So what if she she's not exposed to the streets and the guy is older than her? Well, it, how old is it? How old is older? Uh, may, maybe maybe ten years. I, I'm just gonna do ten because this is this is extreme. This that's is not extreme. that bad. But when you talk about twenty one and sixty five, that's a big yeah, that's difference. Wild. That's, that, that's yeah, well, that's wild, what I said. Man. This is an extreme. Hey, you get social I've security, you know. That. Yeah, ten years is not that bad. I I can I'm not tripping off that. Um, fuck, sixty five years. He he like one or one or two years younger or older than her father. Yeah, that's I wild. think generally yeah. this is weird. Like when you go outside, you don't see this. You see normal people same that's what age. I said. Yeah, and like this is fucking this is extreme. anomaly one off shit. I'm mm-hmm. starting to see a lot of younger women with older guys though. This is some big it's city shit. Like all this shit it's y'all talk about. No, 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 no like Detroit. older, older. Like that shit is even starting to be like a oh. TikTok thing. Like <laughs> some older fucking guy that's like 50 and it's like some 23 year old chick and this nigga doing some dance with her on a TikTok. It's like, what the fuck is going <laughs> on? Here? Like, because again, you're talking, I'm, you're talking I'm, about that 65 year old woman with that young black dude. No, you? I'm talking about a oh, yeah. fucking 55 year old so man and he up there and you know, I hate right. these videos. And it'll yeah. video it'd be a video of a young chick and she got her older, older man, and she's like, Yeah, my man is doing this, and he'd be doing some dance with her. I'm like, what the fuck is you doing? You doing a TikTok challenge, nigga? You I'm know what I'm saying? It the other way around. I, on TikTok, I see a lot of older white women with black dudes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see men, and the black dudes be taking on their whole family. Because they shit. can get y'all. That's why. I see older what? men doing TikTok challenges. What do you mean get y'all? What does that mean, Mika? The older, what? Okay, I I live in a county like where they, there's a they lot live of together, white women, like... and a lot of the guys are younger black guys, and they and if they want white women, they like they don't have like a standard, so they'll just get any white woman, and mm. it, they're mostly older white women. Yeah, some and of them white the white women house, looking like and a they're bad in the house potato. playing, you know, whatever they want to play on the you know PS five, sitting on their couch. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I see one more older man trying to trying to keep up with a young young chick doing the chick TikTok challenge, I'm gonna do it. Maybe he's saying he's getting in shape. You know? No, he doing a challenge. Q. I know. To get in shape, like do. No, he TikTok not trying to get in shape. Out. He doing a like. And it ain't like a TikTok challenge, like a dance. It's like one of them, like you know how, um, like for example, the recent trend has been, you know. I'm a chick from Houston and this and that and this and that. I'm a girl from Houston and this and this and that. Like it'll be That's like intelligent. it'll be like I'm talking to an older man and this and that and he be the, like holding a thing of coffee. <laughs> I'm talking to an older man. And he likes it. And then the next scene he like this. Like what the fuck is you doing? Get off the fucking camera. Don't let this chick put you on camera, nigga. What's wrong? Oh, man, he love too, man. I'm with an older man, or I'm with an older man. And he likes to pay for everything, and then he'd be like this with the money. Like the card. Yeah, like man, what are you doing? Get off the get off the you fucking don't internet. Even know that he I, I think in my in my personal life that don't happen because I talk to, I'll come across a woman in her twenties and we'll talk, 
and then she'll find out how old I am. They'll be like, "Yeah, that's nasty," and I don't, I don't think that's normal when you go outside. That junk is weird to me, bro. That is so weird to me. And, and I, and it seemed like the latest trend is women sitting in front of the <laughs> the camera doing a makeup, telling some fucking story about some guy. It's like, God damn it. Fucking Q and her fucking makeup. Is Q no, doing that? Totally no, no, <laughs> no. No, he's talking about the recent Tisa's. Like, since recent Tisa came out and came viral, I see more chicks doing their makeup and be like, okay, let me tell you about the time my ex boyfriend. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Risa Tisa became famous off of it. So they want to be the next Risa Tisa. They got those yeah. baby daddy monologues on TV. Yeah. And, and like these chicks are starting to like name names and show videos and all of that God, stuff. God, dog. I need to get off the yeah. internet. I need to get off for our game. No, girl. seriously. They <laughs> are really doing it. Because Risa yep. Tisa became famous. That's why. That's wild. And they like, it's one chick that's like really like showing all of the snaps of dudes that was in her like fucking bro. Now imagine if men did that. Like imagine if men started exposing women. And but see, we all men accountable. it's against our, it's against our code to do that. It would be hilarious. I'm tuning in. I want to know what chick. I would definitely watch it. I think that would be hilarious. Tell me your story, fellas. But men won't do it. Men won't do and that see, and that's what I was saying earlier. It's men's fault because y'all won't hold these women to a standard. Mm-hmm. Because you know mm. what? Some men put up with certain things. Some men are okay with the crazy chick. Some men are okay with so they can't really tell the true story. They can't tell it because they're like, uh, well, she did this and this. I'll be like, damn, and you stayed with her still? Yeah, man. You, you, you can know. you can they kind of tell where it's different. I don't know if y'all came across. Through. There's a Facebook groups and they expose like who's dated this person. See, and I don't like that sh- shit, bro. The, the women shit is tough. They like hundred thousand deep, and on the men it's like fifteen thousand. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm in it. I'm in it. Um, I was just you in the Facebook. You, what do they be doing, Q? Of course oh, you are. Was, they be fucking out. No, my men. friend, my friend told me he <laughs> to, told me to join one in North Carolina because he saw a girl posted him whatever, and then I was like, oh, let me check out Houston. Houston got. Uh, I think a hundred thousand women, That's mostly so white crazy. women. Just tell them, I ain't gonna people, lie. Nigga. Mostly, them and people. they're they're like, hey, do you guys know this guy? They're posting pictures of these people. I mean, I can pull it up and show you. you wait, know, wait, actually, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait yep. a minute, wait a minute. Yep. No, they might kick me out. That's crazy. Well, no, don't don't post it because we need you to be our inside insider. <laughs> so I'm curious, what what are they asking? So is like, there any on the men's side of things. It's like a white guy thing. Black guys don't do it, but white guys do it. They'll post like a a, a picture of a chick and be like, "Anybody with her? Um, any deets?" Is what they say. <laughs> so here's one. They'll post a picture and they'll be like, "She said we've been in a re- we've been in together for two years. Recently, I found out he's been on apps. Do any of you guys know him?" So that's one example. Um, they'll post pictures of random guys and be like, "Hey, does anybody know him?" And girls will comment. Like the post, like this guy, another picture of a guy. They, nigga, they, they were like, my best be friends since the kindergarten off Facebook, yeah, bro. Like, weird. Wow. I'm, I met him on a dating app. I matched with him. Oh, she posted pictures of text messages based on his comments. I'm glad I didn't go out with him. Went on a date with him years ago. It's the devil, bro. So the worst so experience funny. I've ever had. <laughs> Yo, crazy. I ain't gonna lie. It's funny. It is. The stories. Nigga, I, I, like, I woke yeah. up one morning. My best friend called me. He's like, "They got me, homie." I said, "What?" He said, "They got me." <laughs> and he showed me the like messages of all the women. <laughs> I was like, yeah. "Wow!" And then, oh, here's a black guy. Boom. See why they see this is why, and I keep telling people, man, listen, man, everybody signing fucking paperwork around me. Maybe like he he's 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 sent me some crazy stuff. He's a trainer. Oh. On the first date, he didn't have a car, but I picked him up from the gym, and I and that's how I found out he didn't have a car. And he gave me an excuse. <laughs> Girl, why are you picking up this man on the first date? First off, yeah, like nobody pick me up. I don't let girls drive a car, man. That's just weird. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What's that, group called? that ain't What's like that? scary. That's not scary to people. Okay, Dude, what's the group called? That's scary this as hell. Well. Are we dating the same person? So all cities kind of have it. It's, like it's per, I went it's per LA city. Mm-hmm. I went into LA one because at one point I wanted to do like 
a reaction videos to it. But then I found out that they 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 kick people out because I wanted to like do like a little TikToks like look at this person whoop de whoop. But yeah, so are we dating the same person? It's one like in every city. But mm-hmm. I don't know some of it. I was like, damn, like yo, he's really a horrible person. And then like, damn, these girls really exposing this man. But then I'm like, you know what? It's crazy out there. Like I tell women and men do a background check, do your due diligence. You never know who you're going on a date with. And this is kind of a background check if you think about it. And I was like, man, men should have it too. Men should have, are we dating the same woman? Like imagine like Quinn, you're in Oklahoma, you hop in the <laughs> Facebook group, are we dating the same woman? You post your chick that the chick that you I don't want everybody on. having a video video a picture of the chick that I'm, I don't even want people to know I'm talking to nobody. Wait, these are people that you don't know. So imagine Quinn posts this chick he's talking to and he's been in the block for like years since 2016 and all these guys are like, "Yeah, I was just hit with her the other night." But what if a, what if they lying though? What? What if how do we know they're you, not? You, 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 you can kind of tell oh, no, if somebody was the truth. Like, you know what? My is and all. Me and my um, me and my homeboy, like we came across the same chick, and she said we were lying, but we had the exact same story on how it went down. And then yeah. we said we got her home, and she reached for the condoms in the bedside table, <laughs> like both of us, like. <laughs> so, like, but, but Anton, isn't this like a vetting process though? Like, let's say if men and women had this, like you tell women and men to vet properly. Nowadays, it's crazy. Some of these men and women are married, cheating. Some of these people, oh. are on, some of these men are on the down low. Wouldn't you yeah. want to do your due diligence? Make sure this man is not a pedo. This woman is not married somewhere with kids. Like, isn't this part of the vetting process that men and women should do just in general? No. Um, I ain't never heard of this shit. This is all new to me. <clears throat> this is one hundred killing. It's killing the game for niggas who be out here deep. It's killing the game, bro. This yeah. is very yeah. much. Look, new somebody to me. said men don't care. It's my turn. <laughs> if. <laughs> Dallas, Dallas has 148. I mean, one too. 148,000 people. It's mainly for women. It's mainly a women thing. Like I've LA noticed on the men's people. sites, it's white men. It ain't black men on the sites. It's white men. No, it be it be some it be some black men too. It be some, some black men. But it's I more never, white men that this post is some new black to me. And so for me, it's hard for me to envision it because of my situation. But um, no, just thanks, because you I'm thanks excited. appreciate it, Q. So I'm out of the game. But um, if, if, you know, if I was in the game, damn, this is fucked up. This is some fucked <laughs> up shit. You have to have <laughs> NDAs in a briefcase, nigga. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you, everybody getting the paperwork if I was in the game. That's number one. But number two, I would have to be around somebody that is just as significant or got just as much to lose as much to lose. Yeah. You yeah. got you got to be around somebody. I wouldn't even entertain somebody unless they got just as much to lose as I do. Yeah. Because just to talk to, I would never talk to just a regular person. I would never talk to a person that was just a normal girl and I don't know her and all that because I don't fucking trust her. Yep. You, what are you doing? You got to talk really- to somebody that got j- just as much to lose as you, bro. Yo, this is crazy. I'm reading it, and the girl was like, y'all, be careful. He will try to sneak the condom off when you're not looking. Doesn't respect anything you ask. She's posting screenshots, and another one was like, hey, he's been posted in here before. I went on a date with him. He's crazy. Like, that is crazy. (laughs) Like, this is the dating culture. Men are crazy. Women are crazy. You never know what to expect. Mm Mm-mm. And that's another thing. I don't like. I don't like the whole screenshot thing. Man. Yeah, it's the like, devil. It's the fucking. I, I don't. I, I don't either. I don't men, fuck with that shit. And this is men and women. Like they're they're screenshotting. Like I will see like some of my um people that I follow on Instagram, and they'll put in like the the close friends. They'll put screenshots of guys and that they're talking to. Hell no. And they'll put certain things about them, and they're they'll be laughing at it. And I'm just like. This is like this all like this awful. It's really awful. Somebody got exposed by that. I think um That's crazy. Somebody posted something to their like uh close friends and they exposed they told on her or something. If I ever found out, if I was just a normal guy 
And I ever found out that a woman was posting screenshots of me and shit. It's over. <clears throat> Man, sometimes when you're trying to like, when I get in a girl's inbox, like I'm real, like I tread lightly, man, because I know this shit could be screenshotted at any time. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, bro. This is insane. <laughs> I, like, but that's girl. I, mean, I, I knew her. Since, I've been I knowing her since high school. She's so beautiful. Me. I said, "Look, Here just tell go. me when and where I'll get on one knee and I'll give you a ring." <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know text. why y'all are surprised though. Like because women have been recording. Wait, not only women, men, women have been recording, um, screenshotting, um, mm, exposing. Men don't, men don't get that. Men um, men who's the gay guy that exposed the uh the wife? You just said he was gay. That don't count. Okay, he, he still was born <laughs> no, a man. There, there, no, born. there are men that that will get on social media and be like, "Oh, I'm banging, I'm banging this chick," and they'll put up the you know screenshots to prove it. Like the the guys are as worse as the females today. If you look on social media, you'll see it. Nah, I don't fuck with that. Like I don't, I don't like that shit. I don't That's like that. Used. No, I I don't, bro. This is the first time I'm hearing about any of this. Genre. I don't like this pillow talk. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it, bro. This it's is just so like wow. This is it's wild. a pillow talk, Anton, because it's like nowadays. It's like everybody got a motive. Like you don't know. You don't know who's really being real because people are putting up facades. Like people trying to stunt people. You don't know what people' true intentions are. That's really the hard thing. So when you talk to a man, you can't tell like he was a genuine conversation or he's just trying to clap chicks. You don't know how to tell the difference. You know, it looks all looks the same. What are you trying to clout chase off of? What you mean? Clout chase I didn't say cloud. I said you you can't tell the difference. Is a dude's being genuine with you or if he's just trying to have sex with you? Like it look does it look different? Oh no, no. You you can tell. You you can tell. But it's some I mean, I'm just talking about well, what I see online. Man, I never, ever, ever trying to have sex. Women, men, yeah, a man could look at you and want to have sex. Even it, when he's genuine, he's still no, trying to have sex. No, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Because, mm -hmm. oh, okay, Q, I, I, I'm in your inbox all the time, but I'm not inappropriate. I don't never talk about, like, I don't never talk about no Yeah, but shit. have you ever thought of me, thought, thought of me sexually? Yes or no? No. Mm -mm. Look, these, these, listen, let me, hold on. We got these dumb motherfuckers inside of the chat. No, I was Stay out the chat, Anton. No, 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 no. Because I, I like to, I like to interact with the chat. Because I always say chat lives matters. And why do they care? You know the thing that I hate the most is when people say you married. Why do you care? And they say that for everything. They say it when I'm trying to make sure I'm give people in the game to how to protect themselves, to prevent themselves from getting set up and shit. Man, let me tell you something. I don't have to be the one to suffer from it in order to advocate for what's best for people in general. If I don't want guys to suffer because people get accused of stuff all the time, I don't like the fact that, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of guys that I coach that say, yo, man, I, I want to get married and shit like that. And when I hear some of the stuff that's happening, I don't want that to happen to them. I don't have to be the one to suffer in order for me to say that the shit is wild. What are you, you dumb motherfuckers, I need y'all to suck a dick backwards. Y'all niggas is the worst <laughs> ever. Because y'all the worst ever. Because it'd be them same motherfuckers that be getting caught up in some dumb shit. And, and the thing that we need is for people that's not going through it to advocate for what's best for it. So Because by the time that you get caught up in the dumb shit, can't nobody help you. By the time you the one that's complaining about it, can't nobody help you. And so, of course, I'm going to advocate for the things that's the best for the people. And when I find out, out about it, I'm going to have an opinion about it. And it's still wild. It's wild that women is doing wild shit and you're not a woman, nigga, but you still think about it and you still be like, damn, these chicks is crazy. If I see a dude that's getting cheated on or if a dude get caught up in a paternity test and a, a, a paternity test and the kid wind up not being his, that shit is wild. It don't have to be applicable to me in order for me to be have a reaction and say, hey, man, we got to do better. Society need to have a completely um, different perspective and all of this other shit. Like, y'all some dumb motherfuckers. Matter of fact, man, let me start getting you motherfuckers out of here. <laughs> Anton, but what this I, is so this is dumb. why. Like, why, why wouldn't you want the best for society? Why wouldn't you want to have a standard? Why wouldn't you want people to not crash out? This shit is so dumb. Anton, this is why I say when men get duped, these athletes, these famous people, I'll be like, are they dumb? <laughs> Like, I, because it's like, 
we see what's going on out here. We see how women are moving. We see how men are moving. So that's why I'm like, Fresh, are you dumb? Yeah. Like, we see how they moving. Like, so yeah. it's like, how can you, I can't feel, I can't feel bad for you because I know how women are moving. I wouldn't want to even be a man in today's society because I know women, we got the power. The justice system, we got the power. We get, we get certain rights compared to men. So it's like, I don't really feel bad for men because it's like, it's, it's all over the place how women are. Like, so. That's oh. why I don't understand the whole fresh uh, thing. Cause I'm like, I, I see, I can see that woman a mile away. <clears throat> it, it didn't happen. Like, this is just a, this, give it another 15 days and, you know. And you know, the funny part about it, like they always say, oh man, give us a game or whatever. And it's like, you want it or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, we should just let, like, the people that won, what if everybody that won just let you motherfuckers crash out and that's just the end of it? And kept all of the information for themselves. What if everybody that got rich kept all of the information for themselves about how they made money? They would be quiet. Like, like they're doing think them. about that shit. You always talk about how you don't have access and then when people start to, <sighs> I hate you niggas. I think rich people give poor people the game because they know they can't execute it. So it's no, like, we give it because we <laughs> actually have benefited from it and we want to lead the earth in a better space. And so as a result, we try to help the people that can be helped because we know that everybody's not going to take it. And so the person that finally, like, we want people to win. But part, like, listen, the most evil people I know are poor people. And the, and the most, and the nicest people that I know are rich people. That's just the truth. Like the people that want to help you the most is usually the people that's already winning. And they nicer and women, women that have had a good life, they usually nice to you and all of that shit. And it's, oh, hey, sugar. You know what I'm saying? They got a, just a good disposition about life. And the most bitter ones is the ones that got fucked over, did dirty, they ain't got shit. And then they, they, they turn into evil beings. You don't see people that have lived a good life turn evil against people in general. Like you see them, people that's lived a good life, they they treat other people with love. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just it's just that's sometimes it makes you not even want to help on. people. It make you not want to help people. Cause it's like I won. Don't you want to win too? But no. I don't know, bro. But Anton, a lot of people don't like it. a lot of people don't even like it when you're nice to them though. I've noticed that. They think it's a you know it's a it's another motive oh, there. It'd be niggas yeah. that take it'd be niggas that take and pictures like, with their shirts off, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be these type of niggas. <laughs> Get this motherfucker up out of my chat, bro. I don't like niggas like that. Get this nigga up. Out Come of to here. the Monday show. <laughs> mm -mm. No, we don't want you here. No. Nope. No, but I had a um, I was on Clubhouse, and then some of the guys and girls were talking. And they were like, you know what, this dating culture they feel like they don't even want to put themselves out there to date. Q, I have because... no respect for a nigga that take a picture in the, in the mirror with the... <laughs> <laughs> I have no respect for a nigga that do like this in the mirror. <laughs> I'm trying just... to get his, um, what's that muscle here? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have no Perhaps. respect. That's what women do, nigga. Triceps. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm I, I would, that's what women do. I I gotta get these type of niggas up around me. I don't even oh want these niggas. Crew, get these niggas up. He said, <laughs> "Type oh of niggas God. that be sitting against all against the wall in real life, plotting on the nigga because he doing well." Yeah, we gonna get that nigga just like the dude in Belly, like Kane and Belly. They be plotting against a nigga, bro. These niggas around from around me, bro. Oh, let me read some of these super chats. Let me knock some of this shit out. Um, Victor Williams says, "Why homie came up with so much vigor? He's stuck in the early 2000s." Oh, um, um, Quinn Uncle. <laughs> Time out says, is, oh, this a pimp name? "Is this a pimp name?" Slip, slip, back, slick back. <laughs> Victor Williams says, "Sunglasses indoors is nasty work." Raiders bugger hat, sunglasses, and a tracksuit with an attitude. Miss Lot says, "What the hell you got on?" Time says low budget shark from no jumper. LA <laughs> says you can't be on you can't be anything online. Shout out to you, big dog. New ball says, oh my god, or I'm sorry, OG funny. 
Uh, he cooked, bro was bro bring him back. Oh, they became fans. He turned the chat on. Quentin, <laughs> you see how this shit switched up on me? <laughs> <laughs> you could be anything online. Uh, you can sell me the bath water. That girl is fire. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That water. Shout out to shout out. Just found y'all with a dope, uh, dope way to vibe on YouTube. Shout out to the Black Queens. Shout out, to, uh, shout Gucci curtains. Man was spitting. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Vife Lake. I was out, out today. Guy moves. Shout out to you. Nick, them was fucking brown ass Louis Vuitton curtains. That nigga lying. Regarding the fresh situation, only two things need to be addressed. One is the woman pregnant. Two for, is fresh to daddy. Uh, until those are answered, everything else is just noise. Let me give a round of applause for my dog. Oh! Right there. Said he just gonna have to take that L. Monterius, shout out to Monterius. Is is that a better gym pick in time? No. Yeah, he no. got no. He, he yeah, he got his shirt on. No, no he, got this he got his shirt on. <laughs> I don't think men men really don't know how to take pictures. Like he got his I shirt. Ain't, on. I ain't never took a selfie in my life. You look at my IG. There's zero selfies on my IG. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Let me read some of these. Some more of these. Uh, Seminole 2014 says, may your heart turn colder than a Siberian winter. Out here, Quentin. Don't break bread. Save no holes. Eat all the single fruits, eat single baby mama's fruit snacks. I'm good. <laughs> Time out says, Al Pacino, 83, and his girlfriend is 30. Yeah, he got smoked, too. He got took to the clinic. Yeah, that's wild. He got her knocked up. They had the baby last year. He not going, uh here to see his kid turn eight. He's not even going to be here to be a, see his kid turn 18. Uh, Striking the Rich says, I could see Mika being a sugar baby for a 65-year-old. Mika. Yeah. Shout out to Blue Baggins, says young women, older dudes, only weird in America. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's true. Let me get Corey I. Mar Sr. says, morning. Seems like folks in general lack discretion. I told my dad about a week ago. I used to hate how the military demanded that from everyone. Loose lips could actually affect your career. I walked it back. Love dad and ma for the exposure worldwide. Shout out to you, big dog. I appreciate you. And I do think that people have no kind of etiquette, especially when it comes to, um, you know, keeping stuff within it within yourself. Uh, Miss Lolita, shout out to Miss Lolita. Says, good evening, Anton and the panel. Can I have my wrench? If I was single at 30, couldn't. No baby, a black man over 35 get any action. Hmm, interesting. Unplugged is in the building. Appreciate you, Unplugged. Striking the Rich says, Quentin says he has never looked at Q sexually. LOL with the big L. Now we know what Quentin's face, what Quentin's lion face looks like. <laughs> Stop being nice guy, Quentin. Speak like, your, I'll, I'll say this to anybody. Your he truth. Me like, like big sister vibes. Speak your truth, Quentin. <laughs> First of all, it ain't nothing with, wrong with Quentin thinking that Mika or Q is hot and sexy. And I just don't. That, was, that wasn't the, that wasn't the point we were making. I think um, we was talking about going on a date, and men, <clears throat> when you're on a date or when you meet someone, you might think of sexual thoughts with them. Like, so I'm like, okay, that usually just happens, even though some men don't say it. Um, but I, that's why I asked Quinn. I was like, so Quinn, none of my, before you even got on panel, not one time you thought of me sexually. What did he say? Or, man, or cute, look cute. He said no, which I don't believe. <laughs> it's the silence for me. It's the silence. <laughs> I never heard right. Quentin this quiet. No. no. <laughs> Quentin, you don't have to say nothing, big dog. Okay, lawyer Anton. Yeah. Why he don't say he don't have to say nothing? Okay. He not Do you think you think he's lying? <laughs> Why you think he's lying? Yeah, he, yeah, I think he's lying. But then you see, he just proved my point. Quinn never. Why, Why you think the, he's lying? The the hubris is real. <laughs> He never has nothing never to say. So the fact that he's quiet after I said that, he was like. 
<laughs> oh good. my god, Jesus! Like Natasha said, it was too black for him. That's funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you know you what makes what? you know what makes Q so bad. You know what makes Q so toxic. Let me tell you how toxic Q is. <laughs> I'm going to read them. I'm going to get to them. I'm, I got a couple more to get to. This is what makes Q so toxic. Because, like, listen, women that's cute know they cute or whatever, right? But here's some shit. Like, Q would throw it in your face like, I know you was looking at me sexually. Like, she don't give a fuck. And that's like, shit. <laughs> What the fuck? Like, <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, it's because you know, I grew up around God. Boys. Like, damn, you ain't gonna give me no stuff. love. Nah, nah, we blunt, we blunt in the island. We blunt, so, <laughs> because, you know, because he know, that's why I asked. Because he know, look at Quinn. It's like Quinn been silent for a good two minutes and 35 seconds. Since Quinn, I asked him that question, the, the amount of strays has me silent this evening. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wasn't silent when uh your daddy was on panel coming for you. You was cutting them off and everything. <laughs> Talking about the as soon as I heard that nigga's he voice, I knew exactly who the fuck it was. Ah, they think you was too young for Quinn. <laughs> Yo, this chat, y'all know Quinn too well. It's so funny. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh I didn't God. see Anton in the airport. Fuck you. You did, yes, yeah. you did, nigga. <laughs> was, yeah, you did. You admitted to Yes, it. you did. <laughs> yes, and you, you didn't did. Say to him, Mr. Yes, nice Guy. Yes. But Quinn, my dog. I love Quinn. Quinn is my guy, bro. You ain't got to oh, say nothing. Can you can ain't got to prove nothing to him. You ain't got to prove nothing. I'm going on a 30 day vacation. Know. Look at that face. Thank you. This is why. This is why. This is why, guys, don't tell y'all that y'all cute and shit. Because. I don't need a man to tell me. Men don't have to tell it though. No, but then no, no, I ain't talking about this cute. Then y'all gonna be like, see, I know you want the fuck. Y'all be saying that shit and all that junk like that. No, I don't say that. I don't. I don't say that. You never thought about me sexually. I know because I was. I know he did. A lot of men fantasize about women. Like, just don't mean. No, we don't. Men fantasize about women online on people. No, we don't. No, we don't. I have I have okay. too much sex in my normal life to fantasize about people on the internet. I'm not saying fantasize. You can be like, oh, she's attractive. Oh, she, I say that to women, and I'm not gay. But you I could be a like, good. I don't, I don't, I don't okay. have to you think about you sexually. I'm not gay. Don't mean I'm gonna smash her. Like you could be a guy. You could be a guy, and see a woman that look. You know what I'm saying? That that is an attractive woman, but you don't have no fucking thoughts about fucking her. It's just like a fleeting. Like the other day when you had on that tight shirt, I was like, "Oh, Q has nice boobs," and I kept doing what I was doing. Ah, that's wild. Oh. That's wild. So that proves my point. <laughs> that's wild, Quinn. <laughs> Damn, that's Quinn, really I was wild, trying to right? save you, bro. <laughs> but I was, I was like, trying to save off. you, bro. Okay. <laughs> that's what. That's what I asked, and you said no. And then you Look, just proved that's my not point. sexually. I just I saw nice boobs and it was it's like nice sexual. Boobs. That's still sexual. Nice boobs, nice lips, nice yeah. ass. That's still sexual. Dude. It's pretty much like you raped what? me into thinking that. No, that's so nigga. Nice. Sorry, bro. But see, Quinn, yeah. let me tell you how to defend yourself. You got to flip it around on him. You Too late flip. now. Let him sink. He said what he said. No, him. Quinn, flip, flip it around on him and, and, and say, listen. So what you saying? You saying that when you see a nice looking guy, that that just automatically mean that at some point you looked at him sexually? No. <laughs> no. See how they it's see how they... for women. Nope, it's <laughs> not the same for women. Yes, no, it is. No, no. no, because I can I can acknowledge a handsome man don't mean I want to screw him. I didn't say, but that don't mean that he want to screw. That don't mean that a guy that looked at you and said that you a nice looking woman want to screw you but that either. wasn't the, that, you moving the whole go field i said you sexualize he just said he looked at my titties what is sex what, is, what do you mean titties. by sexualize what do you mean by sexual the, the, they were the half the, they were half of the picture okay somebody the prime example he just <laughs> said <laughs> even though my titties were out those were nice titties that's sexualizing it don't matter I is that sexualizing because, because, okay angel reese if he was he said no I'm, i look at her as a sister if you did I do. You wouldn't be looking <laughs> <at my> mother. <laughs> I, do, I feel like you're like a sister like hey yeah like, i buy you, co I buy you coffee or something others. a scone <laughs> <gasps> I've never heard a brother be like, "Okay, sister, you got nice titties." Like, I'm not talking about. Oh, okay, no, I know, I know. <laughs> you just, it's okay. 
Island Fur King Tom. I don't want to be on no, the title of the queue anymore. She trying to save me. He already said what he said. <laughs> you can look at a woman and say, yeah, she nice looking. True. Or you can think that she's a nice looking woman, but that don't necessarily mean that you want to fuck her. Yeah. You, you're right, Anton, but that wasn't the point me and Mika was trying to make. But nice try, saving Quentin. In my anecdotal experience, the more pretty a woman is, the the worse the sex is. So just lies. throwing that out there. <laughs> like, you pretty bitches is lazy. Lies, lies. I mean, you deal with, <laughs> you you deal with white lies. women, so it's, I don't, don't take no offense, Mika. He deals nigga, with I deal the gamut of women. Nigga. I, Asian, white, European, fucking As you said, Indians, Asian, white, all, all European. I don't take no Black offense women, to Asian, white, it. European I do, comparisons. I do it all. I do it all. Yeah, but see, a lot of times, no. Uh, listen, listen. A lot of times you can see a woman and you can be like, damn, that could be a good, you know what I'm saying? If she know how to communicate, then we can get some money together. That's the first, I don't know, my brain is broken. The first yeah, thing I think about. Married, you don't think with your dicks. So a lot of men are not married, married and they're very sexual. Listen, it's, what you think that guys that's married just automatically turn their eyes off? No, I did not say that. I'm talking about you. You married. I only, loyal, regardless of what I'm married or not, before, like, that don't mean, before I was married, the only thing I cared about was getting money. Okay, true. Listen, That's why I said the hoes come after. The, the fun, the sex, the hoes, the, all of that other shit, that shit comes second, third, fourth to the bag. Anything that ain't about a fucking bag first. Mm -hmm. I have a question I, for Mika. Money. It's do you, always. Do you think most men yes. think like that? No, but, I, but I'm not. I'm not advocating for most men. I'm saying that, <laughs> dog. I'm never ever putting a chick above my bag ever, under no circumstance. That. Like, and if I, if the first thing that I think of when I see a woman is how can we get money together, that's the first thing that I think of. If I see a woman, I'll be thinking, damn. I wonder. Hopefully, hopefully she know how to talk. Hopefully, she know how to communicate. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause then we could we could leverage this shit. We could take take control of this shit. Mm -hmm. So, so my question for Mika was, Mika, are you from Tennessee? No. Why? Because you're the only ten I see. <laughs> <laughs> my cheeks hurt. I'm about to be Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Right now. <laughs> oh my god. Somebody go somebody go say that shit in real life. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Thank <laughs> you, screen. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Jesus Christ. I had to give me water for that trash pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Quinn, how many ladies have you used that on? Uh, that's the first Everybody time I said Oklahoma. It. I, that's, no, that's the first time I said it. There's some ladies that like that, Quinn. Don't worry about it, big dog. I know. <laughs> Nadia, like Nadia, 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 you cute girl. Let Nadia, me read. Let me come on Monday's panel. DM me. Yeah, DMQ, Nadia, come through. Let me uh get some of these super chats out of here. Hero says hello from Vietnam. Shout out to my <clears throat> Vietnam people out in the building. I appreciate okay. you, big dog. Um, Corey Imar Senior says real mother effing talk. Peeps think you're too. You're too nice, you gay. <laughs> no, I just want to be nice, especially a black people. <laughs> Shout out to Logic. Let me talk about the question. Says Quentin is lame. <laughs> Quentin already <laughs> <laughs> I even posted it. 
<laughs> Shout out to Logic. I appreciate you, bro. Do <laughs> take pics with their finger in their mouth. Oh my God. Y'all so dumb. Man, that 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 last comment was kind of true though. Like a girl, like we slept together. She told me not to cross the pillows, and I didn't cross the pillows, and she called me gay. What do you mean, don't cross the pillows? Don't cross what pillows? Hey. Like she put a pillow between us before we went to sleep. She's like, nigga, don't talk to my <laughs> And Wait. I did cross the pillows, and she called me gay the next day. <laughs> He's like, that nigga oh didn't try to you. God. You, so you slept stupid. with her, though. So she put no, the this pillows out. He has to this see is, it through. He has to see hold it on, through. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get the rest of these knocked out. Uh, Harrison says, been a minute, but salute. Shout out to Harrison. Hood Action News says, Quentin would take that down. Yeah, I think so, too. But I got my dog Quentin back. Charles Freeman says, they hating because... You big time dog. Stay up after hours fire panel. Oh, we love that though. We love to hate. Strike it rich. Striking it rich says Scarface voice. The eyes Chico. They never lie. Striking rich also says, "Damn, I didn't poke the hornet's nest with Quentin." Quentin, <laughs> did they poke the hornet's nest, bro? The fuck, bro. Mm, All cool. right, so let me spin this. They said An Anton is a pillow simper. I don't know what that means. What, what is, is that? a pillow Can simper? Nice guy simper. Quentin is Quentin simper. Anton is a pillow. They said I'm a pillow simper. What is a pillow what is simper? That? I don't know. When people say dumb kind of <clears throat> fuck up out of here. So all right. So, anyways, let's continue on with the show. I got something else that I want to do this real quick. <clears throat> um Umar so, Johnson. Key, I... Go oh, ahead. Go ahead, Quentin. The, the situation I'm talking about now, Q, is like <clears throat> when you when when I worked for Southwest when I first started like t 15 years ago, they put everybody in hotels and we stayed up all night and I talked to this one girl and she slept in my bed. Like I, that was the first night I met her. <clears throat> and she um, mm. told me, not, she said, don't cross the pillow. Did you hit or did she just stay in the bed? She just stayed in the bed. I didn't cross the pillows. I didn't try to touch her. And oh, then the next morning, wait, I woke wait, up my wait, home. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like she put a pillow between us, Nicola. <laughs> so wait, y'all slept in a y'all got in a hotel together, and y'all slept in the same bed. What was it? A king size bed? No, because there was a my roommate was in there too. So it was like a dude in this bed, and then me and her in this bed. And he, and we woke up the next morning. He was like, "Nigga, did you, he did um did you hit?" And he she was like, "No, nah, he gay. That nigga didn't touch me." <laughs> <laughs> and she I'm put like, the pillow. He told me not to. <laughs> <laughs> she would have had to get out. She would have. <laughs> that's that's passive can, aggressive. You put the pillow there. She got to get yeah. out. She got to get out because I was, see, you shouldn't even slept in the bed with her. See, on one side, it's like she playing fucking games because if you yeah. just if you'd have tried to hit, then she could have threw a case on you. Yep. But that was his first time meeting her. You shouldn't even slept in the bed with that chick. Chicks I was. She would have had to get the fuck out. Cause I can't be playing no games with nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Experience. Fuck that. Fuck that. <clears throat> you know that's that's how you catch a fucking case. Don't yeah. sleep in the bed with me naked and then ask me not to touch you. Cause first of all, I'm gonna touch you. Like that's just how I sleep. I I sleep naked. Number one, and I'm I'm I gotta <laughs> pull up. I'm pulling up to that bumper all night long. So. But the fact is, she wanted you to have sex. You had another guy in the room. She wanted you to have sex. It's no woman that's ever going to get in bed with me. That's not. First of all, you sleeping naked. Um, and so, we sleeping naked. And secondly. The chat is about to go crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying, dog. Listen, when, I don't even know how you pulled that shit off. Because there's no well, way I'm going to stay in my bed with her. Bro. Because that was she, the first she, time she wants, to, Anton, she wants to feel wanted. I'm not but sleeping in the bed with a woman. I'm I listen, it's my bed. We're sleeping together. We gon we gon' spoon and we spoon and naked. <clears throat> That's just the way it go. I'm not sleeping but, in the bed with a woman and not and not pulling up. That's just that's just it. If you don't, if you don't want to sleep in the bed, you gotta get the fuck out. And they don't want to. And they don't Quinn, want to. Quinn school. does. Quinn has done it a couple times though. Remember, you slept in the bed with a woman, and you let her set the standards, bro. It was remember Kim that came on the panel. Her. <laughs> you did what? You slept in the bed with her. Mm-hmm. 
Fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yo, I got, I got a good ass memory. Like, I love thing about me, I got a good memory. Fuck, bro. You slept in the bed with her naked? No, I had a I had a gym shorts and a t-shirt. <clears throat> That means he was naked because we already know you free ball. Man, my dick would have hurt. <laughs> stop. Q don't know about this. You stop. Don't ball. say nothing else. No, stop it you right now. He free ball. He free Ew. ball. <laughs> so you right? You stream naked with no shorts on right now? <laughs> no, I don't have any underwear on now. <laughs> no underwear? Ew. Ew. I can meet up. You had no underwear and I hugged you? What the hell? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, nah, Angel, why the hell you laughing? You hug Quinn too, the fuck? No, no, I don't underwear that day. I don't G. Ain't nobody hug. Mika, you did this. Me and that time, we said nigga to nigga like nigga. Yeah, we gave that. It wasn't no hugging. Elbows, nigga. Dog, I don't know how y'all sleeping. Fuck that, bro. Fuck that. Like, you could sleep in another room, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. But if we sleeping in the same bed, I got standards, bro. It was a unique situation. Mm -hmm. Like, if you sleep in a different room, that's cool. But if we sleep in, in the same bed, I have standards. Well, like I said, we we follow each other on what's that? Find my iPhone app, and she was like, oh, "Dang, you're right down." The, she's like, "Dang, you're right down the street. Come visit." Y'all follow each other on what? <laughs> Sorry. Queen, she can know your location. This stream. Yes, yeah, she knows. Yes, yeah, she do. Mm -hmm. She know your location. Mm. <laughs> Don't she got a man, a husband? Mm -hmm. Well, no, not not no more. Oh shit, never mind. Uh, but she had a husband. Mm -hmm. This is wild, time. man. This is wild, bro. Man, your stories be wild. Like, is this a Oklahoma thing? Like, <laughs> I just live life, man. I'm I'm out here living life. I have a great life. Oh, I guess I'm not living life, Doctor like, Umar. Compared to y'all stories. That's wild, bro. I don't get it. I just, I don't know what's so wild about it. You don't, you don't see nothing wrong with that conversation, with that situation, <clears throat> dude. Like, I fully intended on driving back to where I came from, but it was just too late. And I was like, man, I leave in the morning. Yeah, look, wait, nothing's wrong with that. It's okay for a man to sleep in a bed with a chick and not do nothing. I'm okay with that. I've done that. <laughs> I've definitely done that. Have you really? Yeah. Okay, cool. With my exes, yeah. Yeah. What? Only with my only with my gay friend. Oh, Wait, no, okay, definitely Mika. Not. Thanks. Thanks for that narrative, Mika. <laughs> definitely. Oh, definitely not doing it. What? You slept in a bed with your ex after they was your ex. No, 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 no. No. Before before we became boyfriend and girlfriend. <clears throat> yeah. And they never, they, that was just cool? Yeah. I set the parameters, the boundaries, and they obliged by it. I like to cuddle. Y'all cuddle? Yeah. To why sleep? Why would I have you in the bed? Why would, why would I have you in the, why are you coming in the bed then? You're not going to cuddle. To fuck? No, you don't have to be, to screw somebody to be in the bed. <clears throat> you can fall asleep, watch a movie, we play games, we play phase 10. Just go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Cook some food. I cook dinner. <clears throat> some people don't want to be alone. You know? Yeah, before before Kim got married, we used to cuddle. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, men do that. Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> like a man that can restrain himself, I like that. Restrain yourself. <laughs> have have discipline. That's attractive. You but you're in my bed. Okay. And discipline. Uh I couldn't get myself in that position. Oh yeah, I got I got good discipline. No, but Jesus, this y'all don't see nothing wrong with this. Nope. Am I the only person that's off on this? What? Yep. Let's look, let's look at the chat. What the chat? Thinks. No, no, no. Because listen, it's one thing if like we used to just being a, <laughs> like we used to having a sexual relationship, but we don't feel like it that night or whatever, or so on and so forth, and we just going to bed on some type of shit. But y'all just like cuddling. Yeah, no, this, this was before we got serious. So Anything happened and... That's it's only discipline. With, like, why wouldn't you want to be with someone that's disciplined? Because he's not gonna touch me. 
Who not gonna touch who? I said only with my my gay best friend. I told y'all about. <laughs> Yeah, the, the fact that's, that's the me. that's the standard right, of being. That, that's sad that you yeah. that you don't think that men can keep them hands to themselves in that situation. That's sad. No, it ain't about that. Get the fuck out. <laughs> no, but I mean, you like once they and I ain't talking about just on some like, hey y'all, we about to chill and watch a movie type shit. But like, yeah. if we in the bed together, I get the fuck out. Well, if you can't, if a man can't control himself, he don't need to be in my bed. Then no, you it's know, not about know. controlling myself. It's it's. That's that's um gaslighting. Like that's a false signal. How? Like, that cuz I think cuz you know what you're doing on that shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> if I tell the man, "Hey, yeah, you can spend the night. I can come over there." Just letting you know nothing is going to happen. Okay, well then you sleep in the spare bedroom. Don't sleep in my bed. If you're sleeping if in my bed, no, 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 no. Okay. If you're sleeping in my bed, that okay. shit that's that's false flagging. But it's not false flagging if I'm letting the guy know, hey, if I spend the night, I'm not doing nothing. Then you and can't sleep. Like, then go sleep in the other room. Do you sleep? Do you sleep? I'm going like, back home then. Okay, then go home. But you're not but sleeping in my bed. He, but he invited me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I can spend the night. Yeah, you can spend the night. But just letting you know, nothing's going to happen. Uninvited. Like, Uninvited. Men, okay, then that's fine. That's fine. Okay, but men but have discipline. Like, no, like that's that's not discipline. That's a that's that's I'm hoping, but I'm not really getting it, even though she told me I wasn't getting it. That's what that is. That has nothing to do with discipline. That's not a me problem. Nothing that's to a do with problem. discipline. No, I could, I that's not do a me because problem. I would be all of, like the way I sleep. I would want to cuddle under somebody, and yeah. I I would think I would be turning that person on because then my hell yeah, and you putting your husband. head in you know my. So I couldn't do it. Man, I'm getting head. I'm getting everything. And I'm fucking the I, shit I go out to me. sleep pretty quickly. So if you No. Nah, <laughs> nah. Listen, we listen. Cuddle, That's why I don't even play that game. I don't I don't even play that game. I, listen, I, I'm not going to resist some, like I'm not even going to put myself in a position to have to exercise dick discipline. That's the key. See, That's if you allow me and I and I'm if I allow for you to be in a certain space, that means that I'm going to put you in a position to where I never have to reject temptation. I'm not the type of ter person to put myself in a position to be tempted in the first place. So yeah. I know that there are certain rules to this game. If you come over or whatever and we just chilling and we just kicking it as homies, that's one thing. But if you coming over and you sleeping in my bed talking about cuddling, no. That's an absolute positive. That is a line. Nope. Go home. Take... I. Yeah. Call you Uber. Fuck that shit. No, we not doing no. that. I ain't playing that game. And see, a lot of these guys, that's how they fuck up the game. It's because they create these mad bad expectations because they really want to fuck, but they can't fuck. But they just settle for it, hoping that they can fuck and that you give over into it. I'm not playing that game. We're going to establish this right from the outset. Look, if I if you in my bed, open your mouth. All no, that. I like a man that has control. If you can control <clears throat> yourself that like that, oh. in that circumstance i ain't it, never it, going it, to sleep listen i ain't never gonna have a chick in my bed if you in my bed i just gotta not feel like it. but if you in my Somebody bed, say, hey, we're doing playful in my play, bed, uh, sleepovers. You're, that's mine that's mine everything in my bed is mine everything in my bed is mine well that's fine good thing you don't gotta deal with that you married so yeah, i don't know well listen but are there men? But this is a message to these other guys. Stop letting these chicks sleep in y'all bed, cuddling, nigga, and then you going to bed with blue balls. Niggas is going to bed with niggas going to sleep hurting, ball sensitive. That's not a me problem. If I if I say hey, I'm not gonna do nothing. Go ahead and do what you gotta do with your hands, so you don't. No, Q. No, no. Before I come over there. This is this is this is a you problem. How I'm telling the man nothing is going to happen. No. Don't I'm even do that shit. Too. Don't do that. Don't do that to men. That's not right. Okay. That's not right. <laughs> but if I'm letting them know. Fuck that. Dude, but you were real curvy, so like cutting. When you were, you would let that shit fly? With with Q? Quinn already did. He did it to Fuck time. that, bro. Well, Q is different than Kim. They look they look a little bit different. <sighs> Man, I don't care. <laughs> Nigga, she in your bed. Uh, Listen, if I go to sleep and you feel my ass, 
That's not my fault. You get hard. That's not a me problem. That's, but that's you. The, but that's why I said I don't do it because I already know what's going to happen. You I, have to I realize what's gonna happen. me and Kim's been what? like I friends for oh, ten gosh. years. So me trying to have sex with her, that's we have, we've been like real good. Then she can sleep in your bed, bro. Listen, it's just certain about. <laughs> I'm a yeah, I don't even like girls sleeping in my bed. On couch. Like at least I'm like like close to like dating you. I don't even. I'd rather pay extra instead of sharing a bed with a girl. Like, listen, but, listen. I believe. I listen, I got an extra room. bedroom. We all hanging out. Listen, y'all can crash in the bedroom, or you can crash on the couch. Whatever one, whatever. Blah blah blah. You coming in my bed? Pause. <laughs> no, no, no pause, nigga. No pause. No, you're diddy. in my bed. <laughs> the fuck? Like, what we talking about? I know I can't be the crazy one in this situation. I didn't say that. I didn't. I've been off on some stuff, but not this one. I know I ain't if off. Guys on this are, one. If guys I'm dating say, "Hey, you can spend the night. It's so late. You don't have to go home. Just letting you know nothing's gonna happen." It's so if funny that we're talking if, about if, this if, right if now. If a man said, "Hey, I, I don't want to do the. I don't want to have that temptation. I don't think you should say." I wouldn't feel bad if he told me that. Nah. Like, okay. I ain't even got to say it. Like, this is the expectation. If you set that standard, I'm going to be like, listen, I'm straight. It's kind of funny that we're talking about this. The first girl that I did that with, the one that that I'm um, at the job, she introduced me to Kim. Yeah, but you let this, you let her sleep in your bed without, with, no, put, with no head, no pussy, no nothing. introduced you to next. A girl that, yeah, she introduced us. Like, we not that cool. Like, why would you let that let that fly? Pam's a good person. She's sweet. Shit. She was talking to you <laughs> while she had a husband. What are you talking about? This, no, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Kim the one that had a husband and she was talking to you? You sleeping in the same bed with her? Oh, by that time, their relationship was <laughs> <friends, of course. laughs> Oh, they oh their they were their relationship was over. They're still they're still been they're still married, but she moved out like a long time ago. My liquor didn't wore off on oh, this okay. conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my god! My liquor didn't wore off. I can't believe y'all just Q. I can't believe you're doing this, and Quentin yeah, is justifying it. it. I don't. I don't do it currently, but I have done it. Like my me and Mika is the only years. logical ones in this conversation. No, my ex for five logical. years in college, like for a good two and a half months. Like we would cuddle, we play video games. We would play video games. Shit. Call of Duty what, and stuff. What game you be playing, Q? Call of Duty. We're playing Call of Duty. Nobody trying zombies. to find out one game no girl playing when she over your crib every day. Look at the chat, Anton. Anton was <laughs> the chat is saying that they've been there, Quentin. They're like, Quentin, I've been there too, buddy. It's fine. Zombie. <laughs> yeah. What? I can't. This do is it. Like, crazy, bro. I, I knew like my younger game 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 friend wasn't going to touch me, so that was different. And even then, he still slept at the head. <laughs> I slept at the foot. Like, yeah, no. Nah, I'm, I'm sleeping at the head, and I'm getting head. You know, full what? disclosure to give some context <laughs> to this girl. Like, you have to realize when I first started working for Southwest, my mom was the boss and she was like Quentin. She was like the head person. She was like, don't come over doing stupid shit and embarrassing me. So I couldn't fuck the bitch. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> she shouldn't have been so over. She'd be like, I, I fuck the boss's son. Like, a what? <laughs> yes. Nigga, that's the whole point of being the boss's son. What's the point of being the boss's son when you can't leverage that shit? Y'all funny. Man, y'all, wow. Yeah, the, 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 the best cheeks I clapped in life was because I was the boss's son. I will never forget it. The, nah, boy. bro. Nah, it was bro. a big booty chick from Houston, Texas. Mm. I'm dead. <laughs> nah, but like I said, if y'all already like in a, in a situation ship or whatever, and she just like, yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's different. But I'm not about to be sitting there with my dick hard. Uh -uh. Nah. No, y'all wild. Let's, let's Anyways, let me get to this Umar Johnson. I'm gonna play this 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 interesting situation. I think I got to fast forward. When somebody sent it to me, they sent it to me with a certain timestamp. So I'm a I'm a fast forward it a little bit. Um, Once again, community broken homes. I have like we talked about before. Mm -hmm. Feel everyone has the ability to live their life the, in which way that they mm -hmm. wish, and I, mm -hmm. I pass no judgment on anyone. Yes, sir. Uh, I entertain and in, in, in that freaking what they've called me online. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I say that to say if there is a place, uh, if there is a place that I've been responsible, uh, because as we know, 
Malcolm X probably said it the best that you know the 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 media is the most powerful tool on the planet mm -hmm. because it can have you you know loving your oppressor and hating the oppressed. Um, but me knowing that and me knowing that media yeah, yeah, yeah. not I, I lightly say that we should not date outside our race. You for you mm -hmm. made it. You made many more colorful statements mm -hmm. <laughs> from <laughs> from the idea of you know going skiing with the snow bunnies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in mm -hmm. many other terms, but mm -hmm. you know, I I do have children with multiple races mm -hmm. of women, um, and you know, white being one of them. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm interested to know one how you feel about this, and then mm -hmm. and, you know, as I sit next to you, and you know, I, mm -hmm. I consider you my brother. I consider you someone that I admire and and look up to in many different ways. But Likewise. you know, sometimes we agree to disagree on on various. But this is a safe space yes, to, sir. Yes, to have sir. this conversation. Yes, so sir. I say all that to say, you know, as someone, I'm sitting on your couch today, Doc. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, heal me, help me. Right, right. I'm when we it. deal with, yeah, it's a lot of pandering right now. But yeah, heal me, help me. It's Nick Cannon. It's too late. Yeah, let me, let me play it. I'm gonna play a little bit of it. Racial relationships. Mm -hmm. I always like to qualify the conversation for people who are listening especially those outside the community so that they understand I don't come from a place of hate. Okay. I have nothing against the Caucasian woman, Asian. He is a liar. I can't, I had to stop it. I'm gonna let it play. But this nigga talk more junk about snow bunnies and uh, all of that other type of stuff. He talk more craziness towards them than ever before. But anyways, I'm gonna just play it. Wait, can I talk a question? Like Go ahead. What if, what if he knocked up a, a snow bunny? How, how would that... How would you look at him? I would actually, I would celebrate him. <laughs> I would actually have more respect for him if he knocked up a snow bunny. I was conflating because he goes against them and then he knocks them up like the fresh guy. He goes against three or fours and then he knocks one up. So I was trying to see how would you. I would defend him. I would defend him. I would say, y'all, I would defend him the same way that I defend Fred, whatever. He's, and I would say, victim. I don't believe I'm nobody. Listen, he's I'm objective victim. enough. I'm objective <laughs> enough to disagree with Umar Johnson on his some of his talking points, but I would mm. still never just automatically assume that whatever woman was saying was true just because they said it. We we gonna have to have proof. True. That baby gonna have to come out saying, I wanna understand, overstand, and understand peace and pan Africanism in order for me to believe. <laughs> <laughs> I just would I just don't I just I always believe that there's certain lines that men gotta stand their ground on. And one of them is this system that's set up, especially family court laws, to take advantage of men. And I think that it's been too many situations where men are accused of things that they didn't do. And I would have to see the proof before I just automatically seen a woman just accuse him of something. I don't dislike Umar Johnson bad enough to go against um, the standards that I think that all men should have. So. Latina woman, East Indian, Arab, all the various beautiful women of the world. I have nothing against them, but I'm loyal to the black woman because she suffered the most I agree, 1, at the hands of this society 100%. and this planet. And because I come from a black woman, I have a special obligation towards her. And when I look at when our successful black men tend to marry out or reproduce outside of the community, I think on some level it can be insulting to our sisters. Okay. Uh, I consider it insulting to the community as a whole. And as someone who works in the school, I've had to entertain conversations with black girls who are asking Dr. Umar, is there something wrong with me? Because it appears that when you all make it, y'all always abandon the community in pursuit of your spouse. For, first of all, I think he's lying. I think he's making up the story on the fly because you can't <laughs> because you can't say you was talking to a young girl that says, is there something wrong with me? Because as soon as a black man make it, y'all abandon women on the floor. What, what girl think like, what young girl thinks like that? Exactly. I don't, I think that he's making this up on the fly, honestly. Honestly, but I'm gonna play a little bit more. And when we look at the wealth differential 
between successful black men and the women they choose to marry or reproduce with, it's very obvious that there is a significant financial gain to the woman in many times, which equals a significant financial loss to the black community. I've heard you say this many times. Let me that's, a very, you, that's a very small percentage of the group of overall interracial dating. Because but, there's only so many successful black men at that level that can elevate and create generational exactly. wealth. Okay. Because if we keep it a stack back, okay. the most interracial relationships we see, because I've already said this before, uh -huh. the most interracial relationships we see is a strong, handsome black brother with a, a, a un shapely okay, okay. <laughs> right. white woman right. that's he's happy e to guy. He's equally I'm after. Trying to be this as, good, as right. clear as possible. Right. But it's it's a, a black man that can have any woman he want, but because he can put his uh car in her name uh -huh. and he can financially right. gain off of this white woman right. who who looked like she'd have had a couple of Taco Bell trips. Right. <laughs> that, right, right. That, and she happy that she got her a uh -huh. good black man. Uh-huh. And those are the questions of why these young black girls are like, why would he choose her okay. and not me? Because she got the paper. Right, but either way. And that's the majority. Now, we, you see the athletes or the entertainers right. that might get them a... But that's know, because there's only a few of you at that upper echelon. Right. But for those of you who are at the top 1%, right, right income bracket, y'all go out the community to marry more than men similarly placed in their community. That's such a small percentage well, though. Right, but black men marry outside of their race more than every other group of men per capita. And I'm not making this as an excuse or an example. No, 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 not at all. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying that can't yeah. be that cannot be that cannot be attributed purely to coincidence. So let me ask you a question directly, okay. uh, brother Nick. You have beautiful African children by beautiful non-African women. Right. Would you say, honestly, your decision to reproduce with non-African women, was that deliberate? I don't want my sisters. Or were you a victim of unconscious self-hate programming? Now I've had this conversation. That's, that's a um, loaded a question. That's some, that's a, but hold on, I let mean, me just let, let me let Nick answer and then we're going to talk about it. Conversation on another one of my platforms with, uh, my brother Reza Islam. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny because online they cut it up. Okay. And they made it seem like I was saying. And I didn't see that clip, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, it was a clip where it, was, it pretty much was, I was saying exactly that, that we've been programmed and conditioned to be that the white woman is superior. Mm -hmm. That's uh, And I made all the statements that, that there was a time mm -hmm. that, um, and obviously all the sisters came for me because they just saw that, that mm -hmm. element of the clip. There was a time in which white women were looked at as the standard, uh, not just the standard, but symbols of success. True. And, or even that are unattainable. If we okay. go all the way back okay. to slavery, for that we're, fruit. For we not supposed, and, and vice versa. Okay. They looked at us like we ain't supposed to be messing with them. And we mm. was like, we are not a lot. We can die. If right. we mess but see, with that's them. the difference. Yeah. You could die messing with them. <laughs> right. They're not going to die messing with you, though. So I say all of that to say mm -hmm. I understand the the, the social programming mm -hmm. and I truly believe it. So and, and then that makes me as someone who's done the yes, research sir. and that and the understanding goes all the way back to even defining what is race and when was race defined. And as we know, but before you define that, does Nick Cannon have a bias against black women when it comes to romance? The quick answer is absolutely not. Because then how I, that, do you justify? I, I say this because okay. one, just as much, I got a white baby mama, I got a dark skinned baby mama too. So right. in that sense, I love, I can equally say, I ain't got no type, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I love but women. But I would push back because as a successful black man who has children with multiple women for almost none of them, or let me take the positive, right. only one of them being of African descent does that not suggest that you clearly search out those who are not of your racial group? So that's why I had to go here first. And we're gonna, like, I don't want So what do y'all think about this so, um, this conversation? Like, okay. do you think that it's a problem with people dating outside of their race? No. no. I don't think but, it's a problem because I'm clearly a product of it. So <laughs> I definitely yeah, don't think it's a problem. 
Quentin. But, well, I know Quentin don't. He's crazy. Don't it, so. But it's something that Umar said. I kind of agree. I forgot the terminology he said. Strays. Uh, no, I mean, that's, you say it openly, right? Huh? Yeah, I, I did. I, whoever liked me back, man. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I'm not throwing a stray at you. I'm just saying that's just something that we talked about here? even earlier on this on this stream in particular. You said, <laughs> you know, you dating an older white woman or whatever, right? So, I mean, I'm guessing that nobody on this panel thinks that. But go ahead, Q. What was you saying? It was something that he said regarding. Um, damn, I forgot the wordage he said. Basically saying is the reason why you don't date or black women you think this culture kind of pushes the narrative that black women or white women are more superior something along that terms and at times online people make it like other races are superior other women races are superior right we've all we've heard it before black women ain't this black women ain't that blah, 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 blah. Go, go overseas, get a different type of chick. You know, they're not going to give you attitudes. So at times that can uh, condition men to think, you know what? I don't want to date a black chick because I'm hearing all these stories. I'm seeing all these sexy reds and Cardi B's. Let me try something else. So I, I do agree with Umar on that because social media has just, whoo, all these podcasters and everything. But you know, we don't see the bad of other races a lot. We don't see the Ling Lings trying to extort from Fresh a lot. We don't mm -hmm. see a uh, Carrie who, not Carrie, that's the wrong name, Lauren, who stabbed her boyfriend. And then yeah. I don't think y'all saw the case. We don't see a lot yeah. of those cases because it's not pushed on social media. So I do agree with him on that point. But I'm, I'm okay with interracial dating. I think that, yo, like who like you? Like, I'm mixed. My my dad's parents gave him hell for dating someone not in his race, like, and he said, "No, screw you. If you don't like my wife, get out of our family." Yeah. And I think that I just I, this this talk in 2024, a lot of people are mixed with different races. Imagine yeah. what it's gonna look like in 30 years. Like, I hope Umar go knock up someone that's a different race because I think yeah. he's just talking sometimes. I want to just I want to just talk question. about like like not rich people, not athletes going to get white girls, just like normal Joe Blow, like Quentin out in the world dating white women. It's I think for most black dudes that date white women, it's it, it's just easier. Like when you approach them, they're more like flirty back with you. Now it's not like pulling teeth when you talk to them type of thing. And um, do you think that do you think that they're more promiscuous? I do. I think I think white women over sexualized black men. I was listening to the radio the other day and they did a survey and they said 85 percent of white women will have sex with a black man. But it was like two percent that will actually marry them. Like it was wild. What about <laughs> but do you think that they're. But I seen like if you go to any bar, I got a bar that's out here at this place. Um, it's pretty close. I'm not going to say the name of it. But I got a bar that's out here. It's like the most popular bar that's out out here. It's like a bar restaurant. It's a spot. It's pretty huge. And these chicks be getting, paid. like, they be getting wasted. And and they they make it happen. I mean, you know, it's a thing. Like, and they be getting took home and all of that or whatever, so on and so forth. And so, But it's not necessarily just from black guys. It's because the majority of the people that live out here are other. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's white people, Arab <laughs> people. It's other. Well, it's white people, air people, Asian, all of that, right? And it's majority mm -hmm. white people, though. But they just seem like super promiscuous in general. Not just with black guys, but just in general. Do you think that they're promiscuous in general, or do you think they're promiscuous, more promiscuous with, with black men? I think, no. I think black men, that whole moniker that black men have bigger penises is, is a thing for people who haven't experienced a black man with a normal size shit. But, um... I think mm. this is white men too. I went to, as I said, I went to a white college. Them white chicks <clears throat> that's married but was getting tossed around by the little white fraternities and going over to the basketball team and going back to the baseball team. Like, it's not only black chicks that get slutted out in college. It's them white chicks too. I mean, I think everybody gets slutted out. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, you have, uh, I, got a, I got a question. I got one X. What I'm talking about all people as far as I'm gonna come to you, Mika. I'm talking about all races. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Definitely. think that I don't think that um 
like that is race based. I think that is just it's just based off of the culture in general of being over here. Like, you know, the freedom and people do what they want to do. I don't think that it has anything to do with the race itself. Go ahead, Mika. What was you saying? No, I just had a question for y'all um, to try to help me understand it. What is what is Dr. Umar's point? Right. Because he told Nick Cannon he had African children with a white woman. Oh. So if these if these are African children, then what's the point of bringing up that it's with a white woman? If you're telling me that a white woman makes African children, then why does it even matter? Why is this a thing? Oh, he's he's basically saying that um, that black men should prefer black women in general, regardless of the fact that because the child technically has black in them when they're born, that they are now black children. He's basically saying that black men should always prefer black women. But if you're going to make the children black, if they're going to be black anyway, then he can well, get any woman and make black children. Well, he's he always black though. Cause you know how there's people out there be like, Oh, you're not black. How the fuck you won't tell me what I am. Well, he's also spoken oh, no. of like, well, we, we, talked like... About that. we talked about that before, you know, and, yeah. and then, and then Dr. Umar always says that the seed, is with the father, right? I've heard him say that. No, no, no. I, I, I hear what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I, I don't, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. So you said, he said um, Johnson should be able to bust down a snow bunny then. Right. If, yeah. if all the children are going to be black anyway, why does he have to prefer to be with the black woman? Now, it would be different if he was saying, now, you're going around making you know, mixed race or multiracial children. I think you're right. Be one thing. You're right. You're right. If he's going to identify them as black children, then you're right. But let me tell you what part of the reason why I believe that he says it is because the core, the large core demographic of the people that support him are black women. So you still got to you know, black women. You got to advocate. Yeah, you know, black women don't. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, you gotta I mean, have it. black women don't like seeing their men with other races, but okay. they're okay with what black women being with other races. It makes no damn sense. Yeah, That's yeah, and, and and it's crazy because it's crazy because at the end of the day, like when it's it's, it's exactly what you just said, Q. Because the the white person for me is the dad, right? So mm -hmm. they don't have a problem with that. So this is what yeah. Bob Brown says, and I think that this is a um, good explanation of it also. Umar's argument is that the money goes to the white mom and not the black woman, so the wealth goes to the white and not the black family. So, Correct. like, for example, let's say for example, mm. dies, right? Then the wealth automatically gets transferred over into the white, the white people. And he's mm. saying that the wealth should always stay within the community. That's right. how I, and I, I, I would I would agree, right? I would agree. But my problem with the whole thing is you you're not gonna incentivize somebody to stay in a community if all of their children are always considered black. So that means they can make black children with anybody. And to say that I, I'm sorry, to say that a white woman's womb is the same as the African woman is is asinine to me. But Well, to Fire Brown. Um, I think that that would would be applicable if it was marriage, but like if you take somebody like a Nick Cannon who is not married, um, and a wealth goes to the children, I don't know. Shit. No, so an example that saying. Umar said, he brought up Kobe, Kobe Bryant, right? You know his wife. Um, I don't know. Let's say she's Hispanic. I don't know what she is. So mm -hmm. he passed. Now it doesn't really go to the black community, right? Because she's Hispanic or whatever. I think that's something that he said he brought up in an interview. I don't. This but whole technically, race according to Dr. Umar, it is going to the black community because his children are black, even though they're Mexican. Yeah, I, I, he probably don't consider the children. <laughs> he might be saying black children, but he probably don't consider the children black. But see, that, but that, but that's where, but that's what I'm saying. You need. He has to put mm -hmm. a stamp on it. You can't you can't do that in between because if you're saying that these children are black, you're not incentivizing a black man to go be with a black woman. He's like, oh, well, if my children are black, I can make black children with anybody. Yeah. I think Kobe's wife was Mexican. Yeah, that's yeah, what, that's what I said. That's what they say in the yeah. Oh, she's Mexican, yeah. 
Yeah, she's gorgeous. <clears throat> yep. Who's gorgeous? Yeah. Kobe's wife. I love. I, I love Hispanic women. They're amazing. We, we know. Who are you we talking know. about? Kobe's wife. Just all, most Hispanic women. She's are not beautiful. Hispanic. She's Mexican. That's not Hispanic. Like I thought, it was like all in Latin. Sorry, my bad. It's like all encompassing, right? Like what is Hispanic? It's all in. I'm Hispanic. She's okay. she's Mexican. But, so so Mexicans aren't Hispanic. No, they're Latino. Okay. That's not the same thing. Okay. I don't know, man. I, like I don't know nothing <laughs> about them. Like I don't know the differences. I don't. I don't. I don't be knowing the difference. It's heritage. It's different heritage. I'm not, I didn't I'm not even know what a Mexican was. Different. Really? When I moved here, I didn't even know what the hell a Mexican was. We don't got no Mexicans in the islands. Mm. We got Latinos. Q, what island are you from? St. Croix. When they said Mexican, I was like, mm. what? What is that? Yeah, we don't mm. got no Mexican. Sorry. Hmm. See, somebody, I don't know. I, so somebody in the chat. I, 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 learned, I, I learned something this evening. I appreciate it. The whole thing with this interracial talk, rice like I think y'all wrong. <laughs> oh. In a couple of years, we people gonna be different races. We're not gonna be able to identify who's what. You can't. Some people probably couldn't tell Mika was Hispanic, right? You people probably don't know what race races I'm at. So I think in y'all don't time, look these black people, or white, or y'all don't y'all don't look like a race. Okay, like you can't but pinpoint what either. You can't pinpoint what either one is, you are. The funny thing is, if you go out the country, there are people mm -hmm. as dark as logic and they're not even black. There are people that are as white as Coach K and they're not even white. Mm. Right. So this whole like race talk, like if you actually expand and travel, like you can't sometimes you can't really tell just by the, the outside looking regarding what race they are. Yeah. So that's why I don't be trying to guess nothing. But somebody in the chat said it's more about culture now than it is about race. Yes. <clears throat> I, I think I it's always been that way. And yeah. It's only in America that it's about race. Because outside of here, like in Cuba, it's like you can be a white Cuban, you can be mm -hmm. a black Cuban, or you can be like me, a mixed Cuban, and yeah. you're just Cuban. Yeah, we mm. don't talk about race in the islands. Isn't, people yeah. don't segregate based on race. They kind of segregate by culture different islands or more like let's just say colorism but we don't talk about the race because you'll see people of different races down there mixed with a whole bunch of shit and we're not dividing based on race it's it's crazy up here it's such a race war up here like yeah. it's always black against white it's like i'm yeah. i want i need i need refuge what was it called um i need reparations for my ancestors <laughs> and they and they want you to pick and they want you to pick right when you go up in that type of household they're like yeah and you have to pick a side here i've never had to do that so it's like a culture shock yeah mm. it's definitely be like you're not black you're mixed Oh yeah, oh, wait, but if, for some conversations yeah, you know, you're black, oh, and some I got conversations you're not. <laughs> when I first came here, I'm like, oh, I'm mixed, or no, I'll say I'm foreign, and they're like, oh, so you're not black, you're not, you're not considered black, or do you think you're better than us? I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, you get in a black topic, you go on a black topic, and then you talk about it. I'm you're not, you're not us. I'm like, no, you're, yeah, yeah, because in the <laughs> islands, like, if someone asks me what I am, I say I'm Crucian or Trini. So that's why somebody in the chat. When they put that word "cruising," that's that's what we say. What we are. I had never heard of that know. before. That was new. Yeah, because I'm from Saint Croix. We call us Cruisians, and I'm half Trinidadian. So, but up here, it's like, what are you? Man, I'm Mika, not. They want you to say Poppy. Poppy. I'm dead. <laughs> but yeah, up here is a little crazy when it comes to race, and it's it's just so much. Like when people ask me what I am, don't worry about it. I'm not even gonna tell you. Mm. It doesn't matter. Mm. I'm nigga. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm a, it's nigga a crazy. To, it's a crazy topic because yeah. at the end of the day, America is just like so fixated on race. Like yeah. I like I literally grew up being the the girl with the white dad. Yeah. And I'm like, why does it matter? Like in my house, nobody ever called each other white, mix, mm -hmm. whatever. You know, mm -hmm. so I know that if I want to get some videos made, some reaction videos made about me, all I got to do is talk about race. 
Yeah. They'll or, come for you, right? Um, well, this morning I woke up, the first thing about you that came up was um, the fake um, relationship guru exposed. I thought relationship. When did Anton become a relationship guru? <laughs> That's what I thought, too. And I was about Whoa. to go talk shit, and I was like, I ain't got time this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Nigga had like 48 followers. <laughs> yeah, 48 followers. Mm-hmm. God, God. Damn. The pro blacks is going to come at you now, Anton. They're going to be like, he I'm got cool two non black girls up there. That's a fact. Watch. And here Dang. are these non black girls talking yep. about black topics. Yep. What gives them the right for pick niches? <laughs> I know they yep. fucking Anton. Yep. Side chick, pick me. Colorism. <laughs> yep. It, it's about to be on. And, yeah. and it's crazy because these topics are real topics, right? That you can really yeah. be talking about, but they throw, they throw they throw them at people that it doesn't even apply to. Yeah, uh-huh. you're like, you're not even from here. Why are you talking about Americans? They're gonna say some shit like that. I've heard it all. But I mean, it it keep, I mean, it's cool though. So like, don't 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 fight it. Embrace it because it keeps you in the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I uh, think it's you, funny. You can't be online and be bothered about any of this shit. It's yeah, funny. it's dope. Like I'm looking at a, I'm looking at a guy right now. I literally, when y'all said that, uh, I said, "All right, so let me go and you know type my name into the algorithm and see what's popping up." First thing I see is Anton Daniels reject Team Fatty wants my attention. Like, why is my name even in there? You know what I mean? What? Like it, no, it's, but in, in it's time, not even people put your thumbnail. Huh? They, they I think I told you more. someone put your face on a thumbnail, and I watched the whole video, and you he didn't even say one thing about you. I'm like, what the hell? I wasted yeah. my time watching mm-hmm. this shit. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like you, you, if you're a content creator, I don't even think that you're a good content creator if people are not reacting to you. You know True. what I'm saying? So at some point, at some point, once you hit a certain level. Um, people won't have an opinion, and that's cool. And I wouldn't trip about that. It's not a big deal. No, at all. I think it's funny. The bigger, it's funny. The bigger you get, or if you if you hang around certain people, they gonna come for you. Yeah, and that's cool. Q, Q. Somebody in the uh, comments said. Um, somebody in the comments, Q said, mixed people are black for some topics, not black for other topics. Yeah, that's true. That's no, crazy. I don't get that. crazy. I mean, I that, appreciate I don't the honesty. That. That's totally crazy. Mean. That's crazy to me. Is either I, I'm I don't, black I don't or I'm not. That point. So can we? I don't get that standpoint. Explain that, Anton. Why you say you agree? Because people pick and choose um, what they are, depending on depending on a conversation that they can justify that themselves being a part of. Right. So like. You know, if you want to participate in a black conversation and you you black all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? And if you want to participate on the other end and you this all of a sudden, right? You tapping into that side of you. So, you know, it just depends. People are going to justify it. Like, people are going to justify their participation in it. I see the most light-skinned of light-skinned guys. That's one of the most blackity black guys I've ever seen in my life sometimes. And it's like... Because <laughs> they're trying to overcompensate. And you I know, to be guys. honest with you, none of it matters, <laughs> in my opinion. It really does not matter. Like, if you really break it down, because you fuck with who fuck with you. Yeah. And so that's what I believe. I believe that people mess with um, who mess with them. And and ultimately, you know, if I'm amazed. I, I know that people don't really have an issue with me. I know that for a fact. And the reason that I know that for a fact is because at the end of the day, I got a dark skinned wife. Mm -hmm. And every person that worked for me got black in them. Right. And so when you think about that from that perspective, some I've seen a guy, I've seen people do live streams, right. You know, attacking me from the black argument. And they fucking passport bros and they over here fucking lady boys. Or maybe not lady boys, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They over in in an Asian country, which is cool. Like if that's what you want to do and if that's what that's what your preference is. But it's like 
And that's why I asked the question in my last post on Instagram. I said, is being pro-black a talking point or is it a lifestyle? And what's the criteria? There is there is no criteria. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that anybody can be shamed for what their preferences are. Now, what you get and what whether or not you can acquire whatever it is that you want from that, you know, from the from those preferences, that's in a completely different conversation. But if somebody wants somebody, that's up to them. That's on them. Yeah. Get, get what you can get. That's that's up to you. Yeah, I, I based on character. Like if I got one black person, one white person. I base it on character, not race. I think that if you want to subject certain things, success, business, relationships on race, I think you're slimming down different outcomes you're wanting to get. Like, because I met horrible white people, horrible black people. I ain't going to lie. The most, even going to a white college, I got more hate for black women at the college. <laughs> on black women. So, like, I don't want to say it's a product in your environment. No, it's it's just, you know, I rock with who rock with me and who just gives respect just in general. I don't care what shade, what color you are. Just don't push your narratives on me. Like the shim him, trans, all that little talk, LGBT, don't push your whatever you believe in ideology on me. I can't wait to get me a white thickums. A white thickums, yeah, a white version. And I got, I got one. I'm, I'm trying to get her to come on the platform. She don't want to do it. She's, I'm like, yeah, I need a nah. like a white version of Q and. Right. Nika. You need a girl to talk to her. Girls are more. Her, her, I, I have one, and she's successful. She's nice and thick, and she got blonde hair and some. No, let big her talk old... to me. That's that's what I'm saying. Mm. Women are if more. If I get me a, if I get me a white Q or Mika, it's over. It's over. Yeah. Let me yeah, talk to her. Right. Really gonna call I'm your a, colors then. Is there like a is there a chat like a back check on this thing? No. Um, no. What do you need a back chat for? We all know I'm each other. To, you are DM. I'm about to show you the white thickums. <laughs> Just DM me. I, or, or text. I can be. I, let me talk to her, Quinn, because I think that women recruiting people are we can be more persuasive. You see how? I, what's that other guy that I got on here? Stefan. Oh. Ste Which one? Stefan the Great. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of people that came. The through. one that came on the Monday panel, he got his own show. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen the Great. I know. Yeah, Stephen, St Stephen yeah, so cold. Steph yeah, so cold. yeah, yeah. I got him to come on okay. the panel. Women are more persuasive, and she might not just oh, like yeah. me. But mm -hmm. I'm, all, and I'm also no, trying to she... figure out like why do people feel like they can hold me accountable and I ain't even controlled in my own household? <laughs> like my own chick can't even tell me what to do. What the fuck do regular people think that they can police me? They called up to try to hold you accountable. Remember that? But that's but I'm trying to understand. <laughs> Dog, I've had people call me up and try to hold me accountable over my own wife. Like, nigga, what, who are you talking to? Like, you can't tell me what to do with my chick. Get the fuck out of here. You don't even know her like that. You don't even you don't even understand. Mm -hmm. Mika know her. Q know her. You don't tell know her. Her. Tell them go hold their wife accountable if they have one. <laughs> yeah, like Mika got like cute talk to Reed all the time. Like, ain't nobody tripping off that. But again, it's 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 the internet. It, I mean, you don't yep. see. I don't even see it until people talk tell me about it. To be honest with you, I genuinely don't. People send it to me, and sometimes I pick. I interact with it, and sometimes I won't. But for the most part, I don't see it until people send it to me. So. I sent yeah. I sent um, Q a message earlier that went to my uh, request box. It was crazy. Like yeah. the hmm. fan, like the fans sometimes that watch the show. It was crazy. Oh yeah, the people I mean, in the DMs be crazy. But I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. These and they were trying to hold me accountable, people. talking about you. You don't like regular guys. You like rich guys. That's Why? With that. Why? It's stupid. It's because you're beautiful, and you just because you're beautiful, you like rich guys. I don't like, have nothing to do with your. I say that? Like I, I can that. tell. I, I I feel like you seem kind of down to earth. I don't I don't think that. Oh, that's I'm nice. Like, when did on. I say that though? I'm like, when did I say I like rich guys? Like they're like, oh, because you're bougie. I'm like, what? 
Who said she was bougie, nigga? That's why I don't reply back to them people. They oh, you gotta, you gotta you see gonna those gonna comments. Go, They're like, go. bougie, ma'am. I'm like, what? That's wild. Yeah, I told I Mika, class. I told That's Mika to read comments. Yeah. I, said, like, I don't even I don't even reply back to DMs unless they wanted to come on a panel, and I only respond to them on Sundays. I told right. Mika, I said, don't be reading no comments. I t- and I tell Anton, I said, I, I be sitting here laughing, and I'm petty, so I just be I just be coming up with stuff to think. Like, I'm just petty. But he was like, no, just ignore the comments. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I have to fly Mika out so that Quinn can be bothered about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I need to. Mm-hmm. Quinn, are you bring, Quinn? You bringing your um your old your your spin the block girlfriend to the next meetup? Oh, spin Lord. the black girlfriend. When it depends on where she is, how close it is of what I'm bringing. I need to start coming elsewhere. I'm, other than I'm thinking about doing it differently this year. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a whole show. Okay. Not you taking. A... Anton, you petty. Let me bring this up mm-hmm. on here. So you want to do a show? But it's going to be a different type of show, though, Q. Hmm. Okay. It, no, seriously, it's going to be like, um, like, like you know, like different type of special guest type show. Yeah, it, as long as it's organized, you know. I believe. CD Jakes. No, nah, but it's going to be like, it's going to be like, I would like to do it like with somebody that's local to the city and then bring some friends and. You know, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be real, real dope. So we're gonna y'all come to Oklahoma and y'all gonna be like, dang, Oklahoma is cool as Nobody fuck. Nobody wants to go to damn Oklahoma. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to go to Oklahoma. Anton can put Oklahoma on the map in one meetup. Nobody wants to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Oklahoma. It's just I always got, they don't have no direct flights from from Detroit to Oklahoma. So yeah, you're right. Not a lot of people going there. That's why you gotta Wait, fly private. What? Just saying. There's no direct flights. Let me read some of these super chats and then I'm gonna get y'all going. Uh, real talk, I'm happy. I'm married and I ain't about that life no more. Um, but I was in bed with Shorty back in 2007 and did nothing. Still haunts me, and it ain't about hitting it. What do you think about that, Q? He said and did nothing. He said he married now and he ain't about uh-huh. that life no more. But he was in the bed with a shorty in 2007 and never did nothing, and it still haunts him to this day. I love that for you. Oh my but god! Imagine if you Jesus. imagine if you did hit this chick right, and your path would have been totally probably different. You probably wouldn't be married, okay. right? You probably be yeah. A lot of things could have a lot of things could have went down that night could change your whole path. Quinn, you're muted. Quinn, you're muted. Quinn, you're muted. Because I feel like you're agreeing with me, so that's why I only told you. <laughs> yes, I agree with you. <laughs> no, no, don't agree with you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Dragon and Rich says Q and Quentin cuddle. They might make a good couple. That rhymes, that rhymes. I don't like baby daddies, so. Oh, my no. God. Jesus. Uh, what? I Quentin is a boring. nice guy. She always she always says that. I've always she said that said one time. Says the beginning of the panels. I don't like baby daddies. <laughs> Corey I. Marsh says, no, nah, Q, that's not discipline. That's called approved. See that? I don't think that's an accurate statement. So what if you fell for a guy, you loved him, blah, blah, and you're, he gave you a ring, then you found out he had a kid? I'm yeah, ending it. So you, you, you no, started that's, that's that That's not relation. the premise. That's not you, the premise. You, you started said you that don't like baby daddies. <laughs> no, because if you're willing to lie about a child, bro, what else are you willing to lie about? I, I think it's more, me. it's probably more accurate. You don't accept baby dads is probably better what you should say. Why are you telling me what it's my not boundaries preference. are? The same reason you tell me I waste people's, I'm wasting my time. <laughs> you you already said you're waste you're you're no I nope I never I never said I wasted my time okay okay you trying to conflate the two as I said back, I don't like baby back daddies. to the super chats that's that's my preference <laughs> just like you like white ladies like your milk I don't like baby daddies <laughs> okay <laughs> you want your milk of magnesia there you go buddy <laughs> oh my god blue bag and did I miss one. Shit, hold on, let me see something. I destroy Q's life. The um, fact is that people 
Come oh, on no, we got that one. We got that one. Blue Baggins says, it's always the most average chick saying this dumbest shit, thinking that she proving a point. Are you um, talking to me? No, nah, I don't think they're talking to you. Um, shrugging the rich, cute taking damn risks, playing cute coochie games. <laughs> <laughs> Seminole says, no, nah, you 100% right with that one time. That blue ball shit, cute talking about for the bird. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Tom Bell, that's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna start reading it like they type it. Andre Magruder says a man will be giving her his emotional support, then he gets nothing out of it. What if her man said he did that with his female friend? And number three, she can say anything afterwards. Nope, 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 nope. All right, Blackheart Green Paper. Shout out to you. Says my bed undefeated. Fellas, don't engage in suck a dick activity, <laughs> duck activity. It doesn't work or benefit you. Salute. <laughs> oh my God. AJ Maverick says Quentin giving fresh vibes. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, sir? Fresh you know and fit. He said it like eight times. <laughs> Nothing is going to happen, then stay your ass at home. AJ, explain what you mean by that regarding Quentin. Platinum Elite says Americans live under the standard of Eurocentric beauty. You Google beautiful women and you will see white women. And Mayor963 says still need. Oh, that's when he says still need going to make You said it already. Unless you just want to tell him again. I, I, did my, I did my duty already. There you go. Now, what was you about to say, um, Q? Was you about to say something? Regarding preferences, it's crazy how I saw someone in the chat regarding baby daddies. Men, you guys have your preferences too. So a lot of men don't like dealing with baby mamas. Just because I say I don't like dealing with baby daddies, because you're That's not probably what you say. That's not what you say. You say you don't like baby daddies, not like dealing with them. You no. say you don't like them. No, I don't like them for me. Just like you probably don't like <laughs> black women for you. I don't like baby daddies. And the only people yeah. that get offended by that are baby daddies. I'm, I'm not I'm Just not offended, like, but you like baby no, daddies. No. You don't want to be with baby daddies. That's the difference. Your daddy's a How baby daddy. Know? My dad is a, a husband. He's a and baby a daddy too, because he has kids. He's a baby's dad. Like, no, you know you're a baby daddy. He's a husband and a father. And I know, a only, and you know what's funny? When women do this same little rhetoric, little word playage game shit, I'm not a baby mama. I'm a mother of a baby. Bro, you are a baby mama. Stop trying to make shit so difficult. You yeah, are. It's only a, a it's, it's only a baby mama to black people to to white people. No, That's why I go white. Cause white people don't talk like that. Be baby That's mamas, this the Lawrence, the Ling Lings, um, fresh little baby mama Ling Ling, about to be a baby mama unless he marries her. All y'all can be baby mamas, just like and I'm the, not. In the and other I'm communities, married. we're just we just kids. We just niggas with kids. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's okay. Only to you okay, fucking black and black so that shit exists. Only people that get offended are where it hits them, the truth. <laughs> I'm not offended. Not I will not give my baby girl back for nothing. <laughs> That's good. You really can't. See, okay, I've been waiting for to have this conversation with you, Q. You say that, but <laughs> women's, vag women's vaginas get sopping wet when they see me with my daughter. That's they good love, for them. They love no, that, that, that shit. That's a fact. That's I good for like, them. They probably have kids themselves. Nigga, we and be walking in the mall holding daddy. hands with clothes and shit. And they fucking cute. women. That's because they probably that. they're probably baby mamas and then yeah, they they're say, baby oh mamas God, and they with want kids. to be a Russell Wilson. That's cute. He's be with great them. With kids. There's nothing yeah. wrong with listen. If a guy is <laughs> in the market <laughs> and he's he was busting down a baby mama. It's mm -hmm. nothing necessary. I mean, you could talk about it from my standards, from a moral compass perspective, there could be something wrong with it. But from a general perspective, it's, it's nothing wrong with knocking, you know what I'm saying, if you're having a real, little sexual thing with a chick that's baby mama. Just don't. We're talking about relationship, Anton. You don't do casual sex. You barely do relationships. That's why I so said we're talking about from my mm -hmm. standard, it may be a little bit different. But, mm -hmm. yeah. but relationship-wise, should single men be with baby mamas? No. Thank you. 
that's just my I wouldn't I wouldn't advise for a man to do it now. Yeah. Me either. Mm-mm. I wouldn't advise my little brother to be with a baby mama. The fuck? You crazy? Bro. <laughs> don't bring that home. <laughs> don't bring that home. But Quentin is not a baby father like that though. Like uh 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 uh. We not gonna like, do that. I, I, nigga, like she. Quinn, me, Quinn's she kid is grown. My baby's mother calls me anytime. Anytime a big decision is made in Ava's life, she calls me. When she goes to the car, I go with the with the car. Quinn, Quinn how old is Ava? Happens, she she's eight. She turned eight in December. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not a big kid. That's an eight year old. Okay. <laughs> And Tommy trying to sweat, say Quinn this whole stream. No, it's okay to be everybody. A everybody's a victim. Yeah, it's All right, ten toes down, down like like Anton, y'all motherfucking right. rude ass niggas. It's not rude. It's the truth. Like people be like, "Oh, you, you're unmarried." Okay, it's the truth. I'm not about to be triggered by that. Oh, Q, you don't have a child. If that's the worst thing you could say about me, I will take that shit. I don't have a child. <laughs> Oh. I could say worse things about you. You got ashy My ankles. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I, I, w- I would rather be no kid. Somebody said, than... Q, you missing your blessing. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to bring up one more. I'm going to bring up one more caller and then I'm getting y'all to sleep because I got to do stuff. Oh, baby so daddy is wild. He's missing my blessing. No. I got, I'm going to bring up one more caller. What up, Post? Yo, what's up, man? What's the word, bro? Hi. Listen. Um, hey, Post, I got a question for you. Yeah. Would you talk to Q? She got, she got, she kind of got an attitude, but I'm used to that because I'm from Philly. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right there, nigga. That's your right there, nigga. She kind of mean, mean so you gotta come in. You kind of savage, so I'm kind of used to Q. She don't really bother me because I'm used to that. You know? Yeah, what but mean? I don't I'm go. Used, I don't. Sorry I'm to cut to you off. Sir. I'm used I don't to go like this at men I like. You, know what you don't what? I said I'm I'm used to the lions, tigers, and bears. I'm from Philly, so she she really don't bother me. I see right through her. You know what I mean? That's cute. I like that. Thank you. I like you for that. But let me tell you something. I'm a lover, so because I go at Quinn hard, because it's like it's a real you love brother. Me. And we sister. understand. I get you. And my brother, in my real life, my brothers and sisters, we talk shit. That's like the cribbing way we talk shit. We we joke. But I'm a lover, so. Yeah. Yeah, I can Continue, see. I can see right. I, I can see right through you, but but it's like the, the quiet chick. I probably wouldn't trust the straightforward chick. That's kind of bold. I kind of because that if a fight break out, she oh, would probably break. You know what I'm saying? She probably jump in a fight I, with you. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, so whoa, whoa. Of, yeah. you Why wouldn't you I'm trust? Saying? Well, huh? I fight, but I do carry a nine. You know, see, but that's what see you you yeah you. Why yeah. wouldn't you trust a quiet chick? Because y'all sneaky. Because you you kind of sneaky like Mika. You look kind of sneaky, like <laughs> you know what I mean. Let's Mika know. look. See, Mika. this is why. See, this is why. This is why nobody is nice to men. Because when no, you're nice, you're like no, nice. no, no, no. That's that's just my perception. I don't I don't know you, but like I don't know you, but. Y'all are toxic. No, I agree no, with him, no. though. No, listen, listen, I'm white chicks that be stabbing men at night. Listen, it's the quiet listen, chicks I'm, that be stabbing me on snacks. That's my first impression. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. That's my ahead, first sir. impression. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look kind of like, you know, you're going to sneak the cookie out the jar type. You know what I mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like, 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 she just look, I don't know. She just look like, you know what I'm saying? You got to keep one eye open. When I open with her, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. She looks like with Mika. She yeah yeah no. Mika. She she nice though. She look nice, but just like if I'm comparing her to Q, Q is just gonna tell you like, yo, you you smell. Go get a shower. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And, and Mika go. She might tell all her girlfriends you stink. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that makes sense, though. That, that shit makes sense. Like, man, show <laughs> like, you they stank. Yo, that is funny. Like, so Mika like, got cool and you kinda, don't. She kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she kind of, me, like, Mika look kind of shifty, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> you from, she from D.C. too? You from D.C., right? Northwest, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, yeah. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> He got an ex in DC. Yeah, I, I, I know what he's talking Yeah, is DC two hours away from here? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's my God. Nah, that's you got any got other thoughts, Big Dog, before we wrap it up? Well, no, what I, what I was going to say is the, the Umar thing, man. Like, listen, I, like, I'm about 80% with you on the Umar thing. Listen, Umar. Is from Philly. We see Umar walking around Philly. It's you know, it's, it's really funny, right? Mm-hmm. The school, the school is right in Delaware. It's in Wilmington. It's like it's like right there, right? But mm-hmm. this is the thing. Umar is from North Philly. Mm-hmm. North Philly, North Philly looks like a nuclear bomb hit it right now. So why is the school in Delaware? And I can name two high schools in Philly that have been closed down. Germantown High School got closed down. My mom went to Germantown High School. And Bach, High, Bach is another high school in South Philly that they have, they got a freaking rooftop bar on it. So if you're really advocating for black people and people in the hood to go to schools, why why are we in Delaware, bro? Would it? And then, a, then a, a second thing is, Umar is like, he's a panderer, which you, you know, two women, like, Top flight African booty scratcher pander two women, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like what 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 about all the what about all the brothers getting locked up in Philly? What about what about the brothers? You it's it's almost like it's almost like the black dudes don't exist with him. So if you go in any barbershop in Philly, they're gonna say they're gonna say the same because I I triple triple double down asking all my buddies this you know what i'm saying i'm from uptown philly umar is from from north philly it's like right there north philly is where gilly rashid wallace and all these dudes are from uptown is where cassidy eve you know what i'm saying we we all philly is like real small but if you go to any barbershop in philly and ask them about eat umar they're going to say like we don't like the way you you put down the brothers and you just you 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 hold the sisters to a high standard right but you just you go out of your way to put down the the the, the put down the brothers is mad brothers locked up in jail you you yourself um Anton you report on all the crime in Philly right we got a uh, we we got a new mayor yo wild boys over there yeah, we, you know we got a new mayor. Uh, my family, y'all, y'all we, shooting people on buses and everything. But that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. That's right. That's right near my high school. I went to. And and another thing, Philly is probably one of the most top diversified cities in the United States, right? So how? Listen, if it's a white person from Philly, ten times out of ten, you're going to get along with them. Want to know why? Because the the racist white people move out of Philly. They move out of Philly, so mm. if you if you if you run into a if you not times out of ten if you if you collaborate and run into a white person in Philly, they don't have any animosity towards black people. They're easy going, all type of things. You know, I've been around. I went to Norfolk State in Virginia, right where where right across the water from where Carrie went because I, I I watch his show. I went to an HBCU, right? Go Spartans, Norfolk State, right? Sorry um, to hear that. You sorry to hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's your problem, bro. <laughs> Listen, like, um, so what I'm what I'm saying is like Philly is really diversified. So for you to like have so much animosity towards people of other races and all that, it's kind of fake you being from Philly. You're not mm. from you're not from the South where it, it really is still hitting home at. You're from Philly. It's mad diversified here. Um, so where where did I just don't understand where the all where his anima and then interracial uh marriages and relationships, that's kind of like um in my view, I don't really I don't really care. Yeah, I'm black, I want a black woman first, but you know, if I meet a nice snow bunny, I will slide. You know mm. what I mean? You got any kids already? Slide. Um no, I don't. I don't. I don't have. I don't have any kids. Shout I'm, out I'm to you, Post. Shout, Shout out to, to you, non-baby daddy. 
Yeah, I, all I did is listen to my pop. That's it's it's simple. Listen to your pop. Hey, DM DMQ if you ain't got no kids, bro. Shoot whoa, your whoa, shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot your shot, bro. Shoot Island Island Gal Q. Uh, I, uh, I, and I, I've been drinking too. <laughs> I, 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 L A D G Y A L Q. Ain't she yo, yep. ain't she down ain't you down in Houston too? Yeah, no, Pearland. Nope. Oh, well, I, I that, that S T D rate crazy in Houston, yo. Yep, good thing I don't live in Houston. Yo. Yo, that joint yo. Yo, hot island girl, man. That yo. Well no, I'm not trying to put that on you, but um Listen, I, 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 and another thing, I'm tell her you gonna like, tell her you gonna fly her up to Philly, bro. Mm, no, I come, I, I come get you though. Feed. You know what I mean? You gonna come get her? You gonna come <laughs> get her? Yeah. Get her, bring her back. Yeah, bust it down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I, I come, I come, I come, I come scoop you on a road trip. I come scoop you on a road trip. City. Fly back with her, bust her down, and then send her back. That made no sense. I can get you to the roads because I might, I might find something else on the way. See, it's a road it's trip. A you know what I'm saying? I got a couple cities to stop in. You know what I mean? You sure you got no kids? No, I ain't got no kids. I, don't, I ain't got time for it. I'm on your, I'm on your program. You ain't got time for it. A lot of men don't, don't hang out with their got, kids. Out listen, there. it's called I, I listen, I listen to my pop. You know what I'm saying? These chicks is crazy. I got a lot of stories. I love that for you. Chicks is crazy, man. Thank Listen, you, Post, hey, man. I appreciate you, bro. I'm, I got to get these girls to sleep. I didn't cap them out too long. All right, no problem, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, big dog. Bye. Quinn, do you have any final thoughts for uh, Mika and Q? I'm not going to ask them for their final thoughts. I'm only going to ask nope. you. Nope. Um, thank you guys for coming tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank us for coming. This is Anton and Mika's show. We we the guests. That, that that that's all I gotta say is um, this is all no, of our I, stuff. I, I don't have anything to say for these beautiful um, Latina, Hispanic, whatever the fuck they are. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mister Nice Guy. Thank you, thank you. We love that for you. No, don't do it, Quinn, because they're gonna yes, put you in a friend yeah. zone. He are we're brothers and sisters. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Listen, let me read a couple of super chats and we all gonna get out of here at the same time. Elam says, Y'all sleeping on Asian women for real, for real. They doing a lot of squats. Mine's wife of 20 years got a body and we we both nines. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, Elam said he a nine. Shout out to Elam. Um, the dark as fuck. <laughs> He is. <laughs> hey, yo, listen. I know that kid's going to be really cute because Elam is not. Sorry. Talk your talk, big dog. The number supposed to match Island Girl uh, and Q need to go out and chill. I don't like baby daddies. What do I got to tell y'all? <laughs> Striking the Rich says, damn, Quentin caught so many strays from Gucci curtains. <laughs> Give it a, a hands on Tupac voice. Keep your head up. Ooh, child. <laughs> Things are going to get it easier. Maverick says, tell Q to check, check her DM, AJ Maverick, too. You see that? If it's not for being on Monday's panel, I'm not going to reply. Well, he paid $2 to get you to see that, so. I can refund you the $2. Hey, shout out to the ten, oh, uh, over 10,000 um, 10, chat messages tonight. Yeah, dog. Wow. Yeah, it was over 10,000, 10,749 messages tonight. So shout out to the chat for staying engaged on a Saturday night. Y'all, y'all are the best ever. Listen, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We we appreciate Mika, Q, and Quentin. And if y'all want to shoot y'all shot, it's Island Galio G Y L Q. I'm glad you spelling that shit wrong. Bob. <laughs> Okay, let me spell this. Y'all want to shoot y'all shot? I S L A N D G Y A L Q. No, I think I'll. I'm gonna spell it for you. 
I'm gonna spell it for you. It's Q D I X O N zero three. Island Gal Q for everybody that want to shoot. They sh- all the ladies. I just tell everybody my last name Q. Appreciate it. Everybody that want it. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's my for, private. For my everybody private that want to. Everybody that want to hit up Quentin. All of the ladies that want to shoot they shot. Go to Quentin's Instagram. And then Pop Culture Mika with two C's. Make sure y'all hit her up. All right? I am absolutely toasted. I got to go to work yeah. at 5 o'clock. <laughs> if you want right. to come on the panel, I got to go to church. If you want to come on the pa- Monday's panel, DM me. Just say you want to come on the panel. Ladies, we need more ladies. All right. Listen, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We out. See y'all. Thank y'all.